one of those nights, guys. Tell your friends. No, 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 that's not even really him. You're poison in my heart. You're poison in my heart. Let's go. I got in a little fight with somebody earlier and I got to play it. It's too funny. What's up? Andre Lavandero is here. Andre Lavandero. And we got Colonel Stutters is here. We got Allied Darkness. We got the fake famous B. And we got the ghost from the coast, Jag the Panzer Raw Man. Yeah. And more coming in as we as the alert goes out live to everybody that we are indeed live on a Saturday night. Starting the show way late, way late. I thought that I probably should just abandon the show tonight and not even do it. We'll find out if that was the smarter idea or if doing it is the better idea. I don't know what, what it will be, but, um, you know, uh, we're live anyway. Not sure if it was a good idea to be live, but, you know, hopefully it will uh, be all right to go live so late. But I honestly couldn't get out of my uh, work. I had to be there really late and could be that way on Saturdays now going forward but um, certainly got home much later than I expected working my fingers to the bone I hate myself and my life kill me I don't think that's really famous B so famous B I know it's not you come on come on bro so how's everybody doing tell everybody that I'm live if you can let them know we are live, very late. You got a kind of a big show here tonight, to be honest. A couple of guests possibly popping in here. Um, you know, big night for the Celtics. Um, you know, I got a, I got in a big fight earlier. I was, uh, you know, got in a big fight with somebody, and I got the, I got a clip of it here. We'll play some of that. Pretty crazy shit, man. I did not expect to. I tried to be funny with the with the guy really quickly, and uh, he took it for real, man. He took it like he took it hardcore, man. He got pissed, and uh, we got in a fight. Then we made up, you know. By the end of it, we were cool. So I do want to say that although the fight is brutal, we we did end up getting, um, you know, end up being cool by the end of it, you know, because it really wasn't a problem to me, but. You know, it sounded. I, I understand why he's mad now. I couldn't figure out why he was mad. He thinks I've doxed him or something. This guy. I mean, this guy really thinks I doxed him. He's like, "Oh, you doxed me," and it's like, I, "What are you talking about?" The weirdest part about it is, me and him talked only a few months ago, and he was fine. But today, he was like, "Yo, you doxed me," you know. And um, I. That's the dumbest thing ever. Uh, yeah. I, why would I dox you? I know that, like, so many people lie about me. It's insane at this point that it's hard to, like, put out all the fires everywhere. But, I mean, I can tell you that <laughs> we're certainly not going to be doxing people. It's... That happens to me all the time. I mean, like, it's... I don't know, man. The people will believe anything out there. As long as someone just makes it up or says it, people believe it. It's crazy. And then they get mad. And you wonder why people leave the show or whatever, and it's because somebody lied to them about something, and there's no way to really prove that it didn't happen, you know, because if you don't know that that's what the thing is about, I, I don't know. I just can't believe, you know, no one else believes I ever did that or would do that, you know what I mean? But it's just so dumb. But it's a funny fight, so, I mean, I still, I'm still not 100% sure it was real, but, it, you know, we'll play that classicness. Uh, there was always a, a classic fight back in the day that, uh, between this guy and somebody else, and they got in a massive fight, and it was still one of the funniest fucking rants I ever heard where, uh, 
you know, the guy was like, I'll kill you and everything. And they went back and forth. And it was a really funny thing. Uh, let me get the donos up in case anybody wants to get weird on a Saturday night. And if beat the clock lasts long enough, we will go to Discord. And I will jump on the call with the boys and girls. And we'll go all night if we have to. I'm ready to go all night, folks. Okay? Hey, if this show's over in 25 minutes, hey, I'm game to go play some Diablo, clean the house, and go to sleep and wake up tomorrow with my day off. But if you want to get fucking weird and serious and fucking nuts, and you want Joe Cronin to say whatever he wants to say, you want me to answer any question you have for me to answer, you want me to go completely bonker ape shit fuck face, well, all you got to do is be ready to party here tonight because I will be game to go all night long if need be. Okay, I will take this thing to the fucking end if I want or have to. I'm ready to do it. If you guys want that to happen, let's make it happen. I give zero fucks. Let's go. I'm in this thing for the long haul. You want to go seven hours? We'll go seven hours. You want to go 25 minutes? We'll go 25 minutes. It's up to you guys. I'm ready to party, though, if you want. I'm ready to take shots. That's how fucking crazy I am right now. I am ready to celebrate. This was my last day. You know, I get a break tomorrow for the first time in, I think, 10 days. I'm ready to go. So let's go, man. What's up, chat? I hope you guys hit that like button. We're just kind of delaying as we wait for the, you know, the alert to go out to everybody. So I'm just kind of babbling as we begin the show plenty of shit to talk about there's fucking so much shit to talk about it's almost unbelievable click that like button share this video everywhere you can and let's try to get this bitch to 100 viewers get the alert out there i know it's late last minute expected i got home just literally i, I got home in three minutes i had this show up so i busted my ass to get home as quick as possible to get this fucking thing rolling man i did as quick as i could Get this shit on the air. I came in and I got it rolling. So we're going to throw 30 minutes up on the clock. We'll have the clock rolling. We're going to talk about sports, Celtics, the movies, entertainment. I got a bunch of news stories here I'm going to flip the fuck out on. We've got you guys here. I possibly will start downing shots. I don't know. I got in a big fucking fight with somebody earlier. We're going to talk about that. Um, you know, I'm just winding down, man. It feels, cr I was, you know, I was actually outside kind of cold tonight. I was underdressed, I think outside and man, I started fucking getting cold. I was like, man, I'm getting fucking cold out here. And I just stayed out there doing something anyway. And then after a while I was like, you know what? I think I'm fucking, fr I'm fucking goddamn freezing for Christ's sake. Um, tonight, $5 or more is going to equal three minutes. Or is it three, three, six, nine, twelve? Uh, no, five dollars will equal uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So what? Fifty minutes is. Well, I don't know. We'll say five. Five dollars equals four minutes. We'll give you four minutes. Five dollars equals four minutes. That's the deal. Let's run that clock, baby. Let's run that clock. And let's get the show going, man. Five dollars equals four minutes. Just to have a little fun, you know. Beat the clock. You know, the show could end in twenty minutes. 30 minutes, the show could end in 7 hours, 10 hours. Who knows? fucking knows how long it could go. Um, it's up to you guys. This is a fun little gimmick that helps support the show and helps us all have some fun. And Fuck, I don't know. It's, I don't know. People seem to like it. Uh, you guys have liked it for years, and so I brought it back. And we've been doing well with it for the last few months. I think let's keep doing it. Um, and if we get to the hour mark, I will probably transition over to Discord so I can throw some other voices on the show, and we can keep it rolling. Uh, what is going on, chat? I don't see you yet because I'm on the other screen. I will get over to the chat in a second. Let me get the clock up. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the clock up. Um, so I'm gonna play some of this uh, clip. Let me put a post up. Let me see what the poll. What do you guys think? Fight.
Um, what should I do first? I'll put the poll up right now. See what you guys want to talk about. There's the poll. And once again, let everybody know that I'm live, man. Let everybody know that we're live here. It takes a lot to get all this shit underway, you know what I mean? Especially when you come right in the house, you turn on everything, and you start trying to roll right away. Um, okay, just posting a clip. We posted it. All right, so here we go. Uh, we got the post up now, and we will see what we can do with that and we get it going. Um, oh, shit. Let me get the clock up. I'm, oh, my bad. No romance, because there ain't no chance in my happy pants. Could you put a chance? Go and take this dance. And leave me here. I'm a bad motherfucker. I ain't got no fear. What the time was the time, motherfucker. Time, motherfucker. Oh, it's getting crazy already. We got to vote for a, a, happy rhyme, motherfucker. a king of JCS this week, too. It's clock, clock. Bang, bang, tick tock. Frog in a sock. Oil shock. Cause I'm on one in stock What's the time, motherfucker? Set it Glock o'clock I said it's Glock o'clock Oh damn, he didn't say anything I'm surprised I am shocked right now The ghost from the coast Coast, coast, coast uh, The ghost from the coast dropping uh, $49 Holy shit, dude Whoa Ghost from the fucking coast, dude, dropping fucking $49, man. Holy fuck, bro. Whoa, dude. Oh, I got to jump back in the chat in a minute and say hi to you, bro. Let me, I fucking got to flip off the screen, though. Damn, man. Ghost from the coast. We're going to count that as 50 bucks, man. 49 is close to 50. Shit, dude. Well, we're definitely going to get to Discord tonight, I think. What's 50, uh... Wow. Okay, so we got 10 times 4, so that's 40 minutes, I think, right there. Fuck, bro. You just added 40 minutes to the show. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to get to Discord tonight. Wow. 66 minutes on the clock. That's over an hour, so we're going to get at least 5 minutes on Discord with all the other people, if, you, if there are anybody on Discord waiting to be on the show. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck, man? What the hell, dude? Fucking ghost from the coast, you beast. I haven't even gotten into a goddamn topic yet. And fucking ghost from the coast is coming in beast. God damn it, man. We're going to play a little bit of this uh, this fight here that I got going on in a minute. It's pretty fucking crazy. Um, damn, man, that's that's fucking crazy. Some crazy shit, Ghost. We just killed the clock, and we got it. We plan the spot on. Oh day. my God! Yeah. Holy shit! I want you to jam it in. Oh. Let's go all night help me chat. Holy fucking God! $300! We're never going to bed! We're making coffee! We're making cumsicles! Holy shit! Oh my God, bro! Holy fuck! Oh my god, I can go I I can go to the movies tomorrow. We can go see Sonic now. <laughs> like oh my god, dude, what the fuck? What? Drew Bar. Drew Bar. Drew Bar. Wow, man. Drew Bar. Oh my god, bro. 
Oh my God, we're gonna be fucking, we're gonna be waxing our carrot all night. Three hundred divided by fucking five is sixty times four. That's two hundred and forty plus one hundred three. Three hundred and forty-three, dude. Is that right? Three hundred and forty-three. Is that three hours and 43 minutes? That's not right, right? That can't be right. Wow. Dude, 300 divided by 5 times 4 is 240. Yep, plus another hour is 300. Oh, my God. That's crazy. And we were at an hour. So, plus 60. So we're talking about three about three hundred minutes. Three hundred minutes. Okay, it's three hundred minutes. Somebody if I'm wrong, let me know. Holy shit, dude. I'm pretty sure it's three hundred minutes, which is three hours. Am I cra am I wrong? Am I wrong here? It was sixty minutes. Then you take three hundred and you divide by five dollars. That's sixty times four minutes. 240 plus 60 is 300. 300 divided by 60 is, is, is that right? Am I crazy? I think it might be four hours. No, that's four hours and, hold on, let me redo the hours. 240 minutes divided by 60 is four hours. Damn, that's four hours, bro. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, dude. We're never going to bed. I got to go see Sonic tomorrow. Oh, my God, bro. I can't even... The, the math is blowing up my head right now. I think it's four hours, yeah. I knew I was off by something. Guys, is it five hours? Now people are just fucking with me. Four hours and ten minutes. Holy shit, dude. What in the world? Dude, this show's going, we're going all fucking night, bro. Oh, yeah, four hours plus the hour we already had. You're right. Let's go five. All right. Five hours. Should we lower the minutes now? <laughs> we probably should, right? Lower it down a little bit. Oh, my God, bro. Four hours. Holy fuck, bro. This is crazy. Four hours and ten minutes. Oh, what did I put? 4.59? You guys are all over the place. You guys want to hear the fight. Holy shit, dude. We got to figure out the real time of this. We need a real mathematician here to figure this fucking shit out. Now, I'm going to definitely need to go to Discord in a little while. Dude, you're talking to a retard who didn't pass school. Like, this is why I have to have three jobs and YouTube. This is why I didn't do my taxes right for four years, guys. There's there's no, there's no like, you know, it's not like I was like, fuck that. I don't need to do the taxes. Like, fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? No, it's like I made a mistake for four years in a row, and it adds up. You add, add $15,000 in mistakes for four years up, and it equals a lot of money. It's right, Joe. Five hours, trust me. Okay, cool. Let's just leave it right now. We'll leave it at how it is right now. How about the Celtics, man? They do look really good. Holy shit, dude. Wow, I cannot believe this right now. I can't. I uh, man, Drew Bar, thank you for that three hundred dollars, man. Holy shit, Drew Bar! If you guys want to donate tonight, the link is down below. But I also pinned the Streamlabs link up top. If you want to use Streamlabs, it's there. If you want to use the link down below, it's there too. But wow, who would think an Omega bomb like that? Thank you to uh, everybody who's already donated. I've barely even done anything yet on the show. You guys are fucking crazy. This is nuts. Drew Bar, $300. Thank you so much, dude. Wow. The ghost from the coast with a cool 50. I mean, man, what the hell, bro? I just worked my balls off today since, like, fucking 6 a.m. And I made, like, 130 bucks, busting my ass all day long. I feel like shit, kind of. And then I come on here, and in, like, 
15 minutes. You, you like that's crazy that amount. Like it's crazy, man. Anyway, uh, let's get to some of the fight, man, because I'm a retard with math, uh, no doubt about it. So we'll just go with what you guys got there. All right, let's. Should we lower it? We'll lower it to three minutes. Here you go. We lower it to three minutes. There you go, John. He's like, you should lower it now before you're fucking up all tomorrow. Well, that we could still be up all tomorrow. We'll lower it. Five dollars equals three minutes now. There you go. <laughs> but man, we got a long ways to go, man. Drew Bard just paid for a show, basically. He paid for the show. But we could still end up going. It could still end up going longer and longer. We don't know. Um, we're gonna play the fight in a minute. Looks like you guys want to hear the fight, so we're gonna get to that. We're gonna go to Discord in a little bit. And um, we will, uh, but let me let me open Discord first of all and see what's up with Discord. I see you guys are all hitting me up. Uh, I see a lot of messages. Road Dog put out the uh, second podcast of his podcast, the second episode. Hopefully that's good. At some point I'll get to listen to that and hear what they got to say, and we'll see how good it is. Uh, looks like the and the Discord's fixed, by the way. And uh, I see Jack, uh, Mr. Pico's over there. Waiting on Discord. I'm sure a few other people are going to be popping in over there. Uh, waiting on there as well. And and we have to break the tie. It's a great point. Really mysterious. We do have to break the tie from last night. Tonight we're going to find out who um, is the um, true JCS digital champion when we, we give points. Make sure when you guys donate tonight that you do give points. Um, points to... Um, Really mysterious or Garguts. And if you did donate already, you guys can assign your points. And it's going to be uh, dollar for dollar. No spinning in the wheel. We'll just do dollar for dollar on either one of these guys. One dollar for one point. And we're going to decide who the week-long JCS Digital Champion is. Um, because we had a tie last night, so we're going to break the tie tonight. And you guys get to break that tie tonight. And let me know who is the JCS Digital Champion. A really mysterious or Garguts. Now let's go to a fight I had earlier tonight. Jeremiah says Celtics in four. Jeremiah, thank you, Ghost. And Drew Bar with the $300 bazooka. Drew Bar, just remember, you will be threatened and hit up by people now that you donated that much like everybody else um, ever does. And usually they get whisked away look at joe and all the other people um but yeah you've been doing this for years so i don't i'm not worried about your you but you know what i mean you gotta be careful when you uh when you drop that kind of dough uh 300 dollars drew bar top donation uh here's the beginning of some of the fight uh, go back it's classic fights you gotta love them you gotta love them this this guy believes i doxed him which he doesn't anymore we made we figured this all out but it's like the fact that you actually people believe these things is crazy you know what I mean? And basically, and I, you know why he thinks I doxed him is because, which is, we all know that I wouldn't fucking dox anybody. That's the stupidest shit ever. Um, you know, basically what it is is people are always inviting me in all this bullshit, and I'm always blocking people on Skype and all this other shit. And when I was in there, I see people's fucking shit. You know, they threaten me. They threaten other people. They put people's addresses in the Skypes. And um, I made a joke one time because this guy was in a fight with our old friend Tony. And Tony's mad at me too now because I blocked him on Twitter. But the bottom line is the only reason why I blocked Tony on Twitter is because he was sending me bullshit about like drama shit. And I'm like, listen, I don't care. So I blocked him on there because I was like, I don't want to even see it or hear about it. I just don't care, you know. And um, But, I, you know, I'm not opposed if he calls up to be on the show or to come on and say something. I don't even have a problem. I just didn't want to see it on Twitter. So I ended that. I'm like, all right, dude, you're still sending me stuff. I don't care, um, you know, about this BS. Um, and this is just what happens, man. I don't think most people care about it, to be honest. But um, people do want to hear the fight. So let's we'll hear some of it. Where and, and now, keep in mind, I was trying to be funny by doing a voice. You know, somebody sent me... Um, you know the the clip and they're saying you know there's you know do your people have been talking off a lot a lot about Keith randomly sending me messages about this guy and I'm like why why is this guy being brought up all of a sudden I kicked him off my show in 2015 when I found out about him and then I got ridiculed for years that I shouldn't have been I shouldn't have kicked him off that he really didn't do that much wrong and everybody has changes and things like that. And I'm like, that's fine, but I don't really want him on my show. Um, 
you know, after what he did, and I'm not going to get into that stuff here. But you know, I called. Uh, I, you know, I called. You know, basically, I started trying to do a bit, making fun of him. You know, like, hey, you know, you want to fuck with me? But instead, what happened was somebody else just started screaming over me, and then telling me like, I'm mad at you because you dox me. You know, and we got in this fight, and recorded the whole thing. It's just like so weird. I don't think Tony. I don't know. I don't know if Tony's gone again. He he can call if he wants. If he wants to talk to me, he can call. I just blocked him on on Twitter. That's all I did. I blocked him on Twitter because I didn't want to hear you know the goofy shit. Um, but I you know other than that, I don't have a problem with him. I just didn't like him sending me all this drama shit and these clips and these weird things. I was like, I just don't care about this stuff, and I told him not to do it. Um, you know. But yeah, you guys can, if you've already donated, you can use your donation to give points to either Garguts or Really Mysterious. So go ahead and um, drop your points and let me know who you want to give those points to. And I will uh, I will go ahead and put them next to either Garguts or Really Mysterious. And we will try to break this tie and see who the true JCS Digital Champion is for the week. But let's go to the clip if I got it. I got it rolling up here. I got it rolling somewhere. Let me see if I got it here. Where is it? It's somewhere. Um, da, 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 da. Let me see. Um, I got to find it. It it's somewhere. Mhm. <laughs> Um, here it is. It's just a really funny thing because it's like, <laughs> I love the way this guy gets worked up and like flips out and freaks out. What up, Tex? It's just really funny listening to him like, lo- like lose his fucking mind. Hey. Why don't you go fucking suck a dick, Cronin, fucker? Hey. Hey, fuck you. I was talking to you in Minnesota. I'm at the dog pound Shut right up. now. Why don't you go manipulate him? Why don't you go manipulate some weak? See, I was trying to be funny, and I didn't. All of a sudden, he was like, "You know, no, I'm gonna get in a fight with you." And I'm like, "Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know we had beef. You know, I didn't know that was. I didn't know there was some kind of beef going on. You know, I didn't realize that. You know, and that was that was my confusion. Minded fucking people like you have for ten years, running Ooh. your community, fucker. Play along with That's the, all you done. Oh, yeah, I just take advantage. Let's take advantage of people so they fucking give me money. We'll fucking we'll take advantage of the weak-minded motherfuckers and they'll give me money. Hey, hey, my name is Joe Cronin and I'm fucking as entertaining as a fucking piece of shit. You're a, you fucking <laughs> fat piece of stupid. You're fucking. <laughs> I tried tried to keep doing the voice to keep up the gimmick, but he was dead serious and I didn't know why he was mad at me. At this point, I didn't know why he was mad at me. I'm like, I don't understand where this is coming from. I thought he was just fucking around or something. I don't know. Stupid dude. You fucking come on here acting like a fucking homosexual? I mean, what the fuck do you expect? I can't fucking stand you, dude. <laughs> I'd like to punch Crone at you in your fucking face, damn. <laughs> homosexual. <laughs> you come on here acting like a homosexual. <laughs> like, yeah, he's right about that. And honestly, I'd like to punch uh, you right in your fucking Rachel, face. Like, wow, you, okay. you mother... What? You sit here... You sit here and fucking talk about how you guys were po- passing my personal information around in a fucking Skype call and shit, and fucking that shit's cool? Fuck You're you, dude. You're an oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an mm, idiot, yeah. right? Yeah. Because why am I? I'm an idiot? Because the only way you could have got my personal information is if I donated? So fucking, of course, that either leaves you or Ken, <laughs> motherfucker, and Ken wouldn't do that to me. So you... Did it, Cronin? You are the one. Dude, he thinks he legitimately thinks that I doxed him. He thinks that he donated to me and then I doxed him. Why would I dox someone who donated to me? That's the craziest thing, though. Like, I first of all, I don't know how you dox someone because they donated to you. Because you get their email address and their PayPal. I don't know. I don't know. You know? I don't know what the why the fuck he thinks I would dox him. First of all, I never talk about Minnesota. I never talk about him. He hasn't been on the show in years. 
years. He hasn't been on the show. Why would I dox him? Why would I dox anybody? Because if you dox anybody, it's against everybody's TOS of anywhere. You can, If you dox someone, you lose everything you do. Like, that's just a fact. You know? And it's illegal. Why would I do that? But he thinks because... I don't know if it's the joke from the Skype joke about his address being everywhere or if it's he just really believes this. He really I think he really believes it, though, it sounds like. But then later on, he you know, we did make up later. So I think he got over it. But it was weird at the beginning that he was this angry. Minnesota, 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 breathe. Shut the fuck up, dude. What the fuck are you, you talking about? You are the one that docks me. Now you're about to see. Now, I, w- I do apologize. I am going to start screaming and freak out because when you guys know me. When I'm accused of something I didn't do, I get the most angry. You know what I mean? The more angry I get, you know that you know, I I'm really believe what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know why that is the way I am, but yeah. He's like, you do- he's like, you know you dox me. It's like, what? What? Why would I do that to you or to anybody? Why? People do that to me. The only way to get my information is from a donation. That's how it happened. You're a fucking idiot. Fuck you. You fucking idiot. You've been lied to, you stupid. Why don't you say that to my face, motherfucker? Why don't you say your shit to my face? You wouldn't say shit to my face. You fucking bow down and touch the Minnesota, don't get too worked up, dude. You don't want to have another corner. You kind of bring it down. Dude, you're an idiot. I don't even have your test. Forever. You fucking doxed me, you cunt. I didn't dox you, you fucking idiot. Where the fuck did I dox you, you fucking idiot? And why are in a Skype motherfucker? I know what happened. You and Ken are the only ones I fucking donated to, and that's the only way they could have got my shit. You fucking idiot. Everyone's been doxxed, you stupid fuck. Stop fucking lying to everybody, you fucker. Why don't you start telling the truth, bitch? Why don't you prove it, fat faggot? You didn't, why don't you say it to my face? You won't, because you're a Kill scumbag yourself. motherfucker. Kill yourself. Hide behind Kill yourself. a mic. We won't say Keep shit to my face. Keep lying. Keep lying. Keep lying, Keep lying you fucking face. fake fuck. Keep you lying, you piece of shit. Face. You won't say nothing to my face. You'll back right the fuck down. If I what the fuck are you talking me? about? Dude, you're making up a fight for no reason right now. Just shut really? up. You fucking dox me. You caused all this shit, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> You, you now you're censoring me, you fucking idiot. You did it! No, I didn't, you fucking idiot. You passing my shit around. No one's, no, yeah, I'm not passing your shit around, you dumb idiot. There's fucking proof of that, because I never did it. You stupid <laughs> fucking you idiot. It. You're a dumb fucking lying idiot. You did it, cock boy. <laughs> yeah, you bother to fucking dox you. Wait, you'll find out my personal shit was somebody... Fucking you're come killing you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fucking... What? <laughs> <laughs> I said, if I had your personal shit, I'd come kill you right now. And he goes... What? He goes, what? Dude, he fucking... He fucking dead... He stopped in his tracks. He's like, fucking, what? <laughs> Can you passing my shit around. No one's. No, yeah, I'm not passing your shit around, you <laughs> dumb idiot. There's fucking proof of that because I never did it. You stupid <laughs> fucking idiot. It. You're a dumb fucking lying idiot. Did it, cock boy. I don't yeah, think Joe would bother to fuck yeah. fucking talk to Way to find out my personal shit was somebody who <laughs> fucking a donor. Come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? Say that again. And <laughs> <laughs> again, fucker. Oh my god, dude. What? Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm a fucking. What? Oh, I'm a fuck. What? 
Mm-hmm. I yeah, don't think Joe improve. would bother to fuck yeah. fucking talk to you. Come kill you right now. If I had your personal shit, I'll come kill you right now. And he basically realized, oh, is that like some kind of threat? Like, and then so he was like, what? Fucking you fucking adult. Come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? Say that again. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking. What? Dude. The amount of levels of funny that that clip is, for different reasons. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> fucking you adult. Shit come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I haven't talked to him in forever. Like I, like I don't know why he thinks. That I would, you know, like, I don't, I, I swear to God to you, I think he's working. I still don't really believe this is real. He can't really believe this is real. Like, you can't really think that I would do this, right? Like, it can't, I just can't fathom that somebody really believes that I would do this. Come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. what? Say that again. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You got bigger problems with your friend Tony over there. Fuck off and deal with him instead of me. He's another scumbag that you attracted to this fucking community. Yeah, you scumbag weak that I fucking idiot, you fucking idiot. idiot. Another You're weak mind. Shut the shit. fuck up, bro. Kill yourself, dude. You're an idiot. Oh, because I'm telling it like it is, and you don't like it? Is this Fuck a joke? You, where he's, is this just like a joke where he just... Oh, you know, dude, this is what it is, motherfucker. You're the fucking reason that my shit gets fucked with. You're the yeah. reason that... You're blaming me for it. Kid. You're an idiot. You're, you're stupid as fuck, bro. For your reason, I had to go to the police station and report my address. <laughs> and and prove it, you fucking lying faggot. Prove it, you fucking lying idiot. I don't get fucking swatted because of you. You fucking retard. You fucker. Oh, you fucking idiot. Because of what you did, I had to go and fucking report my shit. So the didn't do anything. What I did he do, though? Anything. What did he do? Mother I didn't do anything. I don't know why he said, because of what you did, I didn't do anything. What do you mean, because of what I did? Like, see, this is the stuff I'm talking about. Because of what you did, what did I do? I didn't do anything. You know? Because of what other people did. Like, uh, like I have nothing to do with this. Okay. Thanks a lot, because that's what how the, it works. What the fuck Minnesota, did I do? Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota. Calm down a little bit. Dude, what, what is it you're saying you had to do because of you being doxxed? What kind of lying piece of shit are you? What kind of fucking lying scumbag are you? I told you if you let this motherfucker on here. Fucking, I was gonna not gonna be good. Yeah, you, but, you, 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 you encouraged me to take the call. He is the root of all of the evil of the community. He is the ringleader behind it all. <laughs> fucking do not let the fucker manipulate you anymore. Imagine if I really, if I could manipulate people, I wouldn't lose. Like, nobody would have ever left my show. If I could manipulate people, they would never have left. Like, I would probably be, I wouldn't be working three jobs right now. If I could manipulate people, like, like... That was my point, bro. I was like, if I could do that, then we would really, like, I'd probably be kicking some ass right now. Like, you know what I mean? It'd be, be looking pretty good, you know what I mean? But I I don't know where this comes from. I, I don't know where this delusion, where the delusion comes from. You know what I mean? I don't know. Looks like my little lass needs oh, shaving. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck, I am terrible at sports betting this weekend. Yeah. This 20 bucks is going to better use here. Love oh. you, Joe. Oh, fuck, man. Colonel Stutters. What up, Colonel Stutters? We'll see you on the Discord in a few minutes when I head over there, man. 
We got four hours and 37 minutes in this show to go because of the donations that were bombs. Uh, damn, man. Colonel Stutters, thank you for the $20. Holy fucking shitballs, dude. $20 rolling in from Colonel Stutters. That's going to... Uh, fuck. 3, 6, 9, 12. That's going to add 12 minutes to the clock. Uh, we're at 47. Yeah, we'll just call it 50. Four hours and 50 minutes. Damn, dude. Wow. We have a long night ahead of us, bro. We have a long fucking night ahead of us. And people haven't even give, given points yet that I know of. I don't think so. Last night, there was a tie between Really Mysterious and Garguts live on the show. So we're trying to break that tie. So every dollar you donate counts as one point. So if you donate 20 bucks... Feel free to give 20 points to one of these guys. So, And if you've already donated, you can say it in the chat, and I will try to add it right now. Somebody will let me know. But Really Mysterious and, or Garguts, who is it going to be right now? Nobody's given points that I know of yet. Maybe somebody has, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that yet. But we'll, we'll find out. Um, it's been... Let's go back to the fight. Let's get back to the fight. Um, thank you, Colonel Stutters, for $20. Coming after Drew Bar's $300. Holy fuck, Drew Bar. $300. I'm buying a hooker. And the ghost from the coast with the forty nine ninety nine before that. Let's get back to the weird fight. Dude, he's working. He's trying to work me up because he's working. Let's listen to that clip again, though, real quick. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> I'm telling it like this. You it happened. Yourself. You fucking busted yourself, fucker. When you said you were passing my shit around at the Skype call, it was all over for you. Hey, I was doing it, you idiot. I said it's all over Skype, you dumb fuck. You know, he may he may be right about the fact that I said something like that because I did say, like, uh, he was in a fight with Tony one time, and me and Tony were talking on the air, and I think I did make a, like a, I tried to trigger him by making a joke where I was like, little does he know we have his address and we have his whole life, like, and everything. And I was getting blamed for it, so I think I was making a joke that, like, little does he know we have his whole address and his life. And, like, so it is possible that he heard that. Like, I knew he, I mean, I said it on the air on purpose. But it is possible that he's taking that as serious. So maybe that's what he's mad at. Maybe that's what it is. But the reality of it is is that these fucking people that he literally is friends with or has been friends with are the ones that did it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, this is fucking weird. And you know what I mean? And see, he blames me because I called it out. <clears throat> Whenever you call things out, you get blamed for it. I, I try not to call things out anymore because when you call it out, you get blamed for it. You're like, oh, my God, you left the door open, John. And then John goes, you must have left it open. And you're like, oh, no, I just saw the door was open. So I'm just saying, like, hey, the door's open over there. Yeah, you must have left it open, you fuckhead. Oh, my God, I'll never say anything again. You know, it's sort of like that. You know what I mean? You see something and you say something, and then you get held responsible for it. And it's like, no, I'm just making you fucking aware, you know, of what's going on. Um, but so he does have like a little bit of a beef there, but the thing is that was, you know, that was done six months ago or eight months ago and me and him, what up artists formerly known as Jerome Brony Jabber podcast. Um, you know, I was talking to him a couple months ago and he was like, Hey Joe, what's up? And I'm like, Hey man, it's been a while, you know? And like, we got along and you know, two months later, randomly, he got crazy about this sort of thing, which I, you know, I, that's why I was confused here. Everything fucking made sense. You're you gave my shit to Scott. Fuck it. That was the beginning of the end, motherfucker. I've never sent anyone's address anywhere. So you're. I've never sent Scott people's addresses. Like, that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. I've never sent Scott people's addresses. That is, I don't know where that comes from, but that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I think I'm going to go to Scott and send you his address. Your, like, what? Why in the fuck of all hell would I do that? 
And then if that's the case, who's sending my addresses and everyone else's addresses out everywhere? All and I'm not like I don't understand that. I am not sending Scott anyone's addresses. That is the dumbest fucking shit. First of all, I'm not doing it. Second of all, you can never prove it because I never did it. So it doesn't exist. Obviously, someone's told you this and you believe it. Or I don't know. Who knows what people fucking do at this point. But just the weirdest shit gets fucking believed by these fucking people. You know? Fucking hilarious. Hit the like button and stick the thumb up my ass. All over <laughs> Skype, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Everything fucking made sense. You're you gave dumb, my shit to Scott. Fuck it, that was the beginning of the end, motherfucker. I've never sent anyone's address anywhere, so you're dumb. You did. You said you were passing me personal information all around in the Skype call. No, I have I never done that, you idiot. Why would I do that? I don't know, because you think it's fucking funny. <laughs> you think I think it's funny. You're a stupid <laughs> fuck, dude. Nothing more to do with you, so you got to try to do shit to me to get my attention. But doing shit like that, you talk I, shit about me on your dumb boring shit. Someone shows. gets their attention. Okay, doxing someone, that's how I get your, I'll get your attention by doxing you. That doesn't make any sense. You fucking put real as fuck in the title of your dumbass show, fucking thinking you're funny. Like, I don't notice nothing that you've done trying to poke me, and get me mad, and piss me off. You, you literally it, took real as fuck after we said it all the time, you dummy, and you said admit it to it. Do you know how many times I've left a phone call that you were on because I don't... <laughs> This is a this is the best reach I've heard. I like this Minnesota. You're 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 doing a good job. You ruined the bit. You ruined the Keith bit. You realize that? I don't care, dude. I've been meaning to get this shit out. And fucking. The last you. Time, I just talked to you a couple months ago, and you were nice to me. This doesn't even make Listen. sense. Listen. This is all fake, dude. You're just being fake. You're just working. It's I get it. I'm not here to work. I was calling quickly. I got to go back. I get out of here. But you're we're wasting time working with Minnesota right now. Why are we why are we doing this? What is this fake outrage about? Why are you doing this? I talked to you two months ago. You were nice. What changed in two months? The fucking act, dude. I've been fucking saving it. All right. Been now I want to monetize this and fucking light you up and bury on, you. You would have edited shit and you would have muted shit and did shit like you always do. You when you play your little fuck fuck games and hit the fucking mute button. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> When you play your little, <laughs> when you play your little fuck fuck games, oh my god, let's go back to that. Hold on a minute. All right. And I want to monetize this and fucking light you up and bury Come you. On. You would have edited shit and you would have <laughs> muted shit and did shit like you always do. You when you play your little fuck fuck games and hit the fucking mute button. <laughs> no, you play your little fuck fuck games and did shit like you always do. When you play your little fuck fuck games. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wait. <laughs> Hold on a minute. What? <laughs> you play your little fuck fuck games. And oh my god, when you play your little fuck fuck games, dude. Dude. <laughs> When you play your little fuck fuck games, that's got to be one of the best lines I've ever heard. When you play your little fuck fuck games. <laughs> uh. Little fuck fuck games. When you play your little fuck fuck games. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm a fuck. What? What? Say that. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? What? Oh, I'm a fuck. What? Say that again. <laughs> you play a little fuck fuck games. Fuck fuck games. Fuck fuck games. When you play your little fuck fuck games. I don't get it. When you play your little fuck fuck games. That's going in the clips. All the shit you play. Yeah, when so you bring up drama, like, people, yeah, yeah, we don't want to. I don't want to harp on it. You know, I mean, that's you. You do. Oh, oh, 
What was it you originally called for, Joe? What what was it that you were calling in for originally, anyway? Well, you know, probably somebody, you know, somebody linked me about, oh, you know, something about Keith. And I'm like, OK. And I came in here and heard the last 10 minutes. And I'm like, oh, I see what's going on. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to call up really quickly and just be like, I'm at the dog pound, you know, and just fucking hang up. That's all. That's all. I was just to be a. Uh, I was going to get Minnesota Vikings talking about that I doxed them well, and all. I, I think the reason why somebody might have linked something to you is the fact that JB was mentioned as far as how he did not want to be on your show anytime that Keith was on. And no, maybe we never, they were... Keith, no, we never had Keith on at that time. We didn't have, Keith, we got rid of Keith. I got rid of Keith after the third time he was ever on the show. Just remember this, Joel, you made it like this. This is okay. the way you made so, it. Very good. So look yourself I mean, in a fucking mirror and remember that. You I, made I, it like you okay. made it like this. You're okay. the one that did this. Not me. I, I devoted no, hundreds of thousands of just, hours yeah. of free fucking time to your fucking show and you Minnesota, made thousands of dollars you, off of me. Dude, but you uh, didn't I, use I, me, right? Just, I love you, Minnesota. It's okay. I like you. No, I would no. never do that, to you, dude. No. I like you. I do like you. No, it ain't. It ain't. It's the manipulation shit that I'm I talking don't know, about, dude. We never, we what? never talk. We we've we've talked like this months ago, and I never talked to you after it. I'll tell you again though that I have no problem with you, man. Relax. I wouldn't dox you, and I all I said was, you know, bringing light to the fact that people did this on Skype. People did it to me and other people too. Relax though. I like you. You're fine. You were, you're great. I don't know why you're upset right now. I don't care, but the but it's okay. You know, I don't hate you, or I don't. I wouldn't want to harm you. I don't no, hate you, anybody. Or, it hates the fucking Minnesota. I don't, think about I this. I don't have that hate. I don't have fucking hate in my heart. So okay. I'm not fucking rot wired like that. Minnesota, think about one thing though. As as much as many fucked up things as Joe has done, with him having kids and a wife. And, you know, I don't see him doxing you to jeopardize his fucking, uh, you know, to jeopardize himself to hey, get jailed you know, or I mean, otherwise. Even if he didn't like, like, even if, like, he did something, <laughs> like, there have been people that have done crazy shit to me. And I, I'm i not, no one's going to, you know, doxing is lame. That shit is so stupid, like, and out of the wheelhouse. Like, I mean. Oh man, he that some of those clips, man. You got to give it to him. He's still got that. He's still got that funny fire in him. You know what I mean? That ability to be ridiculously funny. You know what I mean? Like in a dumb, whatever. You when you play your little fuck fuck game. <laughs> See, come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? Say that again. <laughs> oh, thank you, RM. <clears throat> Let's see. Drew Bar, 300 points to Garguts, the bastard. And Ghost gave 50 to uh, Really Mysterious. Okay, so Really Mysterious has 50 points. Garguts has 300. So right now, Garguts is in the lead. Does this change both? Yeah, it changes both. Eh, I guess there's nothing you can do about that. Um, I could just separate them, actually. So Really Mysterious has 50, and Garguts has 300. And we'll make this, like, we'll make Garguts teal or whatever the fuck this color is. So Garguts right now is on top. Really Mysterious is trailing. A dollar equals a point. We're going to settle the score and find out who the JCS Digital Champion of the Week is for Monetize This Last Night. We're breaking the tie tonight on the show. Um, this is Beat the Clock. It's 25 minutes long unless the donations make it longer. And over $350 has come in early, putting us at a four-hour now and 36 minutes show still to be had uh, and counting. So pretty crazy. Going to be going over to Discord soon. So if you guys are on the Discord, um, make sure you guys have have access over there because uh, the Discord is open, and I will be heading over there in just a few minutes, I believe. So if you are on the Discord, um, you know, be ready. I'll put the link in the chat for the Discord. There it is. And uh, 
I want to play the fuck fuck game, says Jake Alvarez. I think everybody wants to play the fuck fuck game now. You know what I mean? You, when you play your little fuck fuck game. <laughs> you, when you play your little fuck fuck game. You See, fucking you adult. Shit come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> you, when you play your little fuck fuck game. <laughs> when I play my little fuck fuck games, like doxing you. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I want to take, I want to, you know what? This guy, I want to take what you've done for me and I want to fucking tell everybody. It's like so dumb. Dude, you could literally say something terrible about like my family and I still wouldn't do that to somebody. You know what I mean? Because it's not okay. You know, no matter what, it's just not okay to do it. You know? You could say you're going to burn my house down with my family in it, you know what I mean? And you hope that my kids lose everything. You know, it's like I, I still wouldn't do it because it's just not – it doesn't matter. You don't do that to somebody, and I'm not going to do it because someone said something or because you left or, or any other reason. And I don't know how many times I can tell you that, that that's not me. Yes, on the show, I might say crazy shit and wa get wild on the show and say I'll – burn your mother's asshole with a hot poker and all these things. But, like, to do something actually bad to somebody behind the scenes is retarded. Like, any of that stuff is retarded. First of all, I have no time for it anymore. But certainly is just a stupid thing. You know, it really is. Dude, well, that's, why times, we, that's why we did get rid of... How many times have you called me a fucking pedo, Joe? Hey, guys. I'm here. Want to go to the... I want to go to the playground. I don't know. How many times have I? Multiple fucking times. When? On your dumb show. On when your was monetized, the last time? Well, Mike, oh. He's a pedo. He's a pedo. <laughs> yeah, but Dude, when, it ain't I fucking funny, man. when was the last time I mentioned you on my show other than like, hey, is Minnesota's bite ban over yet? I I have no idea because I quit watching you a year ago, dude. But people still send me shit once in a while, and they're like, "Oh yeah, they're saying something about you." I'm like, "Fucking I whatever." Never, I don't say that. It's like that's crazy. And if I did, you know, if I did make a joke about you, then it is whatever. But dude, you got to be kidding me with the fact that like you're not listening for the last year. But then you bring up stuff that happens all the time, and people send you, dude. People crap continuously. Um, make up shit about me that's crazy i'll have people come to me and i'll be like well, they're like mad and i'll be like why are you mad and then i find out why and i'm like that didn't happen what the fuck are you talking about but you all believe all these little sparrows and little people that whisper things or manipulative audio oh, clips I, I, oh, I do my research i don't do that sh i don't i don't i don't jump at every person that sends me something because i know it's probably horseshit yeah, you know? I, I can't see. I can't see Joe having. So at this point, things started winding down, and then we got along and everything. And he, you know, figured it out. I think that, like, listen, I'm not doing. I'm not going to do this, you know. But I get, you know, I get being mad about it. But to, I just, I guess, I'm shocked that somebody would actually believe that I would do that. You know that I would do that. You know. Um. Yeah, I'm just shocked that, that someone would believe I would do that, I guess. I don't know. Here's the donation link if you guys want to donate directly to the show using the PayPal and support my channel and support what we're doing here and keep the shows rolling and all the other things. Um, you can super chat if you'd like to. Obviously, some people have dropped big super chat bombs here. The Celtics are kicking ass, man. Let's go back to the donations and see what people are saying. Shit bomb. Hey, what's up, Joe? How's it going? What's up? Tonight we are gonna go crazy. Oh. I was laughing so much last night when you all were making jokes about the historical fight matchups. <laughs> I have one more for you. How about Fidel Castro versus Karl Marx? Who wins? Oh, man. Oh, man. I think we have to get Fidel Castro out of the equation. Because, like, I just think Fidel Castro is too badass. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I think he would kick the shit out of everybody. And by the way, he's probably Justin Trudeau's dad. You know, almost 100% on that. Um, you know, he's a badass fucking guy. You know what I mean? Let me see. Uh, Fidel Castro, Karl Marx. I don't even know what Karl Marx looks like. 
Jesus Christ. You know who Karl Marx looks like? He looks like Bluto or whatever from the Popeye movie. <laughs> he's mean, he's mean, he's mean. You know what I mean? That's what he sounds like. I mean, I mean, I mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's like, he looks like Bluto. Like, isn't it Pluto or Bluto or somebody? I'm so mean, I had a dream beating myself up. Kind of looks like Troy ish. Karl Marx. What a scumbag he is. Oh, man. I, I'm still, I you know, Karl Marx looks like he put George Washington's hair over his head. Karl Marx looks like the type of person. Karl Marx looks like a, like a fucking dog, I mean, to be honest. You know, he looks like he's got fucking poodle hair. This can't be real. This painting, like, he probably had shittier. Is this a real photo over here of him? I mean, this is a painting of him. Is this a real photo of Karl Marx right here? Where he had a darker beard on the mustache area, but everything else was white? Man, Karl Marx looks like a fucking loser with his fucking lion hair. What is this, bro? He's got a full hair set, like... What? Like, his hair goes all the way around the top of his head, down to his beard. He has a circle beard on his head. Like, it looks like the sun. What the fuck is this guy? This guy has a full fucking hair thing around his whole head. Meanwhile, Fidel Castro can't connect his beard. Like, this is the opposite two types of people. You have an unconnecting beard like me, Fidel Castro... And then you have a completely connected fucking beard. I mean, this is scary. Oh, my God, bro. This guy's got a fully connecting beard. Like, this is a full-on connecting beard right here. Jesus. Look at that beard, man. It goes all the way around. It's fully connecting. And, and Fidel's just, it won't do it. Jesus. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know what I mean. Let me see, Karl Marx interview. Do we have any audio of Karl Marx? I don't know if we have an interview. No. 1883. Karl Marx is often described as one of the greatest thinkers of the 19th century. His writings have inspired revolutions and generated centuries of fierce debate. You mean generated wars? Born in Prussia, now Germany, in May 1818, Marx believed that capitalism, which was in its infancy at the time, had serious flaws. Marx claimed that in pursuit of profit, capitalists would encourage their ideology that work is good, leisure is bad, and material things will make us happy. Embracing mass production, depriving workers of jobs. Not wrong about that, you think about it satisfaction, at the same time exploiting the working class. He became involved in the Communist League, a small group of intellectuals who wanted to abolish the class system and spread wealth equally. Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto in... See, this is like the early communism, I feel like, when it was like, you know, when it was more about like dis distributing wealth in a, in a, in a fair way. You know, but now it's not really about that with anybody. Now it's about controlling everybody the same way. And, and, and like both things are bad, right? Like if you use workers for capitalistic reasons so you can make a bunch of money and they can work hard for you, that's controlling people in a way, right? But if you also are communist and you can get everybody on the same playing field to do all the things and then you're up here, you're also controlling everybody. So it's it really what it is is two different ways to control everybody. Um, essentially, although there is a little more freedom in the capitalist system, there's still a, a system built on, you know, really kind of being able to take advantage and control people, but people still have a little more freedom. Um, but they both do end up controlling people in certain ways. I think that's my quick little thing on it. I don't know. But as far as a physical fight between Karl Marx and Fidel Castro, I'm going to go over to discord now, by the way. Um, what up, Pico? What up, Tex? 
All right, what do you think? Karl Marx versus yeah. Fidel Castro. First thing I noticed was that Castro kind of looks like a bearded James Franco. Yeah, you're right about that. An, an unconnecting beard. An unconnecting bearded James yes. Franco. He, yeah. he yeah, he always should be bearded. Like, yeah. If we're if we're if we're starting with facial hair, like he's already below. Like, there's no way to compare that. Yeah, I mean they're both communist kind of people, but you know, but and also look at Karl Marx's beard. Isn't that weird, dude? His beard literally goes around his whole entire head, like in a weird, like an extra. He has like extra hair. Well, you know, I mean, beard growth is directly linked to testosterone. Mm. So obviously, Marx has more of it. I'm gonna go that way. He beat his ass. You that's, think I, that's what I'm? So you're thinking I've got a problem? Then you think I might have a problem? You can have. Could have a low T. It's very common, actually. Like I should a get, lot of guys do. I should maybe get go look at. I mean, I don't know. I guess I never thought I had a problem because, like, every day I want to bang. It's always there. You know, I've had three. I mean, I say, like, you're gaining weight, but you're not eating more. That's also a sign of low T as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, this only happened recently. This started last, uh, I would say, the last month. Because before right. that, it, dude, if I didn't eat a lot and I was and I worked out a little bit, I kept losing weight quickly, and I was like, oh, I'm killing it. And But this month, this month, I've, like, gone to bed hungry, and I'm like, all right, and I wake up, and I'm still about the same weight. And then I, I eat regular in the day or less, and I'm still about, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Right. So, yeah, maybe I need, maybe I don't I, know. I may, maybe, you know, just, I mean, obviously, you know, if you can afford it, because fuck going to the doctor, that shit's like a damn car payment these days. But, you know. Right. If you're able to get that testosterone checked out, you know, I mean, you're almost 40 and that shit happens about that time. So, you fucking Yeah. I, I could probably help it by exercising a bit too. Like, I really haven't been. So, I if I just start 15 minutes a day, you know, start plowing the exercise machine, that would probably help out. You know? How how much right, how much uh protein do you have in your diet? Are you eating a lot of steak or like what do you eat? Yeah, I mean, I I yeah, I would say that I have, I have a lot of fish and a lot and a. De I don't have a ton of meat anymore, but I do have a lot of fish. I would say I have, I definitely have been eating a lot less steak since you know because of the cost of steak. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be steak, but get some sort of red meat that you don't have to cook all the way. Well done, like fish. Right. And uh, it, you know. Get some of that natural, you know, that natural blood, that natural protein from that too. I can, I know with me, if I don't have it, I can feel a difference. Just like when I'm working in the yard or whatever. So yeah, yeah, no, I it's. Know. I probably have a little bit of low, low something. Something's going on. Fucking you fucking shit come killing you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? When you play your little fuck, fuck game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! When you play your little fuck fuck game, I got I got me a little fuck fuck game earlier. It was actually pretty good. So and then I come to watch your show, and now we're talking about fuck fuck games. Yeah, the well, shit came full circle. To me. I like what those. I like those fuck fuck games. You know, bring on the fuck oh, fuck man, games. It, it, you know, you could be having the worst day, and then you get you some fuck fuck game going on, and everything's good in the world. So, yeah, no, yeah. absolutely, man. Bring on the fuck, fuck game. shit bomb. Oh, shit. Hey, Joe. Hey, any chance you can find the old clip of the EC3 Tubber Telber clip? Hashtag nostalgia trip. Oh, yeah. I remember we actually played it not that long ago. We played it. Uh, I want to say like seven, six months ago, five months ago. We actually played it. Tubber, Tubber, Tubber. Yeah, I remember that we played it. Um, So, yeah, it's out yeah. there. I'll find it. J Jfinity, oh. thank you, man. What's up? Five bucks, get wet. Let's add three minutes to the show. That was five dollars. What was that text? Now, I've never seen this Minnesota guy, but the picture I'm getting in my head is of like a middle aged John Wayne Gacy. Am I anywhere in the ballpark oh, yeah. of what this town actually looks like? Yeah, you <laughs> well, he he was he, <laughs> He was mad at me for calling him a p. He says I call him a pedo or whatever, and I don't. I don't. Maybe. I, maybe I did. But yeah, he does. He looks a lot like Wayne Gacy. That's so weird. Yeah, he does. Oh, that's yeah. fucking weird. Like 
they have that same cadence. They have like, I don't know. That was the image I got in my head whenever uh, I was listening to Mr. Fuck Fuck Man, whoever the hell he is. Yeah. So. Nope. That's, he looks <laughs> crazily like that. It's, when you play your little fuck fuck game. No. Now, how old is that clip? Like, like, is that a while ago or what? No. Very recent. <laughs> Oh shit! Okay. Very recent. I don't know what his problem was. I mean, we made up since then. Like, you're like, okay, yeah, it's cool, all right. But, but you know, it's just like I was shocked that he was because I was trying to just joke around, and you know, then all of a right. sudden there was a big problem. You know, I don't know. Shit happened. Yeah. Hell. I'm shocked. You know what you going to do? But uh, we, you know, but, I. No, I I, you know what, what it is, is I made a joke about it because he was in a fight with Tony and he said he was going to, Tony said he was going to kill him and then he was mad at Tony and then just to, cause he was, now is this Tony from Revere? From the rear, yeah. The oh yeah, from the rear, yep. Dickhead dildo Tony. I am so, say, if he's fighting with him, I'm going to side with him someday. Yeah. I hate his fucking voice. Well, you know what it is. You know what it is. Is he, he? So Minnesota was like calling in, and he was trying to like. This was a while ago, and he was trying to mess up the show, the stream, by calling in over and over again. And so, like, to, so to piss him off, I I just kind of said, "Yeah, well, little does he know, we're the ones that destroy it. You know, do all this stuff. You know." And I said it as a joke, obviously, on the show to make him angry because we're whatever. So apparently, now that I put, you know, I'm putting two and two together now, and so that's him. So he believed that. Like, he didn't just think it was a joke. He thought that I was, like, being serious. But what it stems from is people inviting me into these bullshit Skype rooms. And then I'm like, oh, my God, I got to leave the room, leave the room, block someone, leave the room. And, you know, in these rooms is, like, everybody giving up everyone's fucking shit, these crazy fucking people. And they're people that a lot of people know, too. That's the crazy thing. And I'm like, ugh. And so I'm basically saying, like, hey, doofus like you know these people are all doing this to you and you don't even care but he but he went ahead and blamed me like it was me that gave it up i'm like why would i do that i don't care about any yeah. of this stuff you know it was too dude and it's like you can block block and block and they fucking still find a way i know i know it's like, ridiculous i just deleted the fucking skype i was like fuck this shit well that's what I, that's dude i'm close to like getting rid of discord and just going to fucking what is the thing? Zoom or something? Um, Just going to like Zoom or something like that. Zoom, Zoom, oh, yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Stream lard, stream lard, <laughs> stream lard. Yeah, don't stream don't lard. Oh my god, we should create that stream lard. Yeah, I got so sick of that Zoom. Yeah, that Zoom shit fucking sucks. During the fucking lockdown shit, my kids had to use that for school. Oh yeah. Good god, that thing was horrible. Man. Yeah. Holy hell. Yeah, and I that's, was so happy. I, that damn I've got Zoom from all my kids needing to be on Zoom for school, and then I've got Zoom for fucking all of the interviews I ever did for an or for a job. It's like, oh yeah, we'll meet us on Zoom at this o'clock, and one of the jobs I do, we meet and we have meetings every week or so, and it's on Zoom. So yeah, it's you like only <laughs> you only press uh, the top half, and you're like butt ass naked in the bottom half. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know what? I'm I'm thinking Whoa. of doing that. I'm gonna go on a Zoom call on next, and I'm just gonna be jerking off like on an interview. Like, oh, we'd like to interview you for the for the position at the the truck driver position, and I'll be like, yeah, I'll be there. Okay, one o'clock. Hit the schedule thing, and then when they're when they meet up, and they're like, pling, hey, oh, your video's not on. Okay, let me turn it on. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's a video out there that this guy thought he ended his Zoom call. Oh and yeah! Started baiting in front of like thirty people. <laughs> 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 oh my god! I didn't mean to do that. Yes, he did. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was off. The worst. The, the worst Zoom call I ever had. It was like month two into the lockdown. Yeah. And uh, my Sunday school group at church. Obviously, we couldn't go in person at that time, right? Yeah. So we were using Zoom. Well, the night before, me and my old lady, we got fucking hammered drunk. I mean, shit face, we were fucking gone. So I had forgotten the next morning, hey, I got this Zoom call for, you know, church stuff, right? Right. Well, about 930, my phone starts going off because they started the call. And my drunk ass, still drunk, not even sobered up yet, 
hits join call and I'm sitting there holding the phone up to myself like this. They can see everything that's behind me, including the back of her. Thank God she wasn't turned the other way. And about 12 people's eyes got about big around as half dollars on. They're like, turn your video off, turn off your video. I'm like, what? What's a, oh shit. And I had to turn it off. So, oh shit. Wow. I'm in, I'm in the middle of breaking bad right now. <laughs> there yeah. was something else. So, Gargus, you're in the middle of you're in the middle of beating really mysterious, maybe to become JCS Digital Champion for the. Uh, week. There you go. Mysterious, the mysterious game over. There's no way Gargus is winning that. I refuse. If he wins, I'm gonna start little- yelling, screaming. I'm gonna yell so much that Joe has to meet me off of this chat. That's what I'm like. <laughs> when, when you play you, your little fuck, you start yelling like I did when you won the fucking belt. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If Gargus wins this game, I'm going the fuck off. Like. You just sit back and watch. So everybody go get these donations up and let's uh, piss gargants off and make the street of this channel for another week. So. Yeah, I mean I'll be in, we'll be uh, it'll be fun, man. We'll be announcing the championship night soon. Yeah. Um so yeah, we'll have the championship night date soon. Um I just didn't I didn't want to give out anything yes, not knowing what was going on, you know, and everything. I wanted to wait and figure out what the fuck's happening. Um and so now yeah. Now I kind of know what's happening, and we'll figure it out. You know what I mean? I feel bad for Tex. He got kind of screwed in a way, but um, we'll figure it out, man. It is what it is. Yeah, we'll I get points. We'll... He's used to getting everything for free in the government. So. Oh, oh, Tex, you're on what? <laughs> you're saying Tex lives off the government? No, God. I do. Oh, oh six and say. Hell yeah. I mean, hell, everybody else is living off the government. I'm, I might as well get my piece, too. Hey, I thought he was saying you were. I was like, what? Colonizer. Now, if if I am, I'm really bad at it because I'm yet to receive fucking dime from anything. So, hell. Right. Yeah. Timberwolves Maybe I need to get better at it. <laughs> that would be great. Hey, we got the uh, Discord link for anybody that needs it. Let me drop it off. Some people asked about it, so let me hit you with it. Uh, if you guys want to come in the Discord, uh, here's the link to the invite. If you do want to jump on the show tonight, I think that's correct right there. There's the link. And, uh, you but know, you can only come in if your pants are off. You I, have to be naked. From you got to come, come in naked and, and be wet when you come in here, okay? Make sure you're right. naked and wet. Yeah. So. It looks like my Either little be. lass needs a shaving. Joe Bad Math. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Mm-hmm. Listen up. Listen up. <laughs> 300 minutes is five hours. 300 minutes is 5 hours. 300 minutes is 5 hours. Joe, you were hilarious trying to do that math equation you literally dumbass thought. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's good at head though. Joe bad at math. <laughs> $3. Oh my god. Now you see like it's like so I'm trying to I hope that proves to you that I'm really just dumb. Like like when people are like Oh, Joe's screwing me or whatever. It's like, no, I'm dumb. Like, do you see? Like, you. Oh, here we go. Everyone knows I'm out the window. Yep. Yo, motherfucker. No romance, cause there ain't no chance in my happy pants. Could you perchance come and take this dance and leave me here? I'm a bad motherfucker. Ain't got no fear. What the time? What's the time, motherfucker? Time, motherfucker. Put it in a happy oh, mind, fuck me, Tex. Fuck my dick, old Tex. It's cluck, oh. cluck. Bang, bang, tick tock. Frog in the suck. Oil shot. Do one, cause I'm the one in stock. What's the time, motherfucker? Uh. Said cluck, cluck. Uh. I said cluck, cluck. What? LOL. What? Points to me for last night. All right, really mysterious. Ooh. Giving the points to himself. Good call. I mean, you should. You you're damn well should. Yeah. Digital oh. Come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god. You know why he did that? He realized. Did he just threaten me? Like, like death threat me? Like, so he like couldn't believe it. His head exploded. You're you're fucking fucking come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Who was this again? That was Vikings. I haven't talked oh, to him in forever. The, it's you know. I get the mongoloids confused or something. Yeah, it's hard to figure them all out. <laughs> yeah. When you play your little fuck fuck <laughs> game. Yeah, play your play your little fuck 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 games. 
Oh, that's Tommy eating a peach. <laughs> when you play your little fuck fuck game. I would love to know <laughs> what those are. Oh my god, die. <laughs> um, there you go. Thank you to, uh, who was it? It was really mysterious, but yeah, Joe Bad at math. Uh, sure. Thank you. Looks like my little lass needs a shaving. General <laughs> Santos. Here's a song written by me. Oh, no, I can't say that. In my jail, everywhere, N-word, out of control. Going to give them all hangings now. They're here, about to steal all the white tax money. Don't worry, the general is here. <laughs> whoa, oh. My father said, die, A.J. Adams, die. All <laughs> <laughs> right, General Santos. That's the best. Out of all the beefs and rivalries, the General Santos, A.J. Adams, that one's still number one. For me. Yeah. It's like, there's nothing to stop. Clear and dusty. Can you imagine if A.J. Adams was all black? Like, what kind of hate would become? Oh, that'd be great. Well, see, the only thing this would make, that would make this better is if Santos was half something else, like half yeah, whatever. The so you have like four races fighting, and so nobody's really anything, but they're just fighting for no reason. That'd be great. Did you realize how funny it was that the other day we were making some kind of jokes about Filipinos, and then a Filipino guy shot a bunch of people in D.C.? Like that, I don't know if, did anyone realize that? Like we were ma making jokes on the show and we were, I was like, oh, it's a crazy, you know, a Filipino, like, you know, they're crazy. They'll do anything or whatever. Are you sure it wasn't a white supremacist? Cause well, that's usually who does these things. It's, I, I did tweet out that it was, despite being Filipino, I did blame white supremacists on Twitter, <laughs> but. Or yeah. you can blame white supremacists or the climate on anything these days and get away with it. Cause that's how it works. I, I will so. say I am shocked because there have been two minority shootings in D.C. in the last couple of days. So I am. That is definitely strange. I am surprised. But, yep, it's probably white supremacy's fault somehow. I don't know. I, I, I went to D.C. one time and I'll never go back. There is never Same. at any point in time in that, in, in that city where the fucking sirens are not going off. It yes. is the most annoying shit, baby. I got it. I agree with you. I absolutely hate that. I'm oh, sorry to anyone that lives there. Or maybe it, I don't like it there. I did not like it. Did you ever go on your? I went on the Washington trip there, and I was like, "Yeah, that's what mine was too." It was a it was a Washington trip in high school. Yep. And uh, we like it, you couldn't go in anywhere without fucking without basically getting naked. You had to take off your shoes, take off your belt, do all yeah. this nonsense. Well, you could It was you, just a pain. You though. couldn't go anywhere without some guy trying to sell you a fake watch or sunglasses right. or something. Hey, you well, wanna... it was either that or, or, or the people, you know, trying to sell the knockoff, you know, presidential merchandise that you, that you know they print, that they screen printed in their own house. Like, it just looked horrible. It's just on every oh, yeah. corner up there. You know, some guy, you know, that, you know, they're out there like fucking printing stuff. You know what I would do? I would print right. a bunch of pro American, like Trump type of stuff. And I would just sell that <laughs> shit. I, you'd, you'd sell the shit out of it. Like you would, like if you oh, yeah. like make America great Dude, again yeah. or, you know, there's, there's people down here to this day that still do that. You'll see them posted up in like the tractor supply parking lot or an empty gas station. And they just put a table out with Trump hats and flags, and you know they sell all kinds of stuff. There's yeah. people still making money. Up I don't. The protester and I, ran out on the court tonight at the Minnesota game. What? The protester huh? ran out on the court tonight at a basketball game to uh, oh. protest. What are they protesting now? All the chicken death killing. Oh, Animal protester. Oh, Damn. fuck off! Fuck off. Owner of the people dude, I would love to run on the court. Did you see? By, by the way, watching the Celtics game tonight, I will say, <coughs> Jesus Christ, I just choked on my gum almost. Um, the fucking New Jersey Nets court looks beautiful. I don't know what I mean. <coughs> it looks really good. I don't know what they do to the court, but it looks we. It looks fucking crazy. You ever seen their court? It's expensive. It does. Some like guy owns a team, I think. Oh really? Well, yeah. It looks it looks like that. I mean, the New Jersey New Jersey Nets. Uh, no, they're the, they're the Brooklyn Nets now, aren't they? I'm retarded. Yeah, they still suck either one. 
Yeah, either way, yeah. The fucking you're named after a thing on the hoop, you fucking losers. Um you imagine that? Like, yeah. yo, imagine the fucking NHL team, like the New Jersey goals. Like are the New Jersey like posts. Like, oh, you're rims. named at yeah, the rims. The rim jobs. The fucking Oh, I can't wait to see the Arkansas Rims play. Like, you fucking losers. You named your team after the fucking goddamn thing on the basket. Like the the Baltimore basketballs, <laughs> like what like, go oh, fucking what a lazy he's, piece he's of shit. Bullets. He's taking bullets. I'll take bullets though that over you know that's at least something you know like bullets that's cool you know like we're named after the net, like <laughs> on the fucking hoop. You're fucking losers. Backboard. Yeah, the backboards, the Baltimore backboards, <laughs> the Baltimore backdoors. <laughs> Cleveland courts. The Baltimore. Yeah, the, the Baltimore back doors. <laughs> <laughs> the Wisconsin wet back. I, no, I, I mean, like, why would you? <laughs> no, that would be the South Texans. Uh, really good swimmers oh. is what we call them down here. Oh, we yeah. call them really good swimmers. Texas Tards. I get it. The Texas Tards. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right. Like, unfortunately, all the videos I see online don't even do the justice. Like, they're so blurry that the court doesn't even look good, you know? But this court, on a, in HD, when you look at this court, there's all this crazy detail everywhere. Like, it looks really good. This looks like shit. Court's better than the team. Court's better than the team. I agree, yeah. Well, when you have a fucking douchebag on your team. Look beautiful. What? The court does look beautiful? Is that what you said? Yeah. Looks, Is that J-Rod? Looks like it's Looks like it's fake or something. Yeah, dude, it doesn't look real. It's the type of court you'd rape somebody on. So beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. I want to rape. I want to fucking rape somebody. Like if Bill Cosby was in the Joe, audience. If you were gonna, if you, Joe, if you were gonna rape anybody on the on the regular show, who would you rape? Like, give me the top three. I'm curious. Oh yeah, that's a that's a uh, man. I mean, like from yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not my wife. It'd be like be from this show, yeah. Like not Leah, obviously, because that's that's too easy of an answer. It has to be like a regular mm. a someone who's at least known, <laughs> at least in the comments. It can be people on the show or people on the. Uh, oh, it has either Tom, you crazy fucker, on but yeah. I mean, counts. I would pick a female. I mean, I would pick like you know Caitlin or Jennifer Muppet Baby or you know so, someone like that. <laughs> Caitlin Robinson, you know, she looks good. Uh, Vanessa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanessa, I'd go yeah, Nessa. I mean, I know. I get you to profess your love for Jesse and Gargets. That's what I was trying to bait you into. But well, no, because uh, I'm going to pick a female. You said someone in the chat. Well, I'm going to go. I mean, I could spare them because I like. I, I would. I would never want to hurt my female community. So yeah, I probably would. I would. I would sacrifice Jennifer and Caitlin and Vanessa and. All the other pretty girls of the community uh, in here. No. I would not rape them because I wouldn't want to hurt a woman. So you're right. I probably would rape Jesse. That is probably Even true. on the Nets court? <laughs> yeah, on the Nets court. He'd be like, and he'd be grabbing his hip. His hip would really hurt while I'm raping him. <laughs> and he, Because you've seen him on the stream. He's in pain on the stream going Bruh. like, ah. How ah. about, how about Harry, Harry Irwin? Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but. I would. You'd be like, and all the Nets fans would be like, "What the fuck? This white guy's raping this other white midget guy. What the hell's <laughs> going on?" You know, they'd be like, "This is fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. White people are crazy. That's these white people are fucked up, man. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like they would all, they'd be like, "Yep, like, yeah, we all live fucked up." Dude, are you kidding me? That's the one thing I agree with. People always say this, that, the other thing. Listen, dude, white people are fucked up. Like they got too much times on their hands. You know what I mean? Like, so much time on their hands, all these years of controlling all this shit. That, that, that's, what, that's why you're at the point of, like, that's why, dude, like, still people in, like, you know, black people still are, like, work, still either, you know, going to college and working towards something and family-oriented and stuff like that. But white people are so bored at this point that they're just like, you know, I'm going to become a woman thing with a mango ass, and you better call me Mrs. Fucking oh, dude, they're fucked up, dude. That's what it is. They're fucking bored, bro. Like, and then so they yeah. have to invent all this shit to have any value to their lives. 
everybody else is just trying to work or do something or fucking survive or whatever the fuck. And these fucking rich white people, mostly rich people or neglected ones, they're like, I don't know what to do. I'm bored. So I've got to create something, you know, and it's just, they're fucking crazy. Yeah, now the See, think- Martin King Tut thing is, is offensive to everybody. That's the new woke thing. See, yes. Wait a minute. Are you seri- Are you telling me that's come yes. up? They're canceling yes. that? No. They, they've shown it with no sound. And he's just doing like Egyptian movements and stuff. So now that's racist, and that's offensive. oh my god, dude! dude I, uh, from fifty years ago, you want to know something? It's still up on dude, it's it's, it's, st- it's still up on SNL right now. It luckily, yeah. I mean, it's still not gone, dude. They, I yeah. swear to God, you take King Tut down, Steve Martin, I'll flip the fuck out, you cocksuckers. I want to tell everybody that I I raped King Tut. I masturbated on his. On his goddamn grave. That's what he should say. Like King, punch out the ass. King Tut. King Slut. I want to tell you about King Slut. Time. Only a white man would dress like this. I think it's a national disgrace the way we have commercialized it with <laughs> trinkets and toys, t shirts, and. This is back when I was in shape before the kids on Cheaper by a Dozen raped me. I'm telling you, man, those kids. Those kids Blood. raped Steve Martin on the set. They raped him, and he can't say anything because nobody what believes it. What about Parenthood? That was an even better version of that. Oh, yeah. No, I'd rather... It was the same movie. I think I stick with, like, The Pretty Jerk. Much. What do you, Like, let's... What, what would you list the Steve Martin movies? Like, The Jerk? Well, the Jerk is one. Yeah. The Jerk, Dude, obviously. I, um, I don't uh, care what anybody says, bro. I think Bowfinger is fucking hilarious because of Eddie Murphy. He is so fucking hilarious. Yeah. Bowfinger. Three Amigos. Yep. Uh, I love three it. Amigos. Oh, yeah. Three Amigos. That's my favorite. Three Amigos is my favorite. Yeah, that's a top one then. Yep. Top yeah, three Amigos. I mean, my little teacup. Dude, when they fucking Butter start cut. dancing. <laughs> Buttercup. Oh, there's a teacup. But, dude, when Butter. they start shooting them in the fucking Butter. feet, and it's like, that's a real bullet. His role in Hockey, Rocky Horror is awesome, awesome, too, obviously. You mean Little Shop oh, of Horror? Yeah, little, oh, did I say Rocky Horror? Yeah, or Little Shop of Horror. Yeah, yeah I was like different. Rocky Horror. I was like, I don't remember him in that. Well, yeah, I don't know. That was Tim Curry. Right. Yeah, Tim Curry's birthday just happened. He looks like death, though. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he said strokes and shit. I think. Right? Did you see yeah. him on Twitter? Someone said rest in peace or something to him about oh, Tim Curry, friend. and he wrote, "I'm still alive, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Well, oh my god, dude, that was so like, funny. I'll, I love Tim Curry, but I picked him in a death pool, and that pick still hasn't gotten me any fucking points yet. Yep. So, dude, think yeah, about it. Crook before him. We, dude, look at <laughs> look at. We talked about this the other day. Like, think about it with the fucking comedians, dude. Artie Lang right. is Bob Saget is gone. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Bob Saget, Norm Macdonald, um, who just died, Gilbert, Gilbert Godfrey, but like, but yeah, Artie Lang man. is alive. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't yeah, fucking understand. Oh, I don't understand that either. But uh, it's because he got off of that shit a long time ago. Artie? And yeah, no, he got off it like fucking three, four years ago now. She's three years ago, I think. Glass. Well, I mean, okay, so. The glass. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, he 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 got he got rid of it a while. He he got off of it okay three or four years ago. But these guys were still alive three or four. Years, so I'm just confused on that too. The guy fucking, he, he probably saw all of his dead, all of his friends die. He was like, I don't I'm going to do cocaine. He, oh, never mind. He stopped, he stopped doing drugs and he was like five months sober and then he launched his podcast and then COVID happened like six months after that. And he's been sober he's, since then from what I understand. Dude, him and fucking, <clears throat> who else has been sober that was ridiculously, uh, fucking Polly Shore. What the fuck? I thought Polly Shore would have been the first one, not the window. Yeah, off a off a drug overdose is what I would have thought Polly Shore would have died of for sure. Yeah. Oh no, I thought it was gonna be, no, I thought he was gonna be just raped, <laughs> raped and killed. Yeah, Polly Shore has been raped and killed today. Hey everybody, it's me. I'm here for the fan party, and they they bash him in the head with a hammer and rape him and leave him on a corner somewhere. We's the juice. He's at the he's, he's at the point where he's uh, taking he's like drugs. invite Polly Shore to your party to 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 scare to you know what I mean to seem cool you know you're having a party call Polly Shore and so for, for like a thousand dollars he'll show up at your party 
No, I show for a fifty bucks and a fucking crack. Yeah, well, that's when he was on. Yeah, when he was on that, he would show up for that. But when he was off the crack, now you got to pay him a thousand bucks. No, that's true. He'll show up for like three minutes and do all the crack. I don't know what happened to him. I don't get what happened to Pauly Shore. No he was, you know what it is? Don't you think it was that he was kind of a what do you call it? Not a stereotype, but a a cat a cat was, cast type. Or? He was type cast. Yeah, he type was, cast. He was type cast. He was typecast. Yeah, he and, uh, movies he did sucked. Yeah, every well, movie he did. Horrible. I liked <laughs> In the Army Now was good at the time. I feel like when you watch it now, it's like, what the fuck is oh, this? Yeah. Andy Dick, hell yeah, dude. I like that, that was, movie. That was great yeah. movie. How is Andy Dick still alive? Good God. <laughs> he should have been dead 20 years ago. Well, he I'll tell you why. How has he not been canceled yet with all his raping? Right. Uh, dude, seriously. Him and fucking, I, I would say Andy Dick, Tom Green, when they had their fucking like wars going on, and they, do you remember when they dressed as <laughs> each other on yeah. their show? <laughs> yeah, and, and they went out and they're like, "I'm Tom Green," and he was really Andy Dick, and Andy Dick was like, "You know, it was vice versa," and they had Glenn and the other fucking fat dude. Fucking great, dude. One of the TV. One, remember Andy? We <laughs> talked about this before, but one of the great greatest things was Andy Dick's fucking show that that one season that he had or whatever when he dressed up as Marilyn Manson dude I fucking died oh yeah that shit yeah. Oh. oh my dude, god I, seen shit. I have it on VHS it I don't know wh- I don't know if it's on YouTube but I have it on VHS so I if I had a lot of those shows recorded and that was one of them I can't remember what oh, he I did. I just it. remember him going. To, he made everybody awkward. That's all I remember. I found it. I found the clip right here. I mean, this was so fucking weird. But here, here it is. He touched Ivanka I Trump. I do hope Father talking. finds some new nanny soon. Me too. Look, it's men and poppins. <laughs> I smell <laughs> children. <laughs> Mary Poppins was one of my favorite movies as a kid. I thought I was just begging to be brought to the stage as a hardcore <laughs> industrial postmodern goth rock opera. <laughs> goth rock for kids. <laughs> it's, it's like <laughs> <coughs> now Manson's canceled. Marilyn meets uh, right in hell as a child. I like how they edited this like it was the MTV style. Like, yeah, like the MTV behind the Marilyn Manson music like episode. Mm-hmm. Like they edited just like that. To bite his head off. Yeah. And this is my way of doing that. Right. Um, creatively. <laughs> the thing is that there's nothing even in there. <laughs> these fucking <laughs> dude, these fucking songs. That's what's funny is these stupid songs they came up with. Like ah right now and everybody's working really hard because we open up in less than a month at the El Rey Theater. And <laughs> they were opening up the El Rey Theater. <laughs> Bitch, I'm, uh-huh. feed ya. I'm gonna kick ya. I'm gonna bleed ya. <laughs> Rats, uh, oh Please my god. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm gonna eat ya. The beautiful pigeons. The beautiful pigeons. <laughs> the beautiful pigeons. The beautiful pigeons. I mean, uh, whoever fucking came up with that. <laughs> the kid looked like he was like, oh my God, he's going to fucking stomp on me and fucking make him, me- he's going to make me his new stuff film. Fuck. Yeah, I don't get this. Uh, Remember when he dressed like Britney Spears too? That was also funny. In the red suit? Oh no, he dressed like Britney's sister or something like that. Oh, no, 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 I know uh, what it was. It was Daphne Aguilera. That's what it says. I looked it up. Oh yeah, Daphne Aguilera. I remember that oh, shit. Oh my god! They, but Andy Dick got canceled several times, right? Because Andy Dick has a history of just like touching people and shit, you know, and being, uh, you know, grabbing sucking. dicks and showing his dick. The thing is, the thing is that he's shock comedy. So yeah, it's not gonna. I mean, look at look at Dan Harmon. He had a video of like him pretending like a wiener was a dick, and he had a three year old grabbing it. And this Ooh. was years ago. And that's, it was real. Yeah, and that's the that's that's the creator of fucking Rick and Morty. This guy's trying to get canceled so many times. Uh, they try to cancel oh, him so many times. Dude, oh, yeah, is that's the same guy that made that community oh. show that they yeah that the they, community uh, show yeah yeah. So they're not gonna that. they're not gonna cancel that shock humor because people love that shit 
in other movies and they're like oh wait we if we cancel this guy there goes our fucking favorite show yeah i'm so, I'm so sick of this cancer cult of shit yeah mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. God. i think a lot of people are just I, most people are sick of it at this point i would believe and that picture you got of uh, tony khan it looks like he's elvis costello's son Oh, did you see him glasses? shaking? <laughs> did you see him doing that shaking the hands thing the other day? Oh God! No, he, yeah, he uh, was like he was like more like he was more like Corky Corky Romano on fucking on fucking Good. cocaine when he fucking time. sniffs all that cocaine. Oh, here it is. No, dude, like, wa- no, watch this. This is so funny because it's yeah. basically Tony is like, <laughs> oh, we're gonna shake hands, so he knows it's coming and he can't hold it in, and he starts doing it before it's time. But even the man who doesn't speak English knows that it's not time yet to shake hands. Watch this. Called someone a homo right there. I don't know what that's about. But... Now watch Tony. Watch Tony's hand. Watch Tony's hand, right? We will show you. We will show you the genuine strong style. Of New Japan Pro Wrestling beyond the oh, yeah, more strong stuff. We're very excited, yes. and uh, I can't wait to see your top stars, our top stars. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's an honor. It's all coming Watch up on hands. Sunday, June 26, live at the United <laughs> Center. <laughs> if I don't see Great Kabuki's face in Green Mist, I'm going to put him hanging. Very upset. Oh my God! It's just hey, the, guy, the guy. One can work. One can work and wait, and the other one's just like Are you kidding me? I'm on coke. <laughs> yeah, Tony Khan's so, on coke, and this guy's like a father. He probably is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He can't help. Yeah, you know, uh, Tony's the English speaking one. He knows that, and he like. How does he not know? Like he, this guy waits for Tony Schiavone to finish. He doesn't probably doesn't know a hundred percent what Tony Schiavone's saying. But he knows, oh, okay, the announcer oh has to God. finish his thing, and then we shake hands. And Tony's like, oh, I don't, like, oh, shake hands? Oh, oh, I. He, he, he literally tried to do the mega powers, and it didn't work. It did, it did look like he was yes. trying to mega powers. Yes. Oh, my God. That's what dude. I got, dude. So what's, so what's <laughs> going on here? Power. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I'm going to slap a bitch. <laughs> oh, my Let's God. Bit. Oh my God, bless his heart, brother. I mean, he's just so like he really is a fucking kid in a candy store and doesn't know what the <laughs> fuck to do, dude. Yeah, right. What did his dad do to him? Wait, what did you yeah. say? His dad doesn't know what he's doing, fucking owning a football team. He's <laughs> yeah. So, oh my God, how man. many more elderly Japanese wrestlers that nobody knows? Are they gonna pretend to be your oh, big oh, thing? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I you didn't know yeah. if you didn't know. Okay, first of all, Tech, I don't even think you like New Japan because it's strong style, and you just got a taste I, of that. That's what I was, a little taste. That's what I was. That's literally what I just said when they played that. I said, "Oh yeah, more strong style." Did you not hear that? Thunder Liger with a walk. No, because when everybody's talking, <laughs> you know, things yeah. talking. Yeah. So but yeah. I, I love strong style, man, dude. That's that shit is fucking. That shit's a little bit more. It's it's hard hitting. That's like that's like um, a like that's like a a world title match. Every, but it's every time. Yeah. So is, this, is this the kind of Japanese wrestling where Kenny Omega sticks his hand up guys' asses, or is that the I know, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never seen that one. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Hell, Joe played the clips on it. Oh yeah. no, that was that was a poll. <laughs> But yeah, that was, I don't that was the time I just. Oh, did I, I, don't know. I I barely watched New Japan. Did you just Star Wars sw- swipe that? <laughs> oh, that was cool. There's too much merging yeah. going on. They got ECW guys in Impact now. Yeah. I still like uh, the. Uh, yeah. 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 You know what? I like I, I, the Impact shit that's going on. Mm hmm. Pretty, pretty surprising, man. It's, it's getting, it's blowing up, man. I just saw that Jordan Grace is fucking filming a documentary that's going to be like. He looks like uh, a fucking pit bull on steroids. To be determined. <laughs> fucking play when you play yeah. your little fuck fuck game. If you think about it, <laughs> if Brock Lesnar was an AEW, he would destroy everybody. Huh. Uh, yeah, he would oh, be what? Oh, if Brock Lesnar was in. Um... 
What ECW AEW? or AEW? Yeah, he just destroyed me. Mike Awesome <laughs> and selling me. You see, I feel like <laughs> Brock Lesnar doesn't need to be anywhere besides UFC. One more time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't. I that's it. it. Yeah, just one more fucking and then that, or he'll go to MMA. Do something there, and fucking. Oh, uh, old to bare, run a to bare knuckles. He can go to bare knuckles, dude. That would be dope. Up. I think he's in his fifties. Nah, he's no. like forty Man, something. Like 40 late, I would say late forties. There's no way he's fifty. I mean, he was like early. Uh, he was like twenties in his prime, know. like the the ruthless aggression era or whatever. Yeah, would be fifty. Ruthless aggression. Wait, who are we talking about? <laughs> Brock. Les oh, Brock. Brock yeah, Les he's forty-four. Oh, he's young. okay. Okay, I was guessing like maybe like 47 or something. No, really good, right? Damn. Yeah, he's he's not he's not that old man. He's still in his prime. When, when, I mean, we're looking at fucking Triple H still in WrestleMania at 44, 45. He's the youngest WWE champion still. Right. Yeah. Wait, is it is it him or Randy Orton? I, I Randy know he's the world heavyweight champion youngest. Oh. Um, okay. Different. There's and no then, uh, Bill, big correct. old belt and WWE belt. So you're saying that Sable's older than Brock? Fuck yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah. Brock, but yeah! She got that. She got that fucking that good shit. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah! Give her that. I wonder what she head. looks like. Has, has anybody seen a like a updated picture of old Sable? Yeah, I've no. seen her. I've seen her recently. She's. Yeah. It's like she looks good, but she's definitely getting like. Haggy looking, you know. Y'all remember hey, Quincy's hey, Steakhouse? Debra too, as well. Remember those? What? Oh, yeah. I saw her. Quincy's uh, Steak Restaurant. Quincy's. Remember those? No, I don't remember Quincy's. those. No. And I Quincy's. lived in no. well, Anyway, anyway, that's where Mark Merrow met her when she was a waitress. Oh, in Jacksonville. Oh. Uh, oh, we don't that's live in Jacksonville. He, that's where he but, raped her. So. <laughs> Sable's a Florida whore. That's what she is. Give, that makes a lot of sense. That's where you give her AIDS. <laughs> hey, hey, she, went, she went with the money. He gave, he gave her the AIDS. Ryan's, it's the same thing as Quincy's. If you ever heard of a Ryan steakhouse, same thing. Like a steak I a Ryan. Bro, I love steakhouses. There's so yeah. many steakhouses like in the U.S. Dude, yeah. like yeah, there's like a oh yeah, there is a yeah. butt fuck steakhouse somewhere, but. Yeah. Steakhouse. And you, if you, and, 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 you know what? And yeah, steakhouse. And every steakhouse should not ever serve fucking well done. Ever. The fuck is wrong with y'all? How about medium well? Medium well, you're pushing the button, bro. You're pushing medium the line. well. Is the furthest I'm willing to go. I won't cook anything over. Medium well. As mm -hmm. for it, I'm gonna and tell if you. you want, if you, bottom. if you, and if you want it, you want it extra well, and you want it fucking butterflied. I'm just like fuck out of here. Go do that shit at home. Yeah. I ain't doing that shit. Here. <laughs> and you know what? You know what that shit is? Butterfly. It's when they cut the steak in half, or they cut it through the. If it's two inches, they'll fucking cut through it, and then yeah. they fucking put it flat, and then they put fucking two fucking yeah. weights on it. It's stupid. Yeah. It's like this, yeah. who the fuck eats this shit? It's for you're the basically birds, right? Right here at that point. That's that's all. Yeah, you're, you're eating. Hey. You're eating you're, charcoal you're fucking, shit. Dude, they might as well buy a wallet and eat it. Because that shit isn't <laughs> cool. <laughs> if you want to take that stuff, just go to fucking uh, go to the damn Waffle House or something and get you one of them $2 steak <laughs> and egg. Exactly. It's it basically just a, the same it's like, go, to, go to the strip club, you'll get a better streak and a better view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, some of them TV bars actually have pretty decent food. I mean... You know, obviously, you're not a you're not getting I've never, five star meal, but it's not bad. I've had some good meals at Titty Bar. I've never I've never been during the day, just at night. So the the lunch yeah. special is already out the window. I used and to, there, and there's a new special on the window. If you know what I mean. Whenever I was uh, whenever I was working in the oil field, our main hub was literally in the same parking lot as the Titty Bar. So every, every payday, every two weeks, all the guys would go there for like a long lunch. You know what I mean? 
Oh, oh dude, hell yeah. A long, a long lunch. Long lunch. Well, lots uh, of guys, you know, had had to take a phone call from their wife, or you know, well, like they they, and, they uh, fucking they fucking were at the oil field, and all you had was a bar that was a titty bar. You are not going. Oh yeah, to dude, that's. I was working in the shop that basically built all the motors and that ran the drilling wells. So you know, hell, I was bringing home. This was back, oh eight, oh nine. This was well, it was oh seven, oh eight, because it was right before the house bubble popped. Uh, I was what? I was making like forty bucks an hour, dude. I mean, I had money to fucking oh, burn. That's when. That's what. That's this is before. This is before the recession. No, this mm. is after the recession. Yeah. No, this it, is during it, the recession. During. Yeah. Yeah. This was. Yeah. The wow. recession was 08. Yeah. There were tons of oil field guys like me that lost damn near everything because dude, you, the bottom. You, fell. you had some. You you had some good fucking connects for fucking <laughs> getting, getting your fucking ass out and working i remember trying to work in 08 and it was just like industry was the food industry the fucking and the the warehouse industry was like warehouse industry they need you right everybody else they're <clears throat> fucking dying they, they fucking they they laid off people and they give them a what an 800 dollar check jesus <laughs> Like, yeah. oh, thanks for doing Yeah, I was pulling in. Like I said, mm -hmm. at, at my highest point, I was just about $40 an hour. And it was, I was making so much money. I, it, it, I didn't even know what I had. It was, it was, I had never seen that in my life before. Thank God I saved most of it, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, shit, you, you yeah, need that, to save all that shit, dude. What the fuck? God damn, that's a lot of money you're making right there. I'd fucking have that shit in my savings okay. bank. Savings account or whatever, and then fucking oh, no. never yeah. touch it for another fucking fifty years. I, there were guys that went out and bought like three hundred dollar or three hundred thousand dollar houses, hundred thousand dollar pickups, and they lost every one of them. Some bitches about six months later. Because oh. guess what? Can't afford that shit no more. So. Yeah, especially nowadays. No, yeah, this is back if you, in the now, if you get a two, if you get a, a house made in two thousand and eight, maybe you can afford it. Maybe, maybe you get, uh, you know, what I'm saying you can have that brand new shit later on. It's still gonna be there. You can fucking find like a dealer that has it brand new, but Bruh. or yeah, a, or a collector. Yeah, I got a house nowadays. Yeah, dude. You know? That's why, like, I'm almost like, let's sell our house and live in a dumpster because yeah. we could sell our house for like five hundred thousand dollars, and then we can yeah. pay like, everything up. Dude, shit, you, can, I'll even you look can literally, that, dude. you can literally live in a fucking in a. They convert uh, those big ass fucking metal trailers into houses now. Yeah, yeah. but those yeah. are expensive, dude. I'm just like, what the shit, fuck? Is going on? I've seen that, yeah, yeah. They're like five to eight grand, ten grand for a bigger one, fifteen grand for a fucking a double decker. I'm just like, what the fuck is this shit? This is just, this, I thought this was supposed to be cheaper. Oh, look, look at what I'm living in. I'm living in a fucking trash can. Hell, recently I had a, a real estate agent ask me if I wanted to sell my place because I've got a pretty good bit of land. And my first question was, well, what the hell are you going to do with it if I did fucking sell? Oh, yeah. well, we're going to put in housing uh, housing developments, and I just oh, shut that yeah, shit down. Because yeah. the last yeah. fucking thing I want is more of these fucking Californians moving in on my goddamn head. Yeah. So, fuck them all. So, yeah. that shit ain't going to whoa, 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 whoa. What was the price? Um, She couldn't give me a firm price, but let's just say I had to pick my job up off the floor whenever she told me what it was. So... Build them you, away. Should have, you should, you should have gave her, a, you should have gave her a firm fucking penis. You should have raped her, <laughs> like Sammy Guevara and was, Sasha Banks. I would have raped her. Because, uh, like I said, I'm like, I'm like you an should've. hour from, I'm like an hour from Dallas, basically. So a lot of this area that they're trying to, to develop, because you know people don't want to live in the city; they want to be out in the country, but bring their city shit out here. And uh, I'm not willing to sell out because I'm not going to be that guy that ruins the party for everybody else. I just want yeah. to ask the fuck. Good that shit, Tex. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Sammy Yo, Guevara, man. He might rape that woman. You got to be careful. 
Oh yeah. Let me let me ask you something. Has anybody? This is a random question. Mm. Uh, has anybody have their appendix out? Not yet. I hope. No. no. So nobody's felt what it t- feels like. No. No, I don't no. want to feel that. All all oh organs are currently intact. I, I'm no never spastic. So. So when I got here, when I got when I got uh, to the computer, I had the best the biggest fucking pain in my fucking side and i was like what the fuck is this is this what a fucking appendix was? i was like yeah. laying on the floor for like 10 minutes before i hopped on i was like what the fuck is going on i was like i think i'm gonna have to go so, to the hospital. Joe yesterday, so just like me yesterday do we drink the same food like what's going on I was about to say, yeah. all of a sudden it just, it just fucking felt better that we drink the same dude that's no that's what i dude that's what happened to me yesterday yeah. like seriously your shit thing? your shit yeah. fucking felt was it your left side it was like my no it was kind of like my whole stomach hurt and my back yeah, like, my yeah. whole stomach my whole stomach hurt all day yeah and then and then i fucking got here and i was like now it's just my left side and i was just like i went down i was so like weird. oh no what the fuck is going on what the fuck's going on what the fuck is, i was like i'm ready to go to the er and then all of a sudden Maybe it just goes away thumbs. yep this is exactly like, what happened it was like it hurt all day. I, you know, I took a probiotic and that, and then I smoked a cigarette because everybody was like, smoke a cigarette. And then I did. And, and whatever it worked, you know, I don't know. People kept telling me to do the same thing. Smoke a cigarette, smoke a cigarette. I'm just like, nah, dude, I'll smoke cigarettes. <laughs> it's like, I'll do something else. So I started drinking water and I started burping a whole lot. And then I said, fuck it. I think I feel good. Let me drink a beer. Oh, mm. and then I burped everything out. And I was like, okay, I'm feeling good. Hmm. You know, I went to work. I still felt like shit. I just felt like I was like dehydrated or something. But I, yeah, it fucking, it just fucking hurt so bad. And I was like, dude, I'm down. I'm going out. <laughs> a, lot, go out. a lot of water did help. I drank a. I think maybe I was dehydrated too. I drank a shitload of water, and it that so that's probably what really helped it. But you know, it's hard to um hard to pinpoint what it was exactly. And yeah. And it, Smoke weed, yeah. I would smoke weed. It would, it, it would, it would take care of the fucking thing. But the thing is, I'm smoking vape, so that thing fucking. It, when you cough, like you're just mm-hmm. like tearing your fucking lungs apart. <laughs> no, God, God, God. Where's where is the uh, where's the Scampoli yeah. rape that woman thing? Scampoli still have a fucking goddamn. It. What's up, Jerry? No, he like went over to. Uh... Oh no, here it is. Is this it? Then what do have? Any any story oh, for? I- we have audio proof. Thank you, Liam. But also, there's racism. Oh, he said my mother was black, so fuck her. My mother's dead. I don't even know what he means by this. <laughs> so apologies. I want donations, Tyla. Maybe we can make a donation and my mother's my mother's name. dead. Yeah. Try out. Bro, Sasha Banks. So, oh my God. When I, when I was at the WWE the other week, I wanted to just go fucking rape that woman. Would you you had a tryout. <laughs> Bro, Sasha Banks. So Anybody fun. remember this? Uh, when I was yes. in the other week, I wanted to just go fucking break that woman. Did you try out? Bro, Sasha Banks. Break that woman. When I was at the WWE the other week, Don't I wanted to just go fucking break that woman. Did you try out? Bro, Sasha Banks. You had a tryout? Oh my god. When I, when I was at the WWE, the other day, I wanted to give us milk, 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 milk and life. You had a tryout? Right now, I'm not sure. Oh my god. When I was at the WWE, the other week, I wanted to give us milk and life. You had a tryout? That's my NASA shirt. No, it's different. Oh my god. When I was at the WWE, the other week, just a couple, just a couple of Boston guys jamming out here. Just a couple of that's all. Hell yeah. So much Wait. Wait. The new song "Don't Rape That Woman" coming out. You say Boston guys? Is he from Boston too? Yeah, Kevin is. Originally. Oh, okay. Cause, uh, yeah, cause, uh, I was it explains like, why we're both cunts, you know? <laughs> That's the best part. Yeah. Don't break that woman. Don't break that woman. When I was at the WWE the other week, I wanted to just go break that woman. Don't break that woman. Hey, 
at the WWE the other week. It's too bad no, I broke no. that guitar, you know. Now, now it's a. Uh, now he's doing that to a Ty Conti. So, now he's raping Ty Conti. That's true. He's a sicko. If Chris D'Elia was funny, With, I would have let it all go. The, and if no. Sammy Guevara was funny, I would have let it all go. But these two are lame faggots. Look at this quote. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god um but yeah so don't rape that woman so i'm glad that kevin because we i forgot i even did that i forgot i made this little thing this little song of rape that woman don't be the raper don't be the rapist <laughs> don't fear the raping without him i wouldn't have remembered i did that so yo know, it's weird about his it's i i it's his show i i could listen to it for like Two minutes and they'd be like 75 insults and nobody would ever talk and i'm just like i don't Bro. i'm done well you remember like, remember, remember he's gonna beat up leah or whatever <laughs> i don't know oh yeah he's dude, gonna I fight me that. when you over leah because yeah, because you said that his wife runs his channel <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember i don't <laughs> you were fucking around you. you just said you were saying like 30 damn jokes and that's the one he he was inside for. wrestling oh that's right i know i think yeah. i remember what you're talking about now yeah you said 30 jokes in a row, probably, and he fucking went with that one. But I, I was like, fuck yeah, I want to see a fucking... Y'all should have wrestled each other. Fuck you and Grim. <laughs> Imagine that. Did this Actually, shit. It wouldn't have been a wrestling match. <laughs> that I, much. I had to wrestle this ass. Dude, did the, dude, did the, don't, did the time clock stop? Or is it has it been uh, ticking? No, it's, or? It's, in, it's been going. It's been going. Oh, my God. I was like, it didn't freeze. Did it stop it? No, stop it? no, I'm not supposed to stop it. But I mean, I thought for a second that it froze, and I'm like, has this been stopped this whole time? <laughs> no, you could. Bro. Okay, we're good. All right, as long as we're good, I don't want. Like, it's a long show already. I mean, fucking, let alone. I mean, in fact, we got more donos. Let me play a couple. Looks oh, yeah. like my little last yeah, needs nice. shaving. This is an hour ago. What's up, Joe? First donation in a while. It's Yo. a lizard here in North Dakota. Power is out and phone is about to die. So have a great show, man. Oh man, T Rev, I feel bad. He probably never got to hear his donation <laughs> <Yeah>. play. <laughs> it's from an hour ago. Go hear it uh, when the apocalypse fucking. He's in a T, T Rev twenty four. Man, it's good to hear from you. You are a long time guy. I'm sorry. I, there's a fucking blizzard in North Dakota right now. Oh my god! What the it's hell? North Dakota. Dakota. <laughs> there's yeah. a. I can't like. What is, yeah, what is going on? Oh, fuck. Is what, what, what's going man. on is that they said they had to rain the white powder on the wet people. Oh, <laughs> when you play your little fuck fuck game. When you play my little fuck fuck game. Super chat party. When you play your little fuck yeah. fuck game. Oh, yeah? Was at SmackDown last night, saw Teddy Goods get his ass kicked by Gunther. Listen to Catman's review. Funny, he mentioned you were Teddy Goods. Boy, lol. Really? I'm surprised that got mentioned at all. But um Alex Oli, thank you so much, bro. Um he mentioned you were Teddy Goods boy, yeah. Uh yeah, Teddy Goods is a great guy and so it was awesome to see Teddy and uh yeah, I know that, that J D and me had hung out with Teddy a couple t times, so um yeah, he lo I'm sure he likes Teddy too. That was pretty cool, man. Good to see him on SmackDown. Not not as a security looks guard. Looks like my little lass mm -hmm. needs a shaving. Oh god, look at this name. The Nets eat Robert <laughs> Parrish's cock. Uh, it's me. <laughs> Pico wow. here. How about the Celtics? Did Daniel Stern and Dan Aykroyd kidnap Kevin Durant? Me mentally, they did. Uh, ben Simmons, the first player, second miss, two years with vaginal issues. I bet Bill Russell's cock looks like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Lakers versus Nets. I bet you his I bet you his shit looks like Morgan Freeman. Um Lakers versus Nets in hell. Points the Garguts trade Kyrie to Utah. Points the Garguts, okay. He goes, This is a story of my dick looking like Morgan looks Freeman. Looks like my little lass <laughs> needs a shaving. <laughs> I think he gave points to Garguts, which is three dollars, three points. I think could be crazy. Uh, three oh three oh, for Garguts. Uh, historical fights round seven. Hey, what's up, everyone? Shout out Hell to yeah. all the big donations fueling the show tonight. Truly living up to beat the clock challenge. Why is clock? Why is cock even blurred out? What the fuck? 
I have one more fight matchup for you all to pick. We have former Venezuela leader Hugo Chavez versus Kim Jong Un. Who do you oh, got? God. His, oh boy. Historical fights <laughs> number seven. Let me see. I got Chavez. <laughs> oh boy. All right. no, I, got, I, got, I got I got I got Che uh, these, coming down with the <laughs> These are a couple of ugly fat fucks. All right. So this is gonna be hard to figure this out. These guys are ugly. And possibly both gay, too, by the way. Oh hell yeah. Hugo Chavez is one nasty fucking fat fuck. <laughs> oh hell yeah. Where is he from again? Venezuela, right? Yeah. Of course, some. Of course, the fucking fattest, ugliest fucks are in charge of the worst yeah. destroyed countries. You know. I wonder how many children he It looks like he looks like a fat chicken. Yeah, he probably yeah. eats kids while he fucks them. Right. Guaranteed. You know what? I I'm, guarantee he, he wears that little queer sash on his fucking shoulder while he's molesting them, too. Oh, my Hell God. So, in a fight, Hugo Chavez. I I have a, I have trouble picking mm-hmm. against anybody with the last name Chavez. and You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm going to say that I just feel like Chavez will beat up Kim Jong-un. I feel like Kim Jong-un has no fight capability whatsoever. Like, if someone punched him, he wouldn't know what he to do. He might know some of that kung fu shit, dude. He might, he might pull out some... No, he fucking, doesn't know shit. Dude, he doesn't know is, is, is Kim Jong-un's idea to look like baby Frankenstein? Dude, what, is, what is with his square head? That's what I'm saying. That's dude. what I'm he saying. Like he looks like, he, like, like Frankenstein's head, as if it was a remember, big, fat baby. Do you remember Hammerhead and fucking... In fucking 007. <laughs> it's the oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't even do this. Like what, what Kim Jong... I mean, he does... He actually... I mean, he's got my tiny lips. You know? <laughs> he does have a baby uh. face like me, but his head... Dude, my head could fit inside of his head. Like you I'm going to guess a heart head. attack kills them both at the same time. A heart attack kills them both at, at once at the same time. Yeah, like I, I, I'm gonna these say these two fat folks start swinging on each other and then they just hearts just explode. They just die simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. And then they win. Mm. I'm gonna have to go Chavez though, man. He's got, you know, I just feel like I don't think Kim Jong Un could do shit in a fight with his little tiny arms, his T Rex. He's got big fat T Rex arms. You know. His little eyebrows. Uh, I feel Chavez could just waff, waffle you. Well, see, I don't think either of them are going to waffle either of them because most of these are communist fucks. Mm-hmm. And they have everybody else do everything for them. So it would probably be like a, a fat guy slap fight. If I yeah. Guess. No, I, I bet you're right. But I think that Hu- the Hugo there, or what is, was that what his name is? Hugo? Hugo Chavez. Savage? Oh, it was Hugo fucking Chavez. Yeah. Um, no. Was it? Was it Hugo? I don't remember. Yeah. Chavez. I think fucking so. The guy that's doing the, the salute. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Hugo Chavez. I mean, he just looks like he's. He looks, he looks right. shitty, too. But, like, wasn't he in the military? You yeah. know? Yeah, I think so. He's dead now. Well, he's not alive, it- but. It really says something about Hugo Chavez whenever he stars his people to the point where they have to eat their fucking dogs. But this yeah. fat motherfucker over here looks like he's fucking one wing to boo with that goddamn Yeah. Food. Well, they, they <laughs> both do that, though. They both starve the fuck out of their people. But, you know, oh, yeah. but you look at Hugo, dude. He looks like he could fight. You know, he was in the military. But fucking Kim Jong un is just a fat baby fuck. I mean, there's nothing he can do about shit. Uh-huh. I might go with Kim Jong un unless. No. They go to war. These historical fights are amazing. I mean, listen, I'm going to go get a beer. I'll oh be right god. back. Oh my god. Yeah, get it. Get it. All right, it better be oh, a yeah, fucking it, it better be a real beer. It Not is. a Bud Light. Oh, but. He's going to go get a Smirnoff and Ice Guess. We know he's going to get a fucking Smirnoff. <laughs> okay. 
He's gonna get. He's gonna get a fucking. He's gonna get a fucking white claw. He's gonna get white claw. Hey, oh, dude, I got wasted off of Mike's heart. <laughs> I bet you fucking did. God, that's just disgusting. Oh, damn. No fucking. <laughs> So what's everybody getting, so I so I'm what? right now I'm drink I'm drinking an OE. I did drink Ooh. a few I did drink a few um Lone Stars and Pickle Shots earlier. Ooh. I don't know if you like pickle shots, but it's basically vodka, yeah. pickle juice, and uh now what's the vodka that they use? Was it Tito's or not? Uh it's whatever vodka I want to put in there. But so it's so the only vodka I'll drink is Tito's. I don't like any other kind. So. Yeah, it, it's yo, usually guys. well, so it's probably Taka. Taka. Yo, guys. Yo. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, J-Rock. You try um, Steve Austin's beer yet? Yeah. yeah. I've, I've had it a few times. Oh, Pretty man. good. I it's I 30 bucks. It. I'm dying to try it. Yeah, it's, it's, not as, it's not that great. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. I'll still... I'll still take Lone Star over it any day. But yep, that's just yep. Me. Same here because Steve Austin should shouldn't have an IPA. Yeah. Steve yeah. Austin should have a fucking beer that's for the fucking right. working class. At least a fucking Pilsner or something like. I mean, not a fucking. I don't yeah. Know. Oh, that, I mean, a Lone Star would be great, but right. like a Lone Star version of of Steve Austin when they do the fuck they should right. do something like that but no they, they're not going right. to do it. he just dude when he would go into fucking into the into the ring and drink those beers it would be a Budweiser now he's going into right. the ring and he's fucking yeah. he's <laughs> chugging he's chugging literally fucking what 8.8 .8 beer or something I was like yeah. this guy's right. fucked up if, and you can tell when he <laughs> drinks those beers he's not really drinking them He's not. He's letting him pour. So, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. So he, yeah. he he was like, dude. I, I, there was even a video of him saying that he drank a few beers uh, during WrestleMania. I think it was WrestleMania or whatever. What is whatever? Whenever he came back and they were throwing yeah. him the beers and uh, right. for for like a rating boost, and he said they was fucked up <laughs> <laughs> on two beers. I was like, Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. Let's do this right now. I, I like I, his, say, I, I like his beer, but I don't like it enough to pay the price that it costs. It. Yeah. It's not something I would drink daily. Like I love no, no, this is oh, Shatterbuck beer is delicious, but it's a heavy drink. Like if you drink five, six, or seven of them, like you feel like bloated. And you're all fucking. Whoa, the, the funny thing is that I went to I went to the I went to H E B and I fucking went to go look for the Star Trek. I went to look for the Star Trek beer that they had. They had Star Trek beer? Yeah. What? Yeah. And no I was way. looking for it. I was looking for oh it, looking for God. it. And all of a sudden, in the same place where the Star Trek beer is empty, right above it. It's fucking Steve Austin. I was like, oh, there's no more Star Trek beer. And then I walk uh -huh. away and my brother's like Steve Austin beer, right above <laughs> it. I was like, oh, "I'll buy it." <laughs> I had, to, I had to. Yeah, I mean, that was that was it. That was it, and that's when I realized because I had bought it already on Amazon in 2020. Then I had right. it again in 2021. It's pretty hard to find down here. It's weird. Yeah. Now, yeah, have any of y'all ever been to? Uh... Did you just said? Did you just say meow? What <laughs> meow? <laughs> I've never really all been to meow. <laughs> I'm talking. I, was, a, <laughs> meow. I was asking, have any of y'all ever been to uh, Universal Studios down there in Florida, or the mm -hmm. other one? Yeah, I've been. No, 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 no. Uh, I have Yeah. Well, because they have they have the Simpsons area that I'm I'm looking forward to, and they have Duff beer. But I wonder if it's actually beer. Like I don't know if anybody knows this. If anybody in the chat knows, drop a message or something. Thank you. I'm curious about it. I have no idea. The fuck? No. What yeah. what is going I, I I've never I've never seen it, but um I've gone to I've never been to any fucking major parks at all. I've right. been to Six Flags. Yeah. I've been to parks that have been closed down already. 
Right. I mean, that's pretty cool. I've, I've done that before. Go down to some of those uh, abandoned amusement parks. We did that one Halloween. That's some creepy shit, dude. That was uh, there's this uh, one. Yeah. There's this one. There's 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 a few splashdowns that are. I mean, all of them are fucking. All of them in ruins now, and um, going there at night or fucking skateboarding during the day. Oh, dude, skateboarding right. the day was badass. You could skateboard yeah. a pool, a fucking little wave shit that you or like you know a little um. We call it the, yeah. the, the tube shit, the tube shoot or whatever. Yeah. It was great. The lazy river. <laughs> Skating that shit is great. Back in the day it was dope. Nowadays, if you skate this shit, it's like it's a terrorist. <laughs> yeah, it's, a terrorist. <sighs> it's like that's why I shave my beard. <sighs> well, I can't even grow one. But <laughs> anyways, I should go over there and skate as a terrorist and have a fucking like bomb strapped to me. Oh, See. God. I was going to say, if you've never dressed up as Osama bin Laden for Halloween, why the hell? Like, they, you need to do that this year. Do like a zombie bin Laden. That would be the greatest costume. Oh, I am a, a, a zombie bin Laden. Yeah, do, do a zombie bin Laden. Put some, like, you know, like oh makeup God. effects on your face. <laughs> look like, like, maybe like, yeah. maybe yeah. like your cheekbone is sticking out through your skin or something, right? And just look like you're blown up, basically. Like, get some soot and put it all over your clothes, like you just went through a bomb or something. Yeah, just just awesome. look like just just look like fucking when uh, M6 took him out or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, Seal Team Six, yeah, yes. Yeah, I, I call him M6. I'm gonna call him M6. The, the, James Bond, it's real. Just in America, uh, James Bond, James Bond, Double Seven. Was it M6? No, that was fucking Mission Impossible. Sorry. Mission Impossible. Seal Team 6. Dumbass. I know, I know, I know. But I'm saying M6 was fucking Mission Impossible. That's what it was. Right. Which was, that was kind of a Mission Impossible. This fucking, they. I mean, fucking M6 pick up Bin Laden, y'all. Go America, USA. And everybody's like, shut the fuck up. The (laughs) thing is that. The thing is that n- no cameras are around. We just know that he's dead. And it was like, where's the body? Dude, yeah. that motherfucker was dead a long time before they killed him. That's bullshit. Yeah, who knows? The yeah, fucking Bin knows, Laden. Man. Dude, I the remember fucking when... Bin Laden family was living over here down in fucking Florida. Go look that shit up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I remember, but, uh, okay, do you remember how they found uh, Saddam? Uh, yeah, they, well, yeah, if you I believe know. the story, if you believe the story, what they found him in some fucking hidey hole in the ground somewhere yeah. or some shit. And they asked yeah. him, What is your name? He goes, So dumb. And I was like, Oh, yeah. he's just going to give him something. If you can't recognize him, he, 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 he could have been like saying, like, What? <laughs> like, my name is well, Now, yeah. Okay, do you remember watching the footage of when they had Saddam Hussein's body strapped to the back of that Jeep and they're driving him around the street and people are just beating the hell out of it? They played yeah. that forever on TV. That was great. And now, yeah, but I, what's up? No, I'm saying apparently they put him in the water. I don't believe that either. Yeah, what did you just say? No, I'm saying they say all of it. They put his body in the water. Do they put his body oh, on a fucking oh, yeah. rope? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. He's talking about Bin Laden. Allegedly, yeah. oh, they like yeah. they like they dumped his body in the water so nobody could make like wherever he's buried in yeah. like, a site yeah. or some sort of whatever. Who knows? Oh, so you got he got eaten by a shark. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Like so I said, gonna- if you. That's the official story, but don't believe none of that shit. It's yeah. all bullshit. Really mysterious in the chat. Three hours and 17 minutes before I lose, sad face. No, nope, that's I not mean, happening. Mysterious, mysterious is going to whip your ass so hard you go back. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, yeah. Mysterious, but we're going to see what happens. But I'm going to tell you this, motherfucker. Better recognize. If, 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 Brown. Versus, I'm gonna Canada fucking paralyze Canada. you. This is Canada versus allegedly <laughs> Texas. I still say Mexico, <laughs> but I haven't seen Targets' <laughs> green card, so I can't officially announce him as a this Texas. Is, 
Well, this, well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, yeah. so this gets it doesn't get me a fucking it doesn't give me the 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 monetized or what it doesn't give me a, the the weak champ. It gives me the green card. That's what it does. <laughs> oh God. I'm getting, I'm winning this for a title? green card. Win me Is my that visa. Your yes, that's my visa title. Stone Cold had the smoking steel. Our guts get a green card. That's what he gets. Thing is that you have to. Uh, it's half a visa and it's half a fucking casino. So, <laughs> well, I, I no, 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 no. You either get the green card or the casino. You don't get both. So you're, you're either Mexican or you're Indian. Pick one. It's not both. It's not how this casino works. all the way. Woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smart man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get I cigarettes. <laughs> and alcohol and act like a fool. Oh, wait, I already. Now, how much of a I donation do we need to get for you to recreate the crying Indian when somebody leaves? Because that would be amazing to see. On well, camera. first of all, first of all, I can't recreate it because the guy wasn't Indian. He was, he was a Native American. He was white. And second know, of all, I'm saying for, the, for the comedy all, sake, can you dress up like him? That's what I'm saying. And second of all, if you want to see this ass, <laughs> you have to pay a lot for that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> see, I just like I just like asking how much of a whore are you like, uh, like what no. donation level, mm. like how much money would it take to get you to do these things? That's, that's that want- entertainment. I am I am limitless like fucking Keith Lee's appetite. Oh my god, limitless! Uh, <laughs> yeah, his ass belongs in a damn buffet. I've got I've got eight stomachs apparently because I didn't fucking die tonight. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Keith Lee has got eighty. If you've got eight stomachs, how, how many colons do you have to process all that fucking red meat you're taking? I hope at least three or four. I I, I think there's a I think there's a uh, there's a purification process yeah. that goes down. Um, now, but if it, if have, it you the fact, have you considered the fact that the amount of steak, because you know that they, they always say you are what you eat, have you ever considered that maybe you're becoming a cow yourself because of how much you ingest? Like, are yeah. you becoming a heifer? I mean, this, this is a legit possibility. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. I'm a move, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> if Gargas starts sprouting fucking horns, we know something's going on. I'm telling you, man, I love yeah. steak. This is my shit, man. If I fucking if I go in on something, I, I love it. Dude, I raise beef cattle and I don't eat as much fucking steak as you do. God damn. I eat steak every oh. fucking day. It's my only fucking goddamn yeah. meal. Until I mean, I eat some, some a burger or two here or there, but no steak. If I got it, there you go. Her good word Jesus is limitless. What's your favorite steak? Um, wagyu, um, uh, ribeye. There you go. Mm-hmm. Not a bad choice. Yeah, ribeye is good. Wagyu, though. I love steak, oh. but I will take venison over steak any day of the week. To me, venison yeah. tastes better. Yeah. Right. I would take it that now. If you've ever had wagyu or at least some kind of wagyu, dude, it's you'll never. When you taste a steak like this, it's like, bro, let's take. Well, let's take. If you have this, a legitimate uh, wagyu. Not that American shit, because there no, is a the legitimate, the legitimate one. Yes, the one right. that you could buy at Costco. It's fucking great. Right. And then the one, then the one you buy at H E B. It's American. It's, it's completely cheaper. different flavor power. Flavor power, everything. But both of those are better than Prime Cuts. You can already know. Oh, you already yeah. know that. Because prime cut, they'll be like, "Yo, thirty extra dollars on this fucking T bone." You're just like, "Bitch, this is what?" Then you get a fucking, you get a fucking sirloin. I don't know why it's always sirloin that makes it down here, but we get a sirloin of fucking wagyu American, and it's, it's, it's great. I have no problem with it. But if you go to fucking Costco and you get a fucking ribeye, fucking wagyu. 
you're paying like two hundred thirty five dollars for about three steaks. Right. Oh right. god, these steaks so fucking good. You're you're basically going, you're you're basically getting the best steak in the world and paying the much uh, as much money as you would pay at a fucking restaurant with tip. Yeah, I've been I've been doing oh. some research. I if anybody watching um uh, if y'all live in or visit daytona or orlando florida give me some good r restaurants to try like i'm going to margaritaville in orlando and a couple other places mm -hmm. but, Mar Mar uh, now how many how many times do they fucking play that song there i don't do know they get up and, do they get up and dance and fucking finger their holes i don't know but i'll be there i'll be there in june <laughs> Yo, I'm if they're getting up and dancing and fucking fingering their buttholes, I'd I'd fucking be like, yeah, here's your. Let me Margarita well, fill your shit. I will be. I will, I plan to post lots of videos and pictures on Twitter of my trip, so make sure you're following along. And I, if, I, if you want to see, if, if you, you want to see drunk text, no, I've never been to Margaritaville. So if you want to see drunk text singing Margaritaville okay. loud and, and, and as obnoxious as possible. That's where you need to be is on my Twitter. Oh, so, then you know what? Yeah. Then if you're going to do that, then I'm going to do it too. Because <laughs> whatever <laughs> you can do, I can do better. Sorry, or, or texer. I could do listen, texer. Oh listen, my God. Listen, you can do, I could do more texer. Border, you border hopping motherfucker. You swim back home. You ain't no. I, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm everywhere, man. I'm like a cockroach, man. You cannot get rid of me. I think uh, in every go fucking. I think in every I'm race. Gonna, I'm gonna go get a can of goddamn Ray and make you fucking drink. See how well you fucking survive. Let's get this thing. You want all a death all match? All That's gonna be your death match. I'm gonna beat you over the head with a chair. Then I'm gonna make you drink a can of spray all Ray. See if you live. That's what we're gonna. Uh, let me let me show you how I'm gonna defeat um, Tex. Uh, There's I'm a gonna, place in Orlando called Boston Lobster Feast. I've never been there, but I've heard it's like really awesome no I, I have not but i'm gonna beat text like this i'm gonna no, i'm gonna text. fucking no. i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna pull a devastation move and pull kamala harris out of my ass <laughs> and... <laughs> oh my God. i wonder if kamala harris has stars and moons on her belly she will after this after that match <laughs> she wants a guy named kim chi comes with her Exactly. I'm just gonna bring ice with me to our death match, and there won't even be a death match because Gargas is gonna get away. It'll it's be just gonna be, it's just gonna be blow. He's gonna fucking arrive. Oh, here comes Tex. He's arriving in a plane. They're gonna do a, a plane drop, and they blew yep. up too early. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it'll do. You know, I'll be like, I'm I'm drunk. Let me fly the goddamn plane, and then I just crash it into like the, you know, like. Just as we're about to approach, I can see something like that. Well, I've seen that happen on fucking. I've seen that happen on GTA Five. This guy crashed a blimp into the fucking castle, and he's just like, "Hey, Davy, how you doing?" <laughs> 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 That's he went into the. It went into the fucking the the. It went into the video that you're supposed to be next home for. So he crashes in and he flies into the building and then he's like, "Hey, Davey, hi!" Yeah. Like, dude, dude, well, the if, the if, whole if, the whole if, thing just exploded around the building. <laughs> Everybody's on the floor. If me and Gargus <laughs> ever did, if me and Gargus ever did a death match, we would just beat each other till we couldn't walk anymore. Then we'd be like, "You want a beer?" Yeah, I'd be like, "Yeah, <laughs> you want a beer?" He'd be like, "Hell yeah!" And then no, we would my, crawl to the cooler. And then we would drink all the way to the hospital. This That's is probably this is, gonna, how. this is gonna be our death match. We're gonna fucking start off uh doing some moves and then we're just gonna casually go into like just drinking and then cooking right. fucking steak right. and then saying we're my like, steak's better than you, my steak's better than you. And we start <laughs> battling again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can do a cinematic match where we start fighting. It goes into a drinking competition. Then a grilling portion. Yeah, yeah. yeah this that would be and then, great. We, yeah. and then oh, we're, right. we're and then we're like and then we're like see this is why i like to fight you because you're cool yeah you too right yeah i right. love you wait a minute what do you mean about my stick what do you mean my stick is not <laughs> 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 i'm gonna 
dude. <laughs> I would, I'd, I'd fucking cook you a raw steak just on purpose. Uh, uh, you don't like blue? Like you don't like you don't like blue? Eh, no, I'm a pretty solid medium guy. Just give me, just go straight medium. I'm good to go. I don't get too fancy with it. Bro, you got to have rare. You need to have rare. See, I can't. I don't like the like. It's too spongy. I don't like the texture of it. What you're saying. Yeah. No, what you do? What you do? Them. You don't do the sponginess. What you do is you have to have a good crust on the outside. So when you have the good crust on the outside, that means you have good seasoning. You season your oh, shit. Yeah. You do. You do. You do. Uh, um, kosher salt. You put yeah. whatever seasoning you want. All you got to do is to put kosher salt and fucking um, grind up pepper on there. That's it. But you put oh, wait, hang on. You. Hey, Pico, aren't you in Florida, dude? Ain't that where you're at? Yeah, I was just telling. I was just telling Gargas. Yeah. Yeah. There's a place called Boston. I don't know what your food preference is, but oh, there's a, a place called Boston Lobster Feast in Orlando. It's supposed to be awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. I love seafood. Now, I've never heard of it. Where's oh, yeah. a good Where's a good spot to get Florida horse? Because that's what I'm really uh, 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 Florida horse or a whore? Whores, sluts. Uh, uh, that want to no one. Well, it depends. Do you want like the five dollar version or do you want the see I'm food? looking for I'm looking for like the one that's sunburnt and smells like suntan lotion and it's that's what I'm looking for. You meant quantity or quantity? Because like right now there's bike fest going on and there's a different kind of woman. Oh my god! Oh yeah. Well, no. see, I'm looking for like the. I want like a. I don't want a tourist. I want a real drop floor. Fuck. Ooh. That's what I'm. Mm. Well, if you're yeah. gonna be at Universal, there'll be plenty of drunk people there. Huh. Um, well, this is true. Daytona is drunk fucking city. Uh, oh, I know. Central. Yeah, that's There's plenty of websites that are for Florida. That's why I'm ones, going there first. What do you think I'm ones, going there first? The ones that I know of uh, are, are usually what? Um, Pensacola. That's far. Okay. That's further? Pensacola is in a different area code. I mean, uh, yeah, zip code, area code. You, you got holes in different area codes or not? I got holes. I mean, time zone, time zone. Oh, what the? Florida's in two different time zones? Yeah, Pensacola is close to Alabama. It's like really close. Yeah, it's North Florida. Yeah. Holy Pensacola shit! Alabama City. Pensacola is a few hours from New Orleans. Like how many? How many? That you? You oh. must be the only fucking state that's no. That, sure. Well, in the U.S. that are across mm-hmm. two different uh, things. Unless you're counting, unless you want to count, but you don't. But the two Chicago's. I know Pensacola is beautiful. White beaches, actually. No, yeah, I'm surprised that it was that fucking crazy white. Can you open carry a pistol down in Florida, or do I have to? Consider- Bro, you can open carry you fucking people eating people. In Florida, they don't give a shit. Yeah, they they, 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 they they fucking had a fucking building collapse on fucking. <laughs> yeah, they don't give well, a like, shit. I know that my. I know that my handgun license is good in Florida. I just didn't know if I could openly carry or if I had to cover it. I, I, I need to look this shit up. I think so. Okay. Fuck it. Whatever. All I know is that. Um, shit, I tell you what. This all I know airline. is that. All I know the is that there's there's fuck. there is three hours left on the fucking clock. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm still, I am band. still I in the fucking see, lead. I want some more donations because there's no way this drunk Vato's getting this title off of my. Oh, man. bro, still, bro, come on, dude, come, on. Come, on. come on, come on, refuse, man. I refuse to let that happen. I'm not going to sit here. Give give my my good now. I'm not going to sit here and give my good time and watch this drunk Vato win some. You living in a wheelchair now. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> Twenty five. You better recognize Gargan's open carry steak. Yes, I do, Panzer. Right here. I bet Gargan's. If Gargan's ever got a neck chain like the rappers wear, he would have a big steak. I, I got that steak on me all the time. Yeah, that's what his. What, would be. 
my 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 thing will be steak. Yeah, it, it, my my fucking my gold ass <laughs> chain will have a fucking raw yeah. a, a, a yeah. raw steak on there, and I'd fucking cook right. it every time I'm on I'm on stage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have a fucking grill and everything. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, damn it! <laughs> I was like, I need to be in an open venue because I'm gonna be grilling some shit and throwing it out the fucking crowd. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Do like what your face did with the meat dress. You can have like a meat suit and just cut pieces of it off and grill it while you're on stage. Yeah, that was that was a that I I hope they used fucking a uh, horse meat for that because that was a waste of cow. <laughs> damn it i fucking hated that shit go bitch i could be fucking grilling that shit right now what the f- i'll grill your ass right now i hated that shit but um on the on the on the light note it got fucking so many fucking views that people started fucking parody uh doing parodies of it Oh, and God. I was like, wow. I was like, wow, is this the new fucking remember remember when Bjork did this? Bjork had the fucking swan Bjork around her. And oh, ev- I remember the swan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I and remember. Everybody did that. I was like, this is weird. I was like, what kind of looping out of shit is going on? They want fucking people to fucking, you know, fucking wear a trash bag. And then uh, you know, you know, Missy Elliott does it. <laughs> it's like what why the fuck are they trying to do these agents are fucked up in the head they're like why don't you wear a fucking wear a box for your fucking dick yeah dick sure. in a box yeah there you go you know what i'm saying it doesn't all this shit is weird they Dude, all these celebrities do this shit get on that uh, the dick in the box and uh yeah, it's it's okay. it's, a, it's, it's from Andy. It's okay Andy. in the three way segments on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, it's Andy uh, Andy Samboig. Oh, hang on. What was the other one? Mother Lover was that what it was? Mother Lover, Dick I in the Box. In, now there was three Dick, of them. So I'll tell you this: Andy Samboig. Yes, I'm going to say his fucking Jewish name. Is yeah. not fucking. Is not funny. Unless he's with his fucking homies. I always find it like his comedy is incomplete. And his homies knew how to fucking uh, the the dick of the box guys. You know, the, the Lonely Island. Lonely Island. Now, I always find out that they supported him to fucking <clears throat> thrust him into the fucking to the limelight. And then they got popular. What I Bro. didn't know, what I didn't like was the f- they thrust it so long, so 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 fast. The flame burn. They did a shit with Michael Bolton and everything. Yet you got another fucking group of guys that I fucking really enjoyed because I've been watching them since 2007, 2008, early YouTube days when they were fucking really when YouTube was really really you know primitive. That pop um, star movie was hilarious. It was which one? The pop star, the movie that Andy Samberg did with the. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, a rapper. yeah. No, no, that in Hot Rod was hilarious. Yeah. Um, at the same time, though, you had the workaholics guys grinding their asses off just to fucking be on TV, and they were, they were, um, they were famous before them. The thing is that these motherfuckers got on SNL, and then everything was just like. Oh, this is funny, Dick and our box. And then Michael Bolton. There, I was just like, this, this is. It's it's funny because it, what it's saying, but the thing is that when you listen to the workaholics guys that are actually know how to rap and they're all lyricists and they all know how to make it funny, and it's basically uh, what they what, what they were doing was like uh, Tom Green because Tom Green used to be a big rap. He was rapping back in the day yeah. called. Um, I can't remember, but uh, they, they were in. I remember they filmed a fucking music video in Ottawa for MTV in like 1992. That's how he got picked up by by uh, M, uh, MTV because he was in that band oh. or in that group. Um, but they felt so familiar more to me in that category. And then I look at fucking Andy Sandberg and I was like, it's funny, but it's funny if you like two chains. It's not. 
and, and Harry was like, "Oh, you gotta like two chains. It's funny, like dick in a box." And I was what just like, heck, "What the hell's two chains?" Uh, this the the fucking all I want for my birthday is a big booty hole. Everybody thought that that was yeah. funny. I was like, I was like, dude, that is not. Oh wait, funny. hang on. It's, it's like, two I've, chains I like, is a person. No, well, two chains is a fucking chain that two chains that he wears on his. I don't know what the fuck his real name is. <laughs> okay, so well, that's what I'm saying. So two chains is a rapper. This is what you tell it. Yeah, when that shit happened, I was like, dude, this. Oh. I, was like, I was like, and they're like, oh, this is funny. This is a funny song because he's rapping about a big. Week. I was like, no. Y'all are already rapping about. I was like, bro, you you know what's funny? CB4. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black. And I'm black. You know that that shit is funny. That's basically what pork, this guy is doing. I was like, dude, is the he, white man, and the white like, man like, is pork. Oh yeah. my god, this motherfucker is eating cum on a yeah. blueberry <laughs> stick. <laughs> oh God my God. You see, this is what happens. This is what happens when uh when Drew Bar fucking donates to <laughs> you got Cronin fucking licking this fucking goddamn jizz out of a <laughs> fuck it. yeah. And he's white, y'all. And he's white, y'all. And he's white, he's white, he's white, he's white, y'all. Oh my gosh, yo. Yeah. Where all man put in the chat rape or text and then, then he <laughs> mm, yeah. tastes like gargas. Tex, have you seen the movie C B four? Oh man. C B four. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Refresh. Chris Rock knows what I'm talking about. So Chris Rock before he got slapped by fucking Will Smith. Right. But Drew Gargut, there's a restaurant called Big Ass Biscuit. And they serve this huge Big ass, ass biscuit. Yes, and yes, this yes. Guy yes. Around to Chris Rock and Chris Rock tells him, turn around and eat your big ass biscuit. It's you have to see it. It's hilarious. This movie is I'd probably say it's probably it's in nineteen ninety three and it's before I think it's before fucking uh uh better what is it? Uh, before that fucking one where it's like, uh, you feel sorry for your mama, and they fucking start fucking doing all this shit. What the fuck was that? Uh, Don't be a man. With the white brother. Yes. Yeah, it's before that. Yes, yes. It's, that. it's right before that, and it's right before um, um, the breaks. If you ever seen the breaks where he fucking yeah. goes out for for a, a jug of milk, and he mm-hmm. goes into this fucking like parody that he's in, he's getting raped by the fuck. He's about to get raped by a gimp from fucking Pulp Fiction. That was the weirdest thing. The <laughs> breaks is, I swear to you, the breaks is crazy. Mm-hmm. But um, this is way before that shit. That's why I like CB4. Yeah. Phil Hartman's in it. Oh, fucking. He's the God bless mayor. his soul, man. His fucking yeah. wife killed him in his sleep. That's fucking. Like, and that's, that's so fucked, fucked up. up, man. That's so fucking weird that that happened. I remember, I remember, I remember waking up. And there, and I was, I was, I had a, I had rented Clap, Captain Blasto. If you're playing Captain Blasto, it was so, his voice. Is that a porno or something? Is that like a superhero no, porno? It, so no, it was kind of, sequel. That's what Gargutz's priest called it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is me pretty much. And TV4 is a girlfriend from <laughs> that's, just, that's what he said as the, as the Catholic priest, you know, finished off at some. Captain Blasto, and then he gets blasted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nothing squatted out. It's it's all the way at the bottom. That's why it's a priest. Uh, the fucking so the no the sh- the move the blah, 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 the the video game that I was playing it was Phil Hartman playing like a captain, and you were like, you know, just battling aliens, jumping from platform to platform. Kind of reminded me of you, like um. Old, um, you know the the Looney Tunes, the fucking Martin guy, the fuck the Martian, Martin the Martian. Oh yeah, it kind of remind you of that kind of stuff. And then, literally, when I fucking I, I had just rented the game, a week later, this guy is waking up dead. <laughs> he woke up to his wife fucking stabbing him or something i was like what the fuck this is crazy and i remember the news fucking being all over there this is what 97 honey what are you doing you have a knife honey 
what are you doing? Ah, that's what he sounded like. But so, so she probably she probably was friends with Lorena Bobbitt or something. I said, no, this is how you got to do it. Choppy, choppy, your pee pee. Yeah, she went from choppy pee pee to fucking choppy his life down. Yeah, she was like, it was terrible, dude. Yeah, she I was fucking, like, let's guy, take it to the next level. You know, fuck cutting off dicks. Let's cut off his fucking life, you know? Mm-hmm. She knows what she's doing. Four years after Lorena Bobbitt. Where's my sweatshirt? What the fuck? <laughs> I stole it. I stole it and I fucking shit on it. Where's Remember that? CB4? Yes. Remember CB4? Chris yes. Rocks, he's kissing down the girl's stomach and he gets near her crotch and he turns to the camera and he goes, I ain't going down there. I thought there was a happy trail or something. No, there wasn't. Okay. I might be thinking about something else. <laughs> it's got to do with uh, porn. <laughs> no, it's got to do with it. was It was a parody of it. That's what it was. But the thing was a parody of itself. Already. Sweat on my balls. That was their big hit. Get the, you know, I. You got to watch it again. I do. All I remember is on black, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yes, how the fuck was, how was ice cream invented in hot ass Africa? I remember this is what happened, though. It was like, it was probably like. I'd say like 62 minutes into the movie and the fucking DVD was scratched. So I was like, oh, I have to fucking download it or fucking go get it off of somewhere. I never did. I just fucking watched it on the stream. And on the stream, I fucking believe that they fucking cut out like at least 10 seconds of a, of a part of a scene. His so girlfriend is the that. girl from Half Bake. Oh, the one that's from fucking um, CB4. She's from um, also um, the craft. Yes, the witches, yeah. the bitches, the whores. The ho- yeah. <laughs> she got that fucking gap teeth that I could fucking jizz in. I like her. Oh my god! Is that is that how is that what happens when the Enterprise blows up, Joe? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to look like a skeleton. Have you ever seen Michael Strahan and Stacey Abrams in the same room? Fucking darkness. Fucking darkness. Hang on. Hang on. When you see a gap tooth bitch, do you get hard and crank your britches? Is this what happens to you? Oh, hell yeah, man. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just like, it's easy. Oh, easy win. Easy. <laughs> easy. God damn it, Joe. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You all, you so, get okay. yourself. You in the wrong yes, parts here, here, boy. You in the wrong parts here, boy. Get back on your little <laughs> bicycle and yeah. drive on out of here, you <laughs> lick tool, eight man thing. Then you yep. get your crutch, so, charcoal what, looking ass on out of here. What happens if I don't? You make me scream like a pig? Ah, hang you up. Upside down from your fingers to your asshole, you little <laughs> jungle motherfucker. <laughs> my, I fuck my own brother to have my own sister. Your brother is your sister. I'll suck dick for a pair of shoes oh if you got them. Hey, anybody hey, ever tell you that you look like a little boy, Gargus? <laughs> Hey, Let with teeth like you. that, dude, you look like a fucking bunny. Hey, if this I love is, it. with an ass like yours, I you could be my own son. <laughs> I love it. Oh, hey, oh, okay. Well, yeah. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like, like to I'd like to give you a candy bar. Have you ever had yourself a nice little six inch white man's candy bar there, Gurgits? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I like to slip it on in you mm-hmm. and saute I want to talk about it, but yeah. Mexican <laughs> asshole. I fuck you so hard, you lose your green card. I love that. Well, you, you know what? Tonight, I'm going to win back my green card. Let's, let's do that. 300. Oh, I let's do that. You're going to win something, all right? You're going to win... You're going to win my dick in your asshole is what you're going to win. <laughs> you <laughs> little wet bag asshole. I mean, whatever, gets, whatever I have to do to get that fucking belt behind your asshole. 
B. You know, Garguts, if you really wanted that green card, you do what every one of the other people of your ilk do and go find you some desperate fat white woman in America. No. That's what you really do. <laughs> That's how it works. I mean, seriously, no, that's how no, it is. No, no, don't, <laughs> don't, dude. I've I did, I'll tell you this much. I've done this. Check much. up with her. Get her knocked out. Fifteen. I, 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 I'm, I'm NFC. Okay. Oh, what? No fat for chicks? life. No fat yes. Chicks? Yes. <laughs> no NFC fat for chicks. life. <laughs> that's not nice. No, well, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is that <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've already, I've already done dating my fucking part of that did you say they oh always, my god dude i just did that thing and now you're talking like i'm already done did uh, you just already <laughs> done did that thing already done yeah, did that i already done did that thing. i already done diddle that and, asshole uh, let, me, let me tell you what it was like it was like uh it was like a sister getting mad over a mother what <laughs> <laughs> You ever fuck a box of chocolates and think that you? Oh man, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, <laughs> well, no, no, I want to hear it. And you thought they were? <laughs> no, you ever fuck a box of chocolates and think that some... nuggets? Oh, <laughs> oh my black god. Nuggets. You ever fuck a girl who was doing black body? <laughs> yes. You get that chocolate all over you. By the time you're done fucking her, she's white again. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a new thing, man. Now people do black body. Have you seen that? They paint themselves. They go out. It's weird. Yeah, so you can paint yourself but the face? No, the whole awesome. thing. The whole thing. No, they paint the whole thing. No, they, they try to get away with that they're not white. And what it, it, But what it is is they're getting a spray tan, but the tan is really dark, dude. And it's like it's like, wait a minute. We're we're like canceling celebrities for blackface, but there's actual women going out there, like tanning the fuck out of themselves to be black. No, like, I, it's what do you wait a minute? Fucking no, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they they trying to like they they what they what, they, what who's who's fucking tanning them? Fucking Hulk Hogan. Yeah, and that's the best thing is then oh, they get out yeah. there on the dance floor, they get all sweaty, and then and they're fucking start melting. And it's like wait a minute. I thought you were like a. I thought you were half black and half Latino, and then and then at some point in the night, I thought you were half like Hispanic, but now like you look white and you're melting. Like oh shit, like yeah, I'm telling you, bro, it's happened to clubs. It's weird. It's embarrassing. And then and then all of a sudden, fucking she plays Michael Jackson. It doesn't matter if you're hack or black, Martino. Oh <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. If black your color melts. Black Martino. Mm. Oh my god. Black machismo. Uh, like, it was oh, great, dude. If you if you were to, if you know, okay, so you ever like have the weirdest encounter at the bar? Yeah, and you're like, what is going? So you ever go to the bar and this no. girl's just like hating on you and hating on you, and you're just like, let's do this. I mean, and then you're like, I hope so. I want that to happen again. Yeah, let's do that again. I mean, I mean, I'm saying back in the day, man. I know you. It's been a while, but I'm saying like back uh, in the day when you were fucking doing your wild days, man. Yeah, a couple times. All right. I mean, but they didn't have was to, it, They. I was like, yeah, I'm all in with this. So was it like after you playing a show, or was it like you just being yourself at a bar? The last. So, oh man, I should not have eaten that ice cream I ate, man. That's. I'm getting heartburn already. I've had oh, horrible boy. heartburn the last couple of days. Um, God, was it bacon? God damn, it. God damn, bro. It was. But uh, no, uh, yeah, I would say that my last memories are that because, and the reason is because I probably like, you know, I looked all right and I was sitting in a bar by myself for a long period of time getting drunk by myself. And yeah, I, w I would be like playing it cool because I was so, I was literally depressed. I was literally fucked up and cold. Yep. And that just and a girl will come up at you and be mm -hmm. like, "Yo, what is wrong? Did you just yep. break up with your girl?" Exactly. And like they'll just like, start talking. Yep. They'll be like, "What are you this, doing? This what, are you, what are you all alone? Like, what are you all? What are mm -hmm. you doing here by yourself mm -hmm. or things like that?" And you're like, "Oh, here it comes." <laughs> and then you're like, yes. "Yep, I am." And they're like, "Why would you come here by yourself? We're like whatever and whatever." And then, "Yep, okay, this is gonna we're gonna have sex with this person tonight." And you don't even have to get eight. It's like I'm gonna ruin my life tonight. <laughs> no, I mean, well, if they have AIDS, you might, yeah, yeah. But if if not, dude, you just fucking had a fucking you had a fucking 
You just fucking hit a home run without even trying. Yeah, that's the funniest you're thing. You're like you're like Barry Bonds on fucking steroids. Well, I I, <laughs> that, I rem- I'll never forget that. I think I ran I spent years telling people this on my show in 2012 and 13 back when we, you know, probably a lot of younger people listening and I I would just tell them like just don't give a fuck. Now, if you're ugly as shit, you know, you, you know, obviously you're going to have a little bit of a trouble, different situation. You know, I looked decent enough at that time, you know, um, but, you know, for the most part, if you just be mysterious, but in but warm, really you mysterious. Know, yeah, like not evil looking, but mysterious, like really mysterious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they'll be like, who is what this? you're talking about? You're talking about standoffish if you're standoffish, mm-hmm. but you're still communicating, but you're communicating that yeah don't fuck with yeah yeah what you mean you know it's weird bro they just start coming at you it's the most bizarre thing ever and i remember thinking when it when it happened to me like i remember thinking like why didn't i know this and i kind of knew it but i but like why didn't i take more advantage of this when i was in high school you know it's like fuck like you just, or or even when I was with my ex girlfriend at the time, when we were off and on, or, or whatever. You know what you mean. Like even when I was off and on with her, I was trying hard at the bar, at the club, and it's like, oh no, you just need to basically ignore everybody, and sit at the bar depressed because I was, and drink a beer, and look like you don't look like you hate the world and you're sick of everything, but you don't give a fuck either. And if you look like you don't give a fuck while you're it's just amazing, bro. They just start coming Shit. towards you. Like, you get numbers after numbers. That never worked for me. I, that, that, I have the complete opposite. Dude, I, I was a okay. fucking rodeo cowboy and a high school football player. I had more pussy than I knew what to fucking deal with. Uh-huh. I never had it. Like, because you uh, fucking became, you became, or you fucking varsity blues, motherfucker? No, but you know what? Tex tex, tex makes a great point. I don't point. want your life. Well, Tex makes a great point. Maybe it works for some people and doesn't for others. Like for instance, I looked like a like a like a bitch, right? Probably like I looked like a very you know, I had no facial hair. You know, I looked very like Eminem at the bar, you know, so people came up to me like who's this guy? Whatever. Tex is bigger and like more like intimidating, more like you know, whatever. So like maybe Tex, I this feel is like a sweetheart, man. I this know guy would never but... be his. This guy would never be. I, I was the dude that I was walking up into groups. Me and my buddies, we would find three or four people together and just, hey, darling, how are you? How, you know, blah 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 blah. Just start giving the salesman's pitch. Yeah, it was never any fucking work. It never yeah. was a problem. Wait, that always worked, or damn near. I mean, obviously, you, you don't score every time, but it worked more than it did. No, of course, no, that, mean, no, I, that, no. Listen, that you that may works. not have been late that night, but you did something from the future for that. No, that 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 certainly works. That's the other approach that works. We right. know that works. If you're confident yeah, and you go up, form works. Yeah, that will add yeah, that, that, if you're Bill yeah. Cosby. No, if you're a confident, if you're a confident guy and you go up to a woman and you say, "Hey, you know," like, no, you're gonna. You're going to get the yes or no. I mean, the, the only – if you don't ask, you'll never get it. You won't You won't really get a yes, you know, all the time. Unless, you know, my, my – okay, we should really go back and go over this because what worked for me in those days, it worked for me, but I, I wasn't trying to make it work. I literally was depressed and going to the bar and sitting at the bar. Okay. And then I started uh, – what, what happened is I started realizing that women were just coming up to me. And I started realizing, and then I started just taking it for granted. Like, oh, yeah, I'll just go there and people will yeah. talk to me. And that yeah. is what happened to me. But it's true that if I had gone around and asked, I probably would have gotten three no's and one yes, you know, and three no's and one, you know, you would have. But, yeah, the, that's the normal way to do things is to go up and ask. Because women like that. Women like a guy, a confident guy I, to come up to them most of the time. I feel like the confidence comes when you don't give a shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, because you because it no, for, when you go up to a woman and you say, "Hey, honey, let me," you know, I, I thought, you know, whatever the fuck, that is kind of not giving a shit because, like, you the thing is that aren't afraid to fail. Yeah, there's two different kinds of giving it, not giving a shit. There's the ones that you say, "Hey, this is my life," and if you don't like it, uh, you can complain to everybody else. 
yeah, there's the other one where you're just <clears throat> fucking sad as fuck and you're just like, I'm going to change my shit. Right. And then to make everything else different. So there's two different kinds of uh, <clears throat> thing in that shit. And then but there's they, a, I understand and, where you come from. There's, no, there's a couple other things then. And then the other couple things are. Yeah, are you good looking or are but really what it is is are you are you their type? Are you their type? That's the problem. Oh, well, of course. Yeah. You, you can you can you can not be their type and still <laughs> fuck them. It'd be great. But uh you know, you have to it's more of a more of a competition when people start coming up to them that they know and they want to right. fucking and then you're just like, hey, I'm just gonna be on the side. And then you start not giving a shit, and then that's when they fucking start looking at you, like, hey, where's, where's homeboy at? Like, we're, I thought we were gonna fuck. Well, yeah. See that there's one thing. Like, I had a buddy back in high school. He would, he was not the best looking guy. wasn't in real great shape. I mean, he wasn't like ugly, but he was like kind of average, I guess. And he would go after the tennis. Yeah, I, I mean, he would find the best looking girl in the room. He would strike out every time. Then he would get depressed because he never got laid, and he never played to his strengths. There were there were a lot of girls that were into it, right? But right. he never he never recognized it. He wasn't smart enough to see. Oh, this kind of girl is into me. Like with me, I go after the southern girls. They dig my shit. If I came up there to Boston mm -hmm. doing my shit. I'm not gonna yeah. get no fucking pussy. They're gonna laugh me out the bar. They're gonna yeah, get the hell out of here. Well, okay. actually, so well, here's what I would say: There's, there, you have two different things that could happen, right? That uh, it's, it's you're right about that text. Like I would say that three out of four women are gonna be like, "Oh, the Texas some guy," but there's gonna right. be, but there's gonna be a huge market for you because then there's gonna be the girls that love that you have a different accent and that you're from Texas, like. There's going to be a large amount of people that like that. Just like if I go, when I went to Florida and all the women were like, oh, my God, your Boston accent. Oh, my God. Like, so uh, this, they'll, you'll get that, yeah. dude. You'll get like, oh, you're like, and you could play up the cowboy thing because, you know, that's what they'll be like. Oh, you're like a cowboy. And you'd be oh, like, yeah, yeah. I, I got a farm. I got to do this. other. And, dude, they would totally yeah. like you would. No, I think you would get laid off of that. If, if you were to go up to a group of girls right now, like at any moment when they're fucking they're already they're they're like what like four beers in and they just want some fucking you, you can go up to a girl and be like you, you order a male stripper and they'll be like yeah what? let's do this like you know what i'm saying like they, uh -huh. yeah when they're fucking partying they, it's just girls night they i would say in boston shit. do a british accent though you'd be better off with that oh yeah that i no, mean I in boston, okay there. down here down here it's just so like it's so Texas is so weird because like we have so many fucking people from other different kinds of fucking countries that they're all living here. Mm. Great, honestly, great. But when it fucking comes to, I'd say, I'd say like if a German woman comes down here and lives down here, mm -hmm. and she, all 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 of her life she's been dirty dating. Uh, oh, she's been dirty. All German men, yeah, dirty dirty dating, German men. And then she comes down here and she's like, this is all we got. But she likes the Mexican. She likes the dirtiest of the dirtiest of Mexican. So I'm just like, yes. <laughs> the dirtiest. <laughs> the dirtiest of the Mexican. I have, I have fucking, I have a chance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, Marcus, I know exactly how I would use this. I, like, if me and you went in the bar, I'd be like, all right, I need you to look sickly and look like, you know, you're on death's door. And like, mm. I'll we walk into the bar, we find a table with the girls that I want to sit on. Yeah, they're all going to hide yeah. from you. He's got COVID. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll play up that, like, I'm, he's a cancer patient, and I'm, like, Aww. giving him one last night out before he dies. You know what, so I get oh, sick. my God. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Uh, nice and, he, and he was a cancer patient. That's the fucked so, up thing. The funny thing is that, yeah, that too. <laughs> and the funny thing is that this happened today. Um, I was... I was uh, drinking a beer at the bar and this fucking, I know she was a nurse, but she ended up fucking, I ended up telling her some stuff and she, she started, she, she was like, let me see if you're nipple. She knew where to go. And she was like, yep, yep. <laughs> and then I was like, I got lift notes down there too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, she started laughing at that, but she was like, yeah, you do. And I was like, you got to check it all. <laughs> No, but uh, she was really cool. She was, uh, she didn't even tell me she was a nurse. I just 
what happened was that we started talking about like life and shit. And then uh, she told me that somebody about her had the same thing that I had. Hep- I hep- her, hepatitis? Oh, uh, AIDS. So I fucking, you know, she knew Magic Johnson. Now, what happened was that uh, <laughs> she fucking... <laughs> She 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 recognized that I fucking had, she she already knew she was like you had you had lymphoma and I was like mm. holy shit you are a damn doctor <laughs> oh, I yeah. thought that was I thought that was fucking hilarious you should have killed her no nah, I should have fucking married what, her she was already married <laughs> back in the day I cleaned up with fucking bartenders and waitresses they love my ass I don't know what the fuck it is. But I racked up more of them in my fucking time. Holy hell! I bet they God did, man. I can me. tell that you're like I can oh, tell yeah. that you were getting. You can always you know, tell the type, dude. dude, dude the, especially the I hate to say it, but like the women who are like the women of the night type, like they love texts. Like, mm-hmm. the, hell yeah. oh, oh hell yeah. dude, you know the you know the, the type crazy of, bitches. Yeah, love the, me. you know the crazy the, ones can't. Get enough of my shit. Not the crack, they, not crackheads, but you know the women that are kind of maybe a, a skinnier woman who loves like the zodiac, yeah. and she's she's got a cat, and she loves the zodiac, and she's like almost hippie like, but a fun girl. That's the type like I, that you would definitely get that all day would be happening. And then text tells her, "Hey, I, I uh, he text tells her, let me show you where I live. You yeah. ever seen the Texas hey. Chainsaw Massacre? Right." <laughs> Dude, half the reason I live where I do is because I love the texture things. I know that's, one of the vloggers. <laughs> that's so weird. That's, I love that's I concerning. That shit, do you guys remember back when the oh, riots no. were happening and Tex was like, I'm going to go down there. And like, we didn't hear from Tex for like, eight, I, that, we didn't hear from you for like eight months or a year or something. We thought yeah. you went, yeah, went, yeah, it was like 12 months, 12 yeah, months. I no, went no, down there. 14. Did some shit I can't say on air because you oh, know you charges could sh- still be pressed probably. But, yeah, I was living. I was. I was. You were. You were here, right? I was okay. So the day that you were here, I was probably six blocks away from you that night. Wow. I was like, dude, what the fuck? I because I lived. Dallas, I live. No, you said you came to the Alamo. No, we went to Dallas, dude. Oh, then I wasn't there. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god no, <laughs> no we we had people down there to the alamo i was in dallas yeah oh, okay all right okay. well then yeah. still fuck you <laughs> you just, you just ruined gargots's life with that i know right you, you <laughs> lied to me you fuck <laughs> <laughs> no, your drunk ass got confused. That's what happened. Your uh, nah, your drunk ass fucking got confused where you were. <laughs> well, that's the probably Alamo, true too. And you were just <laughs> like I'm at the no, Alamo. Okay. And you were just Dude, we you're just like, you outside of a taco place called the Alamo in fucking Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the Alamo. No, the sub shop. Dude, we spent like <laughs> we spent like a day and a half up there. We got into some shit, like holy fuck, dude! It got fucking hardcore there for a while. Oh man! But, well, I'm glad you're not uh, apprehended by the FBI yet, but you um, might be now. You might, yeah. <laughs> Just don't and, tell them you're in Washington. You know. You know what? The well, Alamo fucking riot no, that happened. I was is- not there. <laughs> I was not at the Capitol on January six. I want that recorded. I was. I was home. I was not there, so I'm good. To okay. Go. He- so. You know it's funny that the 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 Alamo riot still lost, just like the Alamo did. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? Well, oh, I was in the middle of a yawn, dude. I was yawning and I fucking couldn't hold the laugh, and I went. <laughs> That's what was so funny. Like, oh my god! My, um, when that shit happened in <laughs> Dallas, they were all on. They were all on great oh all, all them, all them damn <laughs> oh my... and. uh we got word that them just, damn buses was coming. Just go to back to that. Town. Please go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I didn't even know it was that funny. Like, it wasn't funny. I don't know. <laughs> go back to it. <laughs> listen to it. <laughs> Let me go back and listen because I don't laugh. And I went, <laughs> uh, I yawning, and I fucking couldn't hold the laugh. And I went, <laughs> was that there? I was not at the Capitol on January 6th. 
I want that recorded. I was I was home. I was not there. So I'm good. To okay. That's you, it right there. you know it's funny that the 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 Alamo riot still lost. Just like the Alamo did. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Let me! Go. I gotta get that! I gotta get that! Oh man! Well, I'm glad you're not uh, apprehended by the FBI yet, but you might be now. You might, yeah. <laughs> Just don't tell him you're in Washington. You know. You know what? The, the well, Alamo fucking riot no, that happened. I was is- not there. <laughs> I was not at the Capitol on January sixth. I want that recorded. I was. I was home. I was not there, so I'm good. To go. Okay. So. You know, it's funny that the 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 Alamo riot still lost, just like the Alamo did. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? Well, uh, I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> 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 oh my god, dude! I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Take that, take that sound and put it on the. Really? Put it on the end I'm of tearing that up. Song. I'm tearing up. Oh my god, dude! You know it sounds like that guy that was in the hospital that night who was like, Ugh. "Oh god!" It sounds like I'm making. It sounds like that kid that fucking ran into the fucking goddamn. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh my ran. god! Yeah, with the scooter oh, into the yeah. fence. Yes. Like, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, old herd phone guy, the caller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your new, that's your new oh five dollar donation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, five dollars, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's the sound I make when I jizz in Leah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Uh, what do you do? When she's like, when she's like, oh yeah, they're nice tits. <laughs> they're nice oh fucking god. tits. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. I was in the middle of yawning and I fucking lost, like I lost it. <laughs> Well, this turned into a bit now, so I'm getting used to it. Yeah. Pam says, you sound like Tony Khan in middle school. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that's what he, that's what he, that's, that sounds like Tony Khan coming. Yeah. He's like, uh, uh. Let me see. Play your little fuck fuck game. You when you play your little fuck fuck game. You when you play your little <laughs> fuck fuck game. You when you play your little fuck fuck game. You when you play your little fuck fuck game. Come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? Say that again. What? Come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? Say that again. What was that one <laughs> fucking what was that one NFL coach that said playoffs? Playoffs. Playoffs? Uh, dude, oh that's that? so that is so weird because yeah. on the radio the other day the guy goes, Well, we're getting ready for the playoffs. And then and then in the car I went out loud, playoffs? Like and I was thinking to myself, like, what a loser Take that I am. Clip and then go what? Like, I had that together. That is so weird that you just, I can't believe you just brought that up. I was thinking that the oh other my day. God. I'm like, nobody knows what I'm talking about. It's that tone of voice that you want to go, what? Playoffs? Because it's a playoff. It's the same thing. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. yeah that's funny. Oh that's God. All I yeah, said is, <laughs> playoffs. <laughs> Damn it. Let's slow it down a little bit. What if we uh, slow it down and speed it? Like, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> sounds like a good. <laughs> we slow it way down. Like a <laughs> that last one. Oh. Now it sounds like Tommy's farting. <laughs> that sounds like actually, mom. That sounds like the, that sounds like the Jaws thing. Oh, oh, oh. It does. Oh, 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 oh
if you could do the Jaws theme with slowing it down and speeding it up every time. Yeah. You saw like that day they were crying in front of Leah. It sounds like a, it's, it's a retarded guy saying yes. Sir, do you have a driver's license? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, uh, I'm going to have to ask you to... Uh, I mean, do you live around here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, are you saying yes? <laughs> All right. Can you step out of the car for me really quickly here? <laughs> oh All right. Thank you very much. Now, um, <laughs> now, get down on your knees. Can you get down on your knees for me? <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, um, now unzip, unzip my pants, would you? Okay, now suck on it. Suck that cock. Yeah, suck that cock. Yeah, suck it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Was that good for you? All right, we'll see you later. Uh, there you go. Retard sucks a cock. Oh, my God. Somebody just said Mikel's oh, That's Mikel. Oh, oh. That's Mikel sucking his mother with a strap on on. That's Mikel's fucking long living fucking twin brother that fucking survived off that seventy four fucking <laughs> drop. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if, if anybody, if if anybody wants to fucking uh, throw a woman off a fucking cliff, it's got to be my kills. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Dude? Shit, hey, man, oh. throw a woman off a cliff. She'll survive. She'll survive. Randy Viper just donated five bucks and became a five dollars shit bomb. What's up, Randy? We're gonna add four minutes oh, to the yeah. clock for you. Oh, Joe, I lost most recent Instagram. What a beast, Casey Rose. Eat my balls. Uh, you yeah, whiny little so something. <laughs> Everyone buy Cronin Club merch and other JCS merch. We need Tex Cult merch now. Randy Viper, thanks Yo. for the five bucks. I don't think we need Tex Cult merch. Well, let's... <laughs> I've got designs. I've got designs. <laughs> we'll add some time to the clock because of you, sir. And uh, we still have two hours and 21 minutes in the show, and that adds oh, more yeah. time. Look at that. There's so oh, much. Yeah, we're going to be here We'll be I going. Somebody will like that drunken vato can get a goddamn shirt. The fuck, I'm going to shit. Oh yeah, baby cakes. You know, historical like fight: Jesus versus Muhammad. PTS to me. Oh no, Jesus oh, versus Muhammad. Shit. Um, God. damn. I'm going. I'm. Oh man, see, like Jesus is a lot of like ground warfare. You know, needs they're the same need. person. <laughs> Muhammad wouldn't have let himself get crucified. Let me say that. Everyone, thank for the late night stream. If you want to laugh your ass off this YouTube comedy guy Long Beach Griffey go to his video titled When a Racist Comes Into This Studio. He sings a song very similar to Back to the Fields. Really? What? You saying this guy Beach. owes me some fucking royalties? Hell yeah. Let's Get see if he fucking does it. Let's go. Hey, I'll go out there. I'll go, I'll go cut a bato. Oh. Yes, I said bato. I said bato with a B. It's a fucking reference to um, oh boy, but but butthole. You said butthole. The butthole, butthole, butthole. butthole. I'll cut a butthole too. Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll cut a butthole. That guy actually wrote back to the feels, not back to the fields. Huh. Wow, feels. Oh my back god. Back to the feels. That's pretty funny. What should be some like emotional ballad of you know professing his love? He's getting back to his feels and Did right. you just find that in like two seconds? Huh. Who? What the? F you? You just like? Oh, he wrote back to the field. Like, did you know that? <laughs> no, he he, no. Well, he said that in the donation. Oh, okay. It's like, damn, you're fucking quick with that shit. I'm over here like, no, I, my I, mouth doesn't even I, work. I'm, I'm sometimes I'm quick, but not right now. Now I'm I'm dude. I'm fucking. I've been awake since six a.m. Funny. What? I'm on fucking this beer. I've been drinking beer and I, I got vodka in this cup. And it's not even getting me drunk. Like I'm so fucking stoic right now. It's crazy. I I, I don't see any cup. All I see is you fucking with your dude thing. Let me tell you something. Oh no, it's in this Bruins cup. But here's the thing. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, brother. Mm. I didn't know my work was gonna go this late, but apparently a, a lot of times on Saturdays I'll be there late, or I'll be late. So it's like, ooh, it's oh, gonna be a rough Saturday. Damn, so you're pulling. Time. You're pulling like fucking mega. Mega overtime, 
right now. Um, sort of. Two yeah. points to uh, really mysterious is total. Thank you, really mysterious. Thank God you need you need some points. Somebody give points to really mysterious man. He needs to catch up to Gargutz. He's yeah. well behind you. Y'all get nah, up. Nah, nah, that, that, credit card thing. That'd be good. That'd be good. There's no way. Yeah. Just, 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 we're not just letting keep me drunk and win this thing. Keep me uh-huh. higher than that. No, keep me higher than that. Uh-huh. Keep me higher than that. <laughs> what are you doing? Fucking Stone Cold. All right, chill out. It's not like you're fucking uh-huh. dying. You're fucking. You need some lozenges. <laughs> I got some uh-huh. robotism. God damn! What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> I, I tell you what, uh, I'll take a lot. You come over here, put my dick. How about that? I'll try. To hey, do you, do you think Stone Cold? Do you think Stone Cold smokes cigarettes as much as you do to get that voice? Well, see, my, I want to know. I, I'm I, this is an honest man, question. I don't know if he if smokes you cigarettes. Sound like a little baby back bitch, like you do. You know, you do what you need to do. See, real men have deep voices. That's how that works. So. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> real, real men can have a deep voice, but you know what? A real motherfucker can have the 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 high pitch voice. You're gonna say white voice. I heard what was going on there. Yeah, yeah. Ah. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. It. I was gonna say the white voice. I mean, look at look at Little You're Wayne. This motherfucker, this motherfucker, he, he, this motherfucker, Little Wayne. He talks like this, and then he fucking raps like, "What's up, motherfucker? I'm a fucking bad bitch." I'm like, what the fuck is going on, dude? Like, this guy fucking has no fucking control on it. Why, do, why does he sound as hard as he does? But he still does sound hard. Hey, it, would you fuck? Guy, would you fuck Little Wayne if you were on like an island for like seven years and he was, you know, you were like desperate, you know? Island boy. I mean, if I need a <laughs> weed, <laughs> uh, I'd if make I need him, a weed. I'd make you. I'll put a fucking tattoo on your head and call you my island boy, motherfucker. You know, you know I'll tell you as much. Would you smoke if if, if you if you needed to smoke weed? You like smoking weed? Did would you, just, you smoke? Did you just would ask you like three questions in one sentence? What was that? <laughs> yes, I did. 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 And I'll okay. do it again. Would you smoke your weed if it was part of your your fucking? Uh, it's the weirdest question in the world. It's the worst question in the world. Would you smoke your dick if it fucking grew back as weed? Wow. But you wouldn't be able to fuck for three for three for three months or six months as much as fucking takes back. What kind of marijuana you smoking? Guy what goes. kind of shit are we talking? Are you, wait a minute. You tell me that you can. Jesus Christ! What the fuck did you smoke it's, tonight? It's, it's the weirdest question right, in the world. So you I've smoke your question. dick. You smoke your dick, but now you can't have sex for three months? Yes. And then it grows back, what? and then it's like, holy shit. I mean, it, obviously, no, you're today. talking about either this is the only weed you could ever get, or it's the greatest weed ever, right? I mean, because otherwise, it's why would you do It's the greatest that? weed ever. That's what it is. Yeah. So I'm... No, man, because I, sex is above all things for me. Yeah. If so, you're like, hey, my fucking... My pubes can fucking be weed. And then, hey, my Dude, I think the steel what? reserve has polluted your brain, man. Yeah, no, no this is this is this is this. Is, I'm telling you, you're this buying is the that fucking. Reserve, bro. You're this buying that fucking. You're buying that fucking question. government shit, aren't you? You're fucking losing this has your been mind. A question, this has been a question that's been in the fucking. <laughs> in, in nowhere. This question's forever. never been anywhere I, forever. Dude, no one's I, ever had this I, question I, ever. Like this is in your no, weird no, no, retard no, friends. No, yes, have this, this fucking is. discussion. Yes, this is. This is. My weird, weird retard friends. That's, this section. is but isn't my an weird, answer. My weird retard friend section has but, to be with fucking yes. major bands that you probably heard, and we all. Oh, here we go. This. The mystical celebrity friends that that have been talking no, about this. I don't, I, I don't want to talk about them. I don't talk about them. I don't talk about them. But I'm saying, saying we've all agreed. Run. We all agreed. You've we all you've smoke. all agreed. You've all agreed. We all agree. We've all agreed. We've all agreed. Okay. You're all greedy. If you if greedy yeah. Mexican, if you fucking, if you're if you're down if you're down to the last of the last of the last and you need to fucking survive all that shit, there you go. Hmm. But See, you do not do that ever, ever. I'm I'm just saying, like if your if your dick was the fucking golden ring to the fucking the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> would you would you make it disappear and not fucking make it look like you're raping fucking live fucking One Tyler or what? Ring to rule them all. I would yes. love to kill Frodo with my dick. I'll just, I don't know what any, you know, I'll just say would that. Would you put, okay, so would you put the Lord of the Rings ring on your dick? Oh, yeah, cock ring, any kind of, if it, yeah, because, you know, you get the blood stopped at the bottom. 
and then you just smash it, and then you, so I f- oh, I feel like that that's where the ring was the entire time they came not fight. <laughs> Oh yeah, this guy like randomly dies. Like, oh, I mean that was a little yeah. ring, bro. So that you're somebody Which had a small pecker. Ashton? I mean, look at look at fucking uh, my precious. I mean, you think he had a big cock? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's it's his cock ring. It, yes. It's got to be it his is. cock ring. Which one is Sean precious? Ashton? Frodo or dildo or which which one's <laughs> Frodo uh, is dildo. Sam, Sam. Oh, okay, I'd fucking make him dress up at, at, and put on the Rudy uniform. And mm. fuck yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, put on the Rudy well, shit again, you fucking flaming fuck. I do have to point out one one deal from the chat. From can my, we, can from we my, chat out Rudy? Right. He said, all right, guard guts are starting to get incoherent. The, I've seen this 11 times before, as a matter of fact. Guard guts, you've been called out, motherfucker. He knows exactly what they're doing. <laughs> really? What? But I'm not. Wait, what? What do you say? I'm getting. No. Oh, so Gargots is like repeating like stories or something. Yeah, like. Well, oh. You know, when, you know when Gargots is fucked up when he repeats the same thing fifteen Bro. times. Like, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about Panzer. Panzer. When I'm <laughs> when I'm on my fucking damn thing. When I'm talking about my shit. But if I go. <laughs> Yeah, it's like he didn't really do it if he didn't do it here. He feels like. You know? yeah. I'm telling you right now, you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think it, I think it just registered that I threatened to kill him or whatever. He was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> when, he, when he said, I, "If I had my personal," would you say, "If I had my personal items?" I'll... I don't Did even. Say? I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> he goes, "What? What? what? Come tell you right now because you're a fucking idiot." Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> Well, I was basically, I was like, hey, if I have your address and information, I'll come kill you now, Ooh. you fucking idiot. You know uh, who Sean Aston's dad is, right? No, I don't. Who's that? The dad from the Steve Adams Austin. family. The dad Did from the Adams, Adams family? From the TV show. Oh. Oh. Uh, fucking. Yeah. Wow. That's going back. The, yeah. the dead guy. <laughs> well, they're all dead, I think. Yeah. I don't think anybody's all alive. Them? Oh my god! Only, only like you know, I mean, Eddie obviously the the, the movie Adams Family people are all alive still, except for the Gomez. Yeah, yeah, Gomez. That's what I was thinking. About. Whatever happened yeah, to that big that. fat fucking kid, Pugsley? Whatever happened to that guy? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he went to jail. But are you the really, Adams family dad is still alive. He's 92. No, I'm not pretty sure. I didn't just feel like who did, but uh, 92. He would have been 92. Oh shit! He's 92. He's still alive. Yeah. Well, then why oh only use God. this motherfucker? And if if Rob Zombie doesn't do something with the original fucking Adam Family guys that are fucking, he's doing, Dude, he's uh, doing mustards. And, and he's no, he's doing, doing mustards. mustards. I'm doing. So I know he's doing mustards, but wouldn't it be crazy if you have? Hey, this is Adam Family. Monsters, let's fucking cross hey, them over. Let's do something. Adam West in a fucking Iron Man movie. Then. What the fuck? Yeah. Adam West was in an Iron Man movie. Mm-hmm. He played Which the rapist. No, I don't know. I don't remember. Right. <laughs> he was the guy. He was the guy that fingered Tony Stark's asshole while he was trying on his Iron Man shit. That's what he did. Yeah, yeah. That was, really? That was, uh, that was called um, um, Man of Iron. Man of Iron. It was called Iron Man, aka Iron Fisting, is what it was called. Mm-hmm. He put his whole hand up inside of like a fucking puppet. That's what he did. Yeah, you know, he 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 manned his iron. He man, he All ironed right. his man. <laughs> he ironed Jesus his Christ! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Jarvis, help me. How do I? How do I have to navigate into a guy's asshole? Help let me, me show you. <laughs> let me show you ninety-two possibilities. Mommy, please come downstairs and help me abuse myself, mommy. What the fuck? <laughs> help me do it again. Come down here right now. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fucking what? Show in the beginning of European vacation. <laughs> yeah. Who's got? Oh, European vacation. I love that shit. Yeah, I love anything with Chef. Chef, when we were talking about um, um, SNL earlier, I Chevy was just Chase. thinking, all Chevy I know Chase. is Chevy Chase in a fucking love ladder that. match. He's the original guy. 
Chevy Chase want, and Bill Murray, you know, yeah, they didn't like dude, each other. They, they, them two in a ladder. No, no. What, what, what it is is that Chevy <laughs> Chase would always find a fucking eight foot ladder and fall off of it. Yeah, yeah. he was tall anyway. Yeah, yeah. but John that's, Belushi would have done coke off it. That's that's a hard ass fall, man. Onto nothing, like literally just the stage. Yeah, that's a really hard ass fall. Like it. Uh, okay, so Joe, you taking bumps in the ring? Bumps in the ring. Mm. Not too bad. Taking bumps outside of the ring. Um. What do you, well, I mean, <laughs> depends. Like when the and it's a summer day. I mean, you know, the grass. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah. If the grass is well and <clears throat> there's no rocks and shit, it depends on the ring too, there. man. I'll tell you what. The fucking New England Northeast Wrestling or whatever they're called now, New England Wrestling Big K- time? Killer Kowalski's. Um, oh, that no. place, the ring was great. I like that ring. Top Rope Promotions training ring, though, where I wrestled the bear, that thing sucked. That thing is fucking... Like, Wait, you never did something for big time? I thought you did. No, I did, like, commentary. I No, I did... Um, I did commentary for somebody who was at big time, and I worked some stuff outside, but no, I never got in the ring at big time. Easy. And then they, I know they have GCW. But they just... They, of- they rent Top Rope's ring, so it doesn't matter. What the? F- <laughs> well, I mean, uh, to rent a ring, dude, it's like four hundred bucks, right. three hundred bucks. Well, okay, it's so not, they depending on depending on where they're at, they rent the ring out there. Like big time is bigger, so they whenever they wherever they are, they rent. You know, like if they're out Western Mass, they probably rent like Lucky Pros or. Now, now who builds a ring when you rent them? <clears throat> um, the people. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the, the yeah the 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 backstage. Usually, okay, so. usually it's the usually you know it's the people who are just joining wrestling school for the first time. You know they're and a lot of times it's people like the their first year in the wrestling business or first couple of years in the wrestling business. But you yep. know it, it like some places it's guys who have been there for years. But usually it's the new you know the new crew. Like oh I want to be a you know wrestler. Okay well. <laughs> Give us three thousand dollars and now show up to these shows and put a ring together. You know? Did you uh ever <laughs> oh, oh my god, did you oh just my god. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, now he did it. Now he did it. <laughs> <laughs> repeat that, repeat that, repeat it. I need <laughs> Oh my god, you just oh did god. what I did earlier, repeat it. dude. Repeat it. Repeat it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, dude. Fucking clothes, drinking I cannot a fucking beer. wait to hear that one. Like it sounded like you just choked on yourself. Put a ring together. You know? <laughs> did you uh, make that as a- <laughs> Oh my god, did you oh, just god. <laughs> like big time is oh bigger. God. So they whenever they wherever they are, they rent you know. Oh my god. You know? Did you uh ever <laughs> Oh, oh my god, god. did you oh just my god. <laughs> Dude Did you uh ever oh. <laughs> ever Oh my god <laughs> Dude Gargut's just like fucking burp choked all over himself. <laughs> Come out. Can you hear it? I can't hear it. I'll, okay, I can probably can hear it. Oh, this yeah. one. Hold on. I'm gonna play it again. Let me increase this because this is wild. This is gross, guys. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Did did, did you, did you ever? <laughs> uh, ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> wow dude we're we're like all having indigestion all night oh, I, I really feel like i'm fucking like uh, we, we need uh, to be a tums commercial by now what the fuck <laughs> yeah they're gonna need a tums commercial bro indigestion um, acid dum, dum, did you uh <laughs> ever <laughs> <laughs> did you ever Sounds like we're both having sex. (laughs) (laughs) 
Am I choking on your dick right now? <laughs> oh so, yeah, you're munching. Oh, you're, you're munching on my cock. <laughs> oh, oh my fuck. god! This is you fucking jizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, bro. I love it. I love it. I All love right. these little fucking little tidbits. Hell yeah. Well, anybody else yeah. burps or fucking? I know. Yeah, I know. I know, pussy. But uh, Louis Money over here is fucking throwing up in the chat. You, when you, you play your little some fuck, fuck game. You, when you play your little fuck fuck game. <laughs> <laughs> the I know you, Cronin. Is... When you play your little fuck fuck games. Where the hell is Jesse? I thought he'd be here fucking riding a goddamn tricycle again. He's dead. No, I don't know. Oh God, no! Nothing is better when Tommy when Tommy threw up. Remember the first puke of 2018 or whatever? No, you don't remember that. Mm -mm. Let's let's oh. go. Let's take oh. a take a trip back oh. in time. I do. I do remember that. I don't, that was two thousand. I thought it was seventeen, the sixteen, seventeen. The clip of it is up on Corrupted Nation. The first, I called it the first puke of two thousand eighteen. So I want to start by saying Happy New Year to everybody, and that I might be live in a few. Um, I might be live with Justin Bailey in a few. I don't know. That depends if he passes out. Maybe I won't be live. God damn it! You gotta get your mic back. New Year, everybody! I want to wish Tommy's very the excited. Happiest of New Years. Happy New hey, Year. everybody. Thank you so much for making this the most awesome year ever. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's midnight. Hell yeah. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank Happy New Year. Thank you so much. <laughs> Tommy NC 2010. Happy New Year. Isn't this where you put there you go. Pour yourself him? another one. Pour, have another one, baby. Drinking by yourself on New Year's. That's what I've done. I've D done that. D Serrano. <laughs> Di Serrano, what? He shouldn't even be throwing oh. up off of Di Serrano. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh, he shouldn't. Oh God! He should hear that? <laughs> oh God! Tommy. There he goes. He threw up. Oh, he's got a box. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! He fucking took oh. it like a G. Jesus Christ, this is what Tommy! <sighs> Oh my God, man! He looks like he's gonna pass out. Remember this? His mother calls him. He's gonna call. He's gonna call. Oh hey, yeah! Mom. And he's like, "Hello, hey, mom." mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> Hi, mom. I'm huh? I'm throwing up, mom. I'm puking. No, I'm uh, I'm doing a show right now. <laughs> I'm doing a throw up show. <laughs> Happy New Year to you, mom. Huh? Happy New Year to you, old man. Happy New Year, Dad. I'm throwing up. At least he's all right now. Thank you. Thanks. Old oh, man. Jesus. It's in 2018. Happy New you. Oh. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm, yeah, okay. I'm all right. Happy New Year. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> He's getting a subscriber now! <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh god, god, Tommy. Tommy, you kill me, bro. You kill me, Tommy. You fucking kill me, Tommy. Folks, I believe this might be the first puke of 2018. Oh hi, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Oh! <laughs> oh this is... <laughs> this man is gold. That was the uh, f yeah. I believe it was possibly the first puke of 2018. I don't think anybody could have beaten that. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! When that came hey, out, like shit. Mom, you want to bet, bro? I'll fucking puke right now. That's gonna really? be fucking go. It'll He's go beyond gonna time. Puke. 
I'm gonna puke. Yeah. You no, I puke every every morning, dude. Do you ever have allergies and you fucking like puke mucus? No. Well, well then I'm fucking I'm dying. I mean, I've got allergies like crazy right now and things like that, but I haven't. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've coughed and had yeah some mucus. Oh, you mother! Yeah, I yawn now. Well, I'm loaded, bro. I'm on fucking. Yeah, no. I, no, and I, you know I, what? I, I down coffee and I'm drinking and I'm coffee. I'm just. I should be dead. I should be asleep right now. But I'm. I'm like a zombie, like awake right now. I'm corpsing, bro. But, uh, it's it's cause it's cause tonight. You got you got DJ you got, got us tonight, falling bro. in love tonight again. Yeah. Oh, bro, bro, you don't. Oh. I hear that song all the goddamn time. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Why every fucking day? Yeah. I go down the fucking street and I go to a bar mm-hmm. and you hear this stupid ass. That's fucking still being song. played. That's I mean, five, that's like two thousand seven, eight, nine. If you have regulars at a bar, they don't fucking go anywhere. Mm. I'm down. So they're they'll be there for twenty five years just singing the same songs. Huh. Today today I had to fucking deal with nothing but country songs and old songs and go, bitch, somebody fucking stop being a fucking goddamn sad ass fucking bitch and fucking start playing closing time already. <laughs> <laughs> to get everybody out of you there. You might as well. Yeah, to get the fuck out of here because I'm tired of this shit. I was like, I, I don't have money to like, I I, I don't want to spend money on um mm. on a on, on the fucking karaoke box. So I fucking I have my headphones on at the bar all yeah. the time, and it's like oh, there's free free music right here. I'll fucking shut everybody. Looks out. like shit. my little Whoa. ass needs and then shape. girls come to you. <laughs> I miss the years when whites were feared and white power was the thing we praised. I thought Jesus. civil rights was going to be a phase, but they get freer and freer, and I don't know what to say. <laughs> Want to segregate from these nappy hoes split light and Aww. dark like wash and clothes. Good God. Wait, wait, wait. Long, Long uh, Beach Griffey song. Can I, can I ask you, is nappy a word now? Well, I use it like I'm tired, like I'm going to take a nappy. Like I say that. Okay, so I I say my fucking hair gets nappy. Mm. Yeah, I say I get nappy. It so it gets ta- my hair gets tangled when I lay down. Well, okay, yeah, so because I, I I have really thick hair, so it's like, ooh, is this gonna be a fucking derogatory term now? Like, what's going on? If anything, it should be buckshots. That but um, but uh, if it was buckshots, uh, the fucking the mother. Will fucking slap the shit out of your soul. Buckshot lariat. Fucking... Yeah. I'll give you a buckshot lariat. Right to your fucking yeah. head. How is that, boy? Just imagine this, this, this fucking, this fucking, this old fucking, like, you know, African American lady fucking putting on her fucking good damn wig on and she's like, I just spent $45,000 on this shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> My fucking kid just pissed in it. Oh my I'm a God. buckshot Larry, my kid. <laughs> Jesus. That would be awesome, dude. I've seen videos of fucking people slapping the fuck out of, like, you know, when you see, like, families fucking checking other family members. Yeah. Shit is fucking hilarious. Yo, baby, you like Skittles. Even but the best one, the best one that I think I saw, Joe, I don't think you've seen this one. I don't I hope you've seen this. I hope you've seen it. Where that fucking dude did a fucking Ric Flair chop. He kisses his hand and fucking does a Ric Flair chop. And the guy fucking lands on a fucking, uh, do you know what a, like a, like those Dairy Queen benches are? You know, like a, like a really thin mm. bench. His back breaks over it. He's like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, dude, I got to send you this fucking thing. If you've not seen this, I got to send you this thing. You should have some ice cream after. Huh. No, bro. They didn't have ice cream. That fucking dude. They all probably wanted to chill after this. Blizzard. It was a huge ass fight. A a blizzard? No, hell no. Playoff. Jerry Queen Blizzard. Play on. But no, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you this shit, dude. This shit is fucking stupid, hilarious. Mm. Uh, only the Red Sox could lose like they did today. Oh God. What? 
Wait, what, what, what happened with the Red Sox? They were no hit, and then through nine innings, and then they get to the 10th, take the lead, and blow it in the bottom of the 10th. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, listen, God. as long as you get rid of the no hitter, you know, when's oh, the, awesome. when I don't believe the Red Sox have been no hit in forever. Look that up. I don't remember. When was the last time the Red Sox were in no hit? Like it's been a long time, probably. I I don't remember. I mean, if I, I wish there was Alexa down here, I'd probably just say it and she'd tell me. I know that. I know that. I remember Derek Lowe's no hitter on the Red Sox that he threw. Yeah. He met his wife in Jacksonville. That's Derek last Lowe. Time. Yeah, yeah. Long ass time. That was a long yeah. time ago. And I, and then I remember yeah. right before right before Derek Lowe Hideo and no, Hideo Nomo threw a, a no hitter for the Red Sox. And I'm pretty sure there's been a few since then. I just don't remember the new guys that did it recently. Somebody Last probably... one was in 2018, uh, Sean Manaya wow. for Oakland. For the and Red Sox? Cool. Wait, what? The last one was 2018, Boston against Oakland. They lost in Oakland. Oh, my God. Sean Manaya. Oh, so we got no hit then. So, no, that's way sooner. I, I, I don't even remember. remember yeah. I don't remember that. The time before that was 93 and then 83, so yeah. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. I didn't remember the 2018 one because I really wasn't watching a lot then. And, yeah, so that would mean 93 would be the last time I remember one. So that, that makes sense. Yeah. So they, they have been no hit, but, yeah. 93 is – I was thinking, like, the, the 70s, but that's fine, yeah. It just feels like they never – the Red Sox don't get no hit a lot. One in eight, you know, one in what thirty something like nineteen ninety three, two thousand eighteen. I I don't know. I mean, I wonder well, what the average of the other teams are. Probably not a lot. Twelve times. I, I, Boston's been no hit twelve times since nineteen oh one. Then the Red Sox won the next year in nineteen oh two. And I think what two thousand nineteen. I was there. I, I, I don't know. No, uh, got no hit on Fourth of July, eighty three. I Damn. wasn't alive. I wasn't alive. Thank God, Yankees. it was. Mm -hmm. It was at Yankee Stadium. Wow. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, Joe, I did send up, uh, send you that fucking um, that uh, link. Yeah, if you want to see it. Oh, I don't know. Here if... we go, Joe. Last time Boston was no hit at Fenway was 1958. Damn! Jeez. Oh my oh, god! Fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. Dude, like, dude, that's, that oh is, my dude, my mother was three. Wow. Dude, my that's my, my grandparents were probably just born. That was like sixty eight years ago. Uh -huh. dude, that's fucking crazy. And they, they never did anything since then. That's fucking No, weird. they've gotten no hit, no, but at only Boston. in in Fenway. Fen yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. And when's the last no hitter thrown at Fenway? Is that a, is that <clears throat> is that Derek Lowe or is that somebody else? Oh, I can look that up. We'll just have Pico look up all the stats. We got the stat man here. <laughs> yeah, I can so do that. This is what I need. Um, but yeah, I wonder if I remember I saw Derek Lowe at um, I used to see him at Dunkin' Donuts near Marina Bay in Quincy oh, all the time. Awesome. He was cool. Oh, that, guy, that guy was a fucking real pro like that was one of the realest people I ever seen. Like he was just like, oh, Tom oh. Tom Brady used to be in there too, and then you never saw him again after like oh three. Huh. The last one at Fenway by Boston was uh, John Lester in oh eight. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. John oh Lester. my god, dude! I'm looking at this video and I'm just like, Jesus Christ, this video is getting pretty good. Before that was Buckles. Oh, oh shit! I never paid. Clay Buckholds threw one, huh? Remember buttholes? Yeah. I used to call them buttholes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clay buttholes. I want to say is I never I don't pay attention to how politics are in baseball, but why is it that like pitching and it's only pitching and home runs to get the most out of everything? It's That's nothing cool. about. Yeah. It's nothing about fucking anything else. You mean the yeah. two the two major things in the whole sport like. Yeah, well, I mean, to me, just what I'm saying, yeah. like, what, what, okay, so, so when, when, uh, somebody, what about when somebody fucking, uh, hits a ball mm. and they fucking, uh, they get it, they get them out at first and they keep, they keep doing this forever and ever and ever. Does that get counted as something or are we just going to ignore it? Well, would you, are I've you seen... talking about from the pitcher's standpoint? 
No, from the first uh, first baseman. Sammy. Oh, first baseman. Well, you're talking about errors then, because what how they judge the fielder is by errors usually. So if the if the base, okay. yeah, if the and first base gets it rough, but like so, like if the third baseman throws a shitty throw to first, and first. the first baseman doesn't make the play, the error actually goes to the third baseman. So I would say yeah. first base, right field, and uh, second stop get it the worst. Because none of that shit fucking matters. Second base second or stop. shortstop? New no, second stop. Shortstop? After f- <laughs> shortstop, sorry. Short, no, shortstop. Second so, stop? What the fuck is that? It's, a, it's between... It's next to, it's yeah. next to short oh, base. Second, <laughs> second stop is where, where, where <laughs> they fucking start, when they fucking start fucking getting closer and they fucking start smoking weed together. And the fucking <laughs> and they start jerking off like you do. You oh, dude, why not? I love you. I'd fuck your whole... But no, um, yeah, so if you have less errors, then you're like, okay, that guy's... And, and, you know, I think fielding is also judged... Obviously, it's on errors, but it's also judged a lot on... Like, it's one of the, the positions... It's one of the things in baseball that you do look at eyeball more than anything else. Like, hitting and pitching, you just look at the numbers mostly. But you also can look at situations. Like, you can look at clutch, right? You can, like, David Ortiz was crazy clutch. Oh, yeah. Like for some reason, oh, man, yeah. when the shit was up against it, yeah. he got better. It's like so. I had a, I had a, I had a coach to tell me he literally fucking kicked us out because he kept telling us that baseball is the most technical sport out there, and I go, well, skateboarding is a really technical sport. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're not accurate, you're dead. Yeah. And you're doing yeah. something yeah, else. You know what he's and talking he, about? He, he means we, analytical. We kept... He meant analytical. That's what he meant. So yes. So we were fucking we, we all got into this huge fight about blah 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 and who's who's fucking it's like it's arguing it's over white people sports. It, yes, it was like it was like he was like it's <laughs> eye and cord it's eye coordination. And I was like, Yeah, well fucking skateboard is eye coordination with feet coordination and balancing. That seems like it's more difficult than baseball, yeah. sir. Oh, he fucking hated everything. He was just like, uh-huh. you're out of here. You're out of here. You're out okay. of here. You're out. I fucking went to detention for two weeks for this fucking goddamn argument. Jeez. Here's the thing. Check this out, Joe. Yes. Babe Ruth started a game in 1917 for Boston. He got ejected for arguing balls and strikes on the first batter. Then a guy came in and pitched nine inning no hitter after. Dave, 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 Babe Ruth was the shittiest yeah, fucking guy. Right. He wasn't even. He wasn't even looking. He he wasn't even the top pick. The top picks Babe were Ruth done. Would eat a hot dog and fuck a whore and hit a grand slam at the yeah. same time. He, <laughs> had, he had to. He had to. He had to fucking grind through fucking Boston, though. And that's how Boston treats people. They want you to fucking be the best, the best, the best, the best. The best. <laughs> Got it. Honestly, at that time, yes. But the guy fucking had it easy when he went to fucking Yankee Stadium and fucking just started pointing out his fucking goddamn fucking hits. Great. Yeah. He was I mean, doing that here. He was doing that in fucking Boston too. It's just not as reported. What the hell yeah. are you talking about? I think Gargut's uh I think Gargut's is right. I mean we Bruce. should I think we should send Gargut's back in time to like fight Babe Ruth. <laughs> Oh, dude, uh, would it be John Goodman or would it be fucking, uh, no. what's his name? I mean, the, let's Ruth. make it the real Babe Ruth. You, we send you back in time to beat up Babe Ruth. And for some reason, you call him a slave owner, even though he's not. Just when you get yeah. back in time, be like, fuck you, slave owner. And then he's like, what the oh, fuck? He, he, is definitely, he is definitely owning some kind of slaves. I mean, did you see his movie with John Goodman? I, d- I did a couple yeah, times, but slave. he is crazy. I haven't seen that movie since ni- maybe 1996. I'm serious. Yeah. Look at it. Look at it again. You like bad. holy shit. You don't no, look at it again. You like there is scenes in there. You're like this should not be. Here. You awesome. know. You know who looked more like him. I mean, I always thought John Goodman like didn't really fit like in a way. You know who I thought looked more like him though was uh, in the Sandlot. The guy that plays him in the dream. Yeah, yeah, Dan. Dan. It was uh, his name was. Um... He he's uh, but that guy's like Native American background, isn't he? Dan, Dan yeah, Dan. Oh, fuck, what's his name? 
I don't remember, uh, but I know that. Do, do, I think that guy is like Indian, like our Native American back. Like, yeah, he's 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 the guy. If you ever if you ever seen um, like where he plays God in that movie, it's yes. him. Yeah, oh, I forget I, with fucking Greg Kiner. God damn it! What the fuck was that? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That guy, he was great as fucking. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about was it Sandlot or was it the other one? I'm with just John thinking Goodman. of Sandlot. With Sandlot. Where is, he's in Sandlot. There. Because he says, he says, uh, heroes never die, but legends live forever. Yeah, that's the Sandlot. Like, yeah. It's like, damn. If legends live forever, why the fuck do I don't, do not know your name? Juan Incarnacion. <laughs> legends don't live funny. forever. Remember Juan? Joe, do you live near Braintree? Yeah, I used to. I used to live in Quincy right near it. Uh, there's a, there's got, uh, Big Poppy's coming. Clemens is coming. Bobby what? Orr. Yeah. Wow. Doing Why? Show, signing autographs. Oh, he man. misses. It. Yeah, I don't live. I, that's where I used to live. Like, I used to live uh, right. I mean, well, so, dude, John Quincy Adams and all the presidents, right? When they when they named Quincy after them, they they changed. They took a part of Braintree. So, like, they were really from Braintree. But they, they renamed the area Quincy. So, John Quincy Adams was really from Braintree, but they did, did they do that because show. did they do that because they had slaves in their fucking past I, life or what i don't know but I, I what i do know is that john quincy adams and them they they hated slave like have like slavery so i i don't know but i know that they hate they were very against slavery hey, did you ever did you ever did you find the fucking thing that i sent you dude you gotta see this fucking chop i'm gonna really? say you really need Rico to see Petr this chop. coming to newburyport Okay, rel oh, rel relax, Pico. I'm not gonna go meet the guy. Come on, Jesus Christ! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rico uh, Petroselli. Let's go. And imagine. Kane. Oh, and, Kane and Kane is coming. Is coming. Why is Kane yeah. coming? He's, he's like, I'm gonna like, come on, what? stop it, liberal. Not with the players. Um, mm. it's at that same place that all those, the Hardy Boys were at. Oh, I got you. What Epstein Island? God. <laughs> I think uh, this, this fucking goddamn chop, he kisses his fucking hand and fucking slaps the shit out of this guy that he fucking his back goes on the back end of a fucking seat and he breaks it <laughs> and he just falls down. It's the best fucking goddamn chop I've I've seen in a minute. Like since like because it's a it's a real chop, but at the same time, it's like every chop is a real chop. This guy, he didn't even sell it. The motherfucker fucking died. <laughs> <on that chop. laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you when you when you get a chop, you don't fucking you don't tense up, right? At all. Oh, you don't, hockey if you, players dying. If you, if you tense up, you're you're done. Oh. Two weeks. Two two of the greatest hockey players died in the last. Two right. Weeks. Yeah, that's crazy. Wait, what? Who was it? Fucking Guy Lafleur and Mike Boss. Mike Boss, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, I thought I was. I thought York I was guys. Remember, remember uh, MVP baseball? Look, there's Junebug. Yeah, Good stop. Yeah, Junebug is gonna put away the Yankees yeah. in a, and then he's gonna disappear. Extremely oh, strikes out Canadian bitch. <laughs> Wasn't Canadian oh, bitch? My God. Uh, oh my God! Wasn't Canadian bitch shell? <laughs> oh look at yeah. look at this one. They're looking pretty bad. Oh, it's kind of the cut. Rock. Then, to, it was bitch who was the cut? Who was someone else? Someone because anybody could name their own players. And I remember somebody named their player like Debe's yeah. wet cunt or something like that. <laughs> what year was this? This is MVP Baseball 2005, and it was the year May 2020 when I did it. Oh, <laughs> cunt great. nugget. Courtesy of JD Venom, I like his brother. Cunt nugget in 2020. And cunt nugget. This out. game is still one of the. This is just one of the best baseball right. games ever made. Like this, it's unreal. Yeah, it's the best ever. Look, this game was so. This game is fun. If you've never played it, it's. I mean, the only thing that's never, weird is never. the. The weird thing about it is all the old players. Like if you didn't watch, like if you watch yeah. baseball in 04, <laughs> 05. five, like dude, Bernie Williams is fucking playing. Like we're, like, we're never. Playing. I've never. I honestly, honestly, I don't play video games though. But I, I, you guys make me want to play video games. Yeah. Like get a goddamn game system. I, I'm just used to fucking playing Genesis and old PlayStation, PlayStation One and Two. 
That's it. PlayStation Three. Yeah, well, this was it. on this was on yeah, PS Two. This was on Xbox. Oh, was on... Yeah, it was on Xbox this and PS Two. Oh, oh my God! Did you? Hell yeah! You just showed me something that I didn't know. Because I don't play fucking uh, <laughs> sports games. It's like the only sports games I played was like Blitz. Yeah. That's it. Oh, no, that and oh, who can forget NBA hoops? God oh damn it. man, street hoops or whatever. Uh, uh, street, NBA, no, was, Jam. NBA the NBA hoops was uh um, Jam. Oh, I'm NBA talking about the Jam, one that was yeah. Kobe on sixty four. Kobe. Double dribble. Oh Is that wow. double dribble. Double dribble, man. That's some that's, know, that's Nintendo. That's going back no, to that's Nintendo. Not double right? dribble. That's okay. Fuck that. I I, I go. Dude, back do you to remember how fun double dribble from the Nintendo yeah. 1990 was? Like or whatever that was. That was awesome. Jordan versus. Yeah, I had I had David Robinson's fucking goddamn game because he's San Antonio. David mm. Robinson's basketball. And if you remember this, it was the shittiest fucking video game in the world. When you fucking go from court to court, half court to court, it would load. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Just like when you like you stole the ball and then you started running up the court and when you hit and half I was like, court. Oh. And I was like, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna load. Oh, man. What the fuck is going on? It, it would load after I fucking go uh, past you ever half look court. At, you ever look at David Robinson's hands, man? They're fucking gigantic. Like his fucking hands. I've seen the guy at least four times in my lifetime. What? Like a guy, I've seen him four times in my lifetime. His hands are fucking. They get it. They get older and older and older. But at the same time, <laughs> you can get older and older. Yeah, we all get older and older. Time, yeah. But at the same time, but at the same time, <laughs> when he fucking when he turns up his hand palm, it looks like the same hand palm that he has on every oh fucking God. picture. And I was like, oh yeah. no! So he's getting older and older on the, on the outside, that. and then right here it looks the same. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stuff, I was gonna That's go. why they say that black don't <laughs> crack, and I was like, black will do crack. Black, the fuck crack. Crack. <laughs> black God, will, did you just say black will do crack? Black <laughs> what the fuck is God damn it? Uh, <laughs> black lives matter and crack pipe shatter. Oh, oh, do crack. God, those black black crack. will do crack. <laughs> black 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 crack. Oh my God. Oh it happened. God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying not to laugh because I'll go into like a I'll go into a coughing fit if I start laughing. Oh yeah. no. I, I'm 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 surprised you haven't seen the fucking goddamn slap that I'm trying to show you. Come on. Is this show thing up in the slap. is this the Discord thing you sent me? No, I sent it into the FB. Oh no. Oh, I can't do it there? Okay. I, no. I, I, I you. Oh, I, you. I just gotta open up my Facebook, that's all. Hold on. Yeah, this slap, dude, you're gonna love it, dude. This guy fucking yeah, kisses his it. fucking hand and slaps the. F he chops the. F he Ric Flair chops the fuck out of this guy, and that was it. I was like, I I watch this shit like two hundred times a day. <laughs> like Jay oh, we sh I've shown this on the show before. I know this one. You shown this? Oh, you shown this? Yeah. Yeah, we played we played this. Somebody sent it to us from a show one night. This guy winds up like Bro. Uh, <laughs> next time somebody's like, This wrestling shit's fake with these chops, bro. Like whatever, like just you just uh, show him this. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Dude, this guy sells it so bad that he almost decapitates himself across the back of this bench. By the way, could there have been any worse type of booth to fall backwards onto than this? Like a padded, any padded booth, anything would be better than these pinchy fucking. Rewind that. He kisses. He kisses. He kisses his fucking hand yeah, before I, he hits him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking boom. <laughs> Dude, dude. Then he reacts. He reacts like he just threw a strike in bowling. Why? Yeah. Yeah, he's, dude, like, he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Hey, look, at the, look, at look at his step. friend. His friend does not even look back. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. 
Dude, did you see the skip in his step? Watch his feet as he skips away. Dude, he almost he almost doesn't walk. He almost levitates. He's that impressed with himself. Watch He's that enthusiastic. He's like, but <laughs> <laughs> he looks like one of those things Bailey had out the ring, you know, that flop around them big Yeah. Thing with jigs. Oh yeah, oh big tits. Dude, the funny thing is that that guy was trying to help another guy. <laughs> and he got sworn. after tacos. Have you ever seen a fatality due to a chop? Like, I mean, finish him. He kissed oh. him. <laughs> right. KO. Dude, he so, look, he goes after he goes after this guy, and he's like, "Oh, I'm trying to help this guy." Oh no, never I like, mind. Do you like I, how the I'm trapped? Don't you like how the big I'm guy trapped. realizes, like, "All right, I can't beat up this little guy. I'm way too big." So, the, all right, yeah, all yeah. right, I, I got him. I got him. I'm, I'm, got, I'm, not, I got, I got I'm, I'm, I'm close to his height. I'm his. I'm, <laughs> I'm brown skin too. <laughs> Boom. Oh. <God. laughs> Go back, go back, go back. Dude. When he fucking kisses this, he goes, oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yeah. Go back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh, yeah. You never met anybody like me, Hernandez. Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, <laughs> the guy was so gay that he slapped him so hard that it fucking went down. That was some Chief J Strongbow shit right there. Yeah. yeah that was out of WrestleMania fucking one. <laughs> He gave him the gay slap. He goes, "Dude, I don't know why, but the but after that video just played, for some reason Facebook <laughs> Facebook is recommending this video and started auto playing this." <laughs> now, I I don't what the hell is this? <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, are, we, are we watching the band They're called beating. Gorillas? Look at this. Look at this. They're beating the shit out of each other. Can you, can you play mean, a cover of the Gorillas? I can't tell song? which one's or, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Look at the this. Clint Eastwood one? Yeah. That, that, so I'm gonna I, I don't really remember. Uh, I don't remember this Bulls championship, but I think that one's Rodman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Somebody wrote that in the comments. You know what's funny is I ripped that. Yeah. You know what's you know what's crazy? Well, but you know what's crazy about them writing that in the comments? That's their Facebook picture. Like they're gonna, like they're gonna, be, a, they're in trouble. Is that a fucking a promotion for the gorillas? Fucking um, band? Fucking tour coming up? Because you know when, we're not happy. When you, when you, we're kicking ass. <laughs> 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 We're eating it. We're gonna get dying. And we're anyway, and we're saving us up. Oh, what it is? is oh my God! What it is is that they're called a band of gorillas in there. Whoa! Um, what are you saying right now, Gargots? These yeah, guys. These are two crazy. guys fighting. They're band of gorillas oh. right here. No, what the? Knocking each other. Oh, out. you're talking about the band of exactly. uh, the band gorillas. No, okay. So, uh, gorillas, gorillas, a bunch of gorillas in a fucking group are called a band. Whoa. And then you got the band okay. called Gorillas. Oh, okay. And I'm just like, hey. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that band, by the way? They're back on tour. Oh, they are. They're gonna they're gonna be in Vegas, and my homies are going to that. And I'm just like, you. Like, they're like, you want to come to it? I was like, nope, nope. I'm like, right. I'm not gonna. Yeah, they are from Blair. And um, all my uh, homies is going to the party. Dude, honestly, that was the fucking that was the jam of fucking the nineties. Mm -hmm. We all know that that one. Words. That one, and I think, um, um, uh, uh, Smashing Pumpkin. And then you had, of course, you had fucking Nine Inch Nails and fucking Marilyn Manson, fucking doing their weird ass shit, and a million other songs, dude. Seriously, every fucking goddamn fucking mm. what two years you would see they have how many albums though? The fuck, especially with nine cells. Oh. When they would fucking have it, when they would have fucking uh, one album out, they would have 12 albums. <laughs> you should and do an album of just you going boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Oh, boop, 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 boop. 
Better than Creed. I don't know. I'm just doing whatever I'm doing. Has anyone ever anyway. seen this glitch in the UFC game? I want this to happen to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, 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 this is going to be Bang tough. Ruth. Babe, Ruth. Babe Ruth. All the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably getting. That's Babe Ruth. If that motherfucker can hit a white ball, he can hit a black ball. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to go Babe Ruth against anybody as well. Like, But I will say that I bet you Rosa Parks can take a fucking beating. I will say that. Yeah. She hit him with her purse. Rosa Parks was kind of hot. I'd say, I'd say for determination. I'm serious. Like uh, she, she, and she, she, she kind of looks like AOC a little bit. If for determination, she'll get hit first, mm -hmm. and then, <laughs> and then everybody else gets hit after. Her. And then Martin Luther King interferes with the chair. She's like, "No, sir, you whip me first now." Rosa Parks eventually would go on to look horrific, but at first she was very hot. You know what the fuck. I don't see how you see that, but hey, I'm you know drunk, Jackie so Robinson's wife is still that. alive at ninety nine. Fuck, <laughs> really? Yeah, Jackie Robinson, his wife, his widow, is still alive. Hmm. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I don't know, uh, man. I I think there's something about Rosa Parks that's kind of hmm. hot. Like I don't know. Like, and I mean, I think when she did the whole bus incident, she was already like what forty or something. I think like you're 30, thinking of Thunder Rosa. That's what's in your head. Thunder Rosa Parks. <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe that's it. But uh, here it is. This is Rosa Parks right here. She, she was like 27. Oh, really? She was 27? I thought so. She looks she like was... Gandhi. What? Something kind of hot looks... about her, man. I'm telling you. She looks like she's got a fucking thing over her nose that fucking makes her sleep better. But then there's other pictures of her where she looks kind of fucking awful. So like, I, I, it's hard to tell. She's weird, man. What One minute she call, looks man? gross, another minute she looks kind of hot. I mean, it's called a phono Monet. Remember Seinfeld told you about this? Oh yeah, That's yeah. It's uh, they look fine from afar, fine, and when they get, I'm and then they get up close and they fucking look like death. <laughs> oh shit! Mm. Rosa Rosa Parks was a. I'm telling you, man. I don't know. It's weird. Yo, Rosa, would it you pick like Rosa? Death now. Okay, so so mm. Rosa Parks or Rosie Perez? Which one? Rosie. Rosie. As long as she shut up. Why don't you sit in the back of the bus, you piece you, of she's, shit? She, Rosie Perez is never going to shut up. Look at her fucking ethnicity. Dude, I can't believe Rosa Parks was alive. Like, when, like, not, you know what I mean? Like, Bill Clinton was president. I didn't even know Rosa Parks was alive then. I thought she was dead. She was, um, she did her thing, and when she died, they fucking, so when I go on a bus now, they fucking have a fucking stupid ass Rosa Parks sat here. Yeah. See, wait, colored. Wait, in the, on the actual bus or like on every bus? I was like, I was every bus, and I was just what? like. Where? Are you serious? I'm, I'm just like. I'm in Texas, and I was like, "Bro, this bitch wasn't even fucking from here." She married a bus driver. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit?" I was like, "Now, no, every every time I see somebody fucking sit in the seat, they're never, mm. their bag is." Hey, what do you think about that? They're kind of going with that sort of era. In well, you ever seen um, Umbrella Academy? They're going with that sort of storyline. Oh, dude, I love Umbrella Academy. I haven't seen the last, the the latest ones, but I love the love first two, uh, the first two seasons. Mm -hmm. Fucking great! I didn't think I would like it. I, I don't think, I don't think I the third third season isn't out yet. I don't think. Okay, it's on. Oh wow, it's been I don't two think years. So. Yeah, dude, it's been a while. 
Well, they got to figure out how to get Ellen Page to look like a girl again in the movie, right? Because now she's a boy. Which I mean, she you can just recast her. Isn't she too busy going around telling everybody Chris Pratt is a racist? I'm just gonna say this: if if she's doing what she's doing, hey, cut her off. Well, it is. That's how Hollywood is. Why is Hollywood doing that shit for them motherfuckers? Mm-hmm. Oh, because there's too much fucking goddamn SJW shit going on. That's why. So Hollywood is yeah. literally fucking a fucking. It's it's a treasure troll, tr- uh, of a uh, of a uh, basically. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's, it, it's got it's got nothing well, going for it. Hey, listen, I, you got to keep things fresh. I, I mean. I could see some some fucking uh, seasons coming out that are not from them, but um, mm-hmm. you know, I uh, from s- certain series like Moon Knight. I've been watching Moon Knight, but then even there, I'm just like, mm. here we go. Well, Who's listen. Oh, yeah, it's all dude. it's all fucking SJW shit, huh? Yeah, I just I I it's not SJW oh, shit yeah. all the way. It's just like there's elements of it. Yeah, and you're like, oh. Like, well, trickle down, trickle down, throw it down, throw it down. Like, I understand. That's how you're going to fucking uh, deal with this. But it's like, bro, Disney, you're a fucking goddamn Nazi company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just fucking run over people. A Nazi I'll company calling over. people Nazis. You want exactly. Listen, this is how bored I am, Garguts. I've had so much sex with my wife, and I've watched so much yeah. porn. Did you? Well, yeah, the, at this point, dude, the only way that I can jerk off is I, and this is why I was bringing up Rosa Parks. I have a new fetish. It's I I look up hot women, hot black women from the 1950s. Like oh, I, nice. Okay. Yeah. So when you when hey, you're doing um, that, like, right in your face. So, oh, so, so, been reduced. so <laughs> when you're doing that, um, yeah. is Oprah a part of them? Yeah, maybe like a 20 year old Oprah. I could slide that in. Probably. Yeah, she's probably good looking right. then, right? But you're gonna be talking about the one members that I know about you. It's gonna be the- yeah. Like I'm no, I, I'm just saying that I'm like I'm really into 1950s and 1960s black women because it's so that. different. You know why? You know why? Because why is that? because if you're into black women in 1950s and you're not into any women by now? All right. There's a difference. Well, I got this fantasy that I'm in Texas. I'm in Dallas, Texas or somewhere. No, I'm in, you know, some very weird area. It's like 1948 or 1950, right? And, you know, one of these cute, beautiful uh, Motown, pre, pre-Motown pre women is in there. And people are kind of being mean to them, you know, and they're kind of, they're kind of looking at them weird. And, you know, the, the, girl's, the girl's quiet and I say to her, you know, hey... What's wrong? And then they go, well, nothing really. And I'm like, no, come on, something's wrong. And then she's like, I'm thirsty. And I'm like, just, well, why don't you have a drink? You know, there's a water fountain right there. And then she like looks and she kind of looks at the and above it. And I'm like, oh yeah, it says whites only. And then I just say, I just say, you know what? You know, it's okay. Fuck everybody. You know, it's all right. I won't. You know, I'll, you, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And she's like, but I can't do it. And I'm like, listen, well, it doesn't matter. So then she starts drinking out of the fountain. And then some guy comes over and he's like, listen, here you. And he calls her the bad word. And then I, and then I go, oh, yeah, you don't talk that way to my wife. And he goes, you're married to this. Fuck. And then I go, yeah, you're fucking right. And then I beat the shit out of him. And then his friend comes over and I fuck him up. And then everybody else is like, oh, shit. And then they just kind of watching. Oh. And then I have sex with her right on the water fountain. And I start fucking in front of everybody. And we're fucking banging and slamming and crazy. And all these people like are just like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> so you virtue signal in your own face. It's not in your own face. This is what you do. <laughs> you virtue signaling faggot. God damn it, dude. I already knew that, dude. You oh, fucking want <laughs> he, he goes, he goes, this is my dream of America. My fucking wife fucks me and cheats on me, and then I fuck everybody. Oh my god. Joe, are you? Joe, Joe's a white savior in his own fucking I'm the Joe's I'm the got, ultimate Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Joe's already got the red. Joe's already got the red hood on top of his head. 
<laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> this is like very similar. Coincidentally, Hunter Biden has similar fantasies. Oh my oh god. You know, it's funny. Like back in the day, there was a fucking movie called uh was it villainy of or was it villain villain of virtue mm. and it was uh 1993 and it was supposed oh. to be this huge ass thing that was gonna be the next fucking the next big ass fucking uh sci-fi thing and it only went one oh. fucking movie that's mm. it nobody wants to pick it up what was it virtue uh, villain oh, of virtue. I never saw I, it. I believe. No, uh, I've never heard of it. Okay. You want to get virtuous with me, motherfucker? By the way, um, yeah. be, we. I just want to really quickly throw out. I haven't yes, mentioned sir. this in a while. We are live. It's beat the clock. I started the show much later than I anticipated because of work. Sorry about that. But we are four hours and twenty-two minutes into the show. Largest donation was from Drew Bar. Three hundred dollars, and then a couple from other people too. They kept the show going. We have an hour and eighteen minutes left, and uh, Gargots and Really Mysterious are in a race against each other to see who becomes the digital JCS champion. Gargots is winning three hundred three to Really Mysterious is sixty two. Donation link is in the chat up above, pinned to the top, and now we can continue. That's the first time I think I've really mentioned that the whole show. And Gargots is. I'm drinking, but it's just making me more tired. Garguts is on crack, and it's making him more illegal. Dude, I am fucking on uh, drugs. You're on drugs. <laughs> no yes, right. the 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 legal ones called uh, Tylenol. Oh, and huh. fucking ibuprofen. I was like, because I was fucking hurting earlier. Like I said, I fucking I thought I was gonna fucking I thought my fucking. Ache. Uh, my appendix exploded. I have not got my appendix. Yeah, have no, I, I, I'm i with you, dude. I thought something was wrong with me yesterday, too. It's so weird that you had that same sort of thing. Yeah, I thought I was going to, I was like, I'm, I Maybe even. It's like a fucking sympathy pain. Like, you know, like when you're yeah. pregnant, you fucking no. feel it. It's like so simple. Me and Gargus are on the same fucking thing. Cycle. Hey, right? hey we're Gargus. We're the same cycle. We're fucking, hey, we're bleeding. Do you remember this? We're bleeding <laughs> Last July, Gargots, oh you remember god. this? Oh my god, don't do this. Oh, oh my god. This was last July, uh, Gargots. You did this, oh. and, 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 and this is supposed guys. to be... Oh. It's a fucking crossbow! The, the curve. No, this was just it's last year. No, this was, the, this was next to the curve. The final curve. This yeah. is next to it. So I've got, this is last year, July 7th, 2021, um, where a primal dawn yes, dropped. So I was very excited about that. Then there's one from the year before this where my daughter was with me and I dropped it and a dawn dropped. And then there was the one from two years before that, which of course was the recurve, yes. But uh, yeah, I just like me losing my mind to Diablo. Is f I haven't found anything awesome this season so oh, far. Can you can you can you clip that? Ah, uh -huh, and then you do the, the oh yeah, like you the, did today, oh, and then the oh, like and then just put it yeah, like, yeah. One big orgasm. Yeah, that would be great. That's a five. That's a good five dollar donation right there. Mm. Now you a pick of <laughs> <Fiffin's> black lady. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um. Oh wait a minute, Seriously. Joe. I just put something Yo, together. I, yes. You yes. crush real hard on black girls. And you also like Irish girls because Lee is, you know, her, yeah. she's Irish. Yep. How did you not end up with the black Irish? Dude? Like, why did you not put that shit together? <clears throat> That's true. How did that not happen? Maybe. I don't know. That's a great point. And I almost did have a, I did have a girl who kind of fits the bill, you know, like, of, of, but she was all black. So, but she had red hair. So, uh, well, there you go. See, you just need a black girl with a red weave, and you, you're like hard for days, right? But like that's all that you need to get you shit going. Bro. Yeah, I, sounds you know, like I, I, uh, I, I think that's why I like Sasha Banks because I thought Sasha Banks really reminded me of Leah. Like when I saw Sasha Banks at first, uh, I was like, you know, that reminds. We're learning a lot. We're learning a lot. Who the targets like bitches with gap teeth? And 
Mm-hmm. Joe Cronin like, jacks off the virtue signal. Yeah. Fucking so, SJW. Naomi oh, and Becky oh. Lynch combined. Some it's weird. Like I, <laughs> it's not. I, it's not that. It's just the idea. You know, it's something about the black and white photos of black and black people. Like I don't know. Like <laughs> I don't know. Like, right. Now, do you think that's your white guilt catching up to you? trying to make them more about jacking off to it. It, it could is be you possible? know what i think it is the white guilt and i think it is a weird say like it's a weird it's not okay so it's not a savior thing it's it's definitely the idea of okay so like uh, let me let me put it to you this your way version of reparations no it's not see it's not about it's not it, it's not about race i'm gonna explain this this actually makes this actually makes sense it's not about race okay. it's not about race I am somebody who gets really uncomfortable. I get uncomfortable when pe- when people are left out. So, like, if there was a party going on and there was a person outside sitting on the sidewalk, doesn't matter who they are, and I came outside to smoke or something, and then I went back in and I came out and I seen that person still, and they were, like, looking around, and, and, and then I went into the party and somebody in the party was like, oh, yeah, that guy outside, that guy's a loser, like... I'm like, why is he out there? Oh, because he's afraid to come in. He should be, and I, I would start, I would, like, I'm, I would want to go out and tell the person, why aren't you coming the party? What the fuck are you doing? Because I'm somebody that wants to bring everybody to the party. Like, I'm almost obsessed with it. I'm an annoying person. I'm the person that you are annoyed with, who's like, why aren't you drinking? Everybody's drinking, and then they're like, I just don't want to. Come on, you got to. Everybody's doing it. Like, I'm like that. Peer pressure. Everybody's got to do it. So I get uncomfortable when somebody isn't invited or when or when someone says we're not going to invite that person. Like I don't like that. I hate that. Okay. So yeah, so it's not that it's a race thing, but so like when I when I have the fantasy of like back in the day I would have been like, "Nah, fuck that. You can drink out of, you you're with every you're just like all of us. Fuck everybody." You know, it's not that I'm being like a savior to like or virtue signaler to race. It's more of that's what I would do no matter what. Like I'm I'm weirdly like that with other shit too, like with anybody. So maybe like that's why like it makes a lot of sense that you're more of a centrist because that's more I would say that's more of a left leaning side than right leaning. Yeah, I think I have a like it's genuine though. It's not like a fucking look what I do, you know. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not saying you're like putting on or just a fucking virtue show. I was just making fun of that. No, shit. No, no, I know, I know. It, it seems know. like a more more of a liberal take care of all kind of thing. I get it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's it's that exactly right. right. Exactly right. And I that's why I okay. needed a little bit more. But you know what happens is when you have a <clears throat> when you have a family though, and you have your own kids. You, you you change right. you you know you get a little more selfish like you become a little more like I have to take care yeah. of my family all my family over everything so yeah you it's weird you do change a little bit like you don't like you yeah you still want to try to do your best for everybody and try to like you know I'll, okay I'll make a few little sacrifices to for the overall cause of everybody but in the end you're really thinking about your family and that's where of course yeah that's where the and you know when people grow up in cities we've talked about this before where people are people are who are around a lot of people in a city sometimes they they are more blended into that city and when they have kids yeah they're into their kids but they're so connected to the city into the environment around them that they'll you know they're willing to sacrifice more for the for the city whereas if you're more rural area you know you work together with your town and stuff and everybody does that but you're way more fixated on your home and your family um it's just See, na- naturally that way that's weird with me like whenever i go into the city i am constantly on, like I, i'm not comfortable until i'm back out of it i can't like I'm constantly looking over my shoulder, what the fuck yeah. is going on? Who am I around? Well, I don't you, fit. You, you, yeah, you're it, used to you're used to the small yeah. fucking city life. You're not used to the big city life. Right. And, That's yeah, why. And, no, why, it, and I'm, it, I'm gonna tell you this: if I were to, if yeah. I were to go to New York or something that's bigger than me, or fucking you oh, know somewhere that fucking, fucking or, 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 or if or if yeah, or if I go to fucking Florida. <laughs> 
Or if I had to go to fucking... Um, why don't you, why don't you come to, come to Boston Boston. where our streets don't make any sense? You'll get lost in like two seconds. Bro, I don't know about oh, your yeah. fucking streets or anything, but all I know is that you got fucking the weirdest fucking shrubbery in the world. When you fucking get away from a city, it's like, am I away from a city? No, it's just shrubbery. And you're like, oh, that was oh, a yeah. city? Yeah, yeah no. You have no fucking indications of fucking cities at all. What like, I can... Just what, like, what I can tell you is Except for a sign that uh, you missed until I was eight, right? Or no, until I was nine years old, I grew up in New Hampshire. I mean, yeah. in the fucking woods, right? And like, so, uh, like, what you a fucking goddamn fucking wood boy? Or what? Yeah, I was a wood boy. A wood boy. What the fuck is well, that? Well, that's what Jeffrey Island Epstein called Island. his one. Uh, I was a wood boy, Vargas. Island wood boy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh my God! Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, but I was, you know, rural New Hampshire. I mean, it's very, it's it's very rural to me, especially. But yeah, it's it's rural. It's out there. And when I moved to Boston for a little bit, I was shocked. You know what I mean? And then when I moved to, um, you know, Quincy, it was the city. And now that I'm out here, I'm about, I'm I'm kind of out in the more rural area again. But this isn't even as rural as New Hampshire. Where I grew up in New Hampshire, it was really rural. You know, where I live right now, I, you know, I can throw a, a fucking ball 15 feet and hit a neighbor's house. But in Quincy, I threw the ball two feet and hit the neighbor's house. The neighbor's house is almost up against our house. Oh. So, yeah, I this is way better where I live right now. <laughs> I thought you were like I thought you were saying that Quincy you fucking threw a ball two feet and it hit like ninety five pedophiles. Oh god, no. There weren't a lot of That's why you moved away so quick. I got you. I right. can't deal with city traffic. That fucking stop and start bullshit. Oh, I'd yeah. fucking I would go on a shooting spree if I had to lift in that for a fucking month. I would just start opening up on people. I can't gonna be deal fucking with it. Texas Michael Douglas and fucking falling down. Got you. I came out. It, it like fucking WrestleMania weekend every fucking like even like there was so much traffic up in the Metroplex that it spilled down into like the edges of my area. And I'm like, fuck you motherfuckers, go the fuck oh, home. Like right now do not belong to it. I hate Brent, it. Right now I want to say that I'm still in the lead. Garguts 303, really mysterious. No, fuck. No, somebody's gonna fucking exactly. donate. You know, you know, you know, you know what? You know what? He needs to be 69 what? at least. Oh yeah. yeah. But uh, shit the pants or what? Oh my god, what was that? Was that Joe? No, that <laughs> wasn't me. Like shit. Joe, you look you look like you, you I, I just like had I no, I was I was actually Google mapping my old New Hampshire house as a kid. And uh, I got so much nostalgia, bro. It's in, it's insane, you know. Nineteen, you know, nineteen eighty four, nineteen eighty four to nineteen ninety four. I lived in in New Hampshire, and it's just it, it reminds me of fucking. It's so rural, dude. When I look at it, I'm like, man, it was so rural. Like I can't believe how rural it was. Joe, we're 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 about the same age. Um. Do you remember any 1980s commercials that you fucking can look at right now and be like, what the fuck were they thinking? I'd have to be watching like replays of them to, to think that. I, I can't think of something yeah. off the top of my head. I Well, that'd be, that'd be good some, for something that I was talking about. Like I said. That yeah, that's a doing. show. We could do that. Yeah. Man, I yeah. just, oh God, I can't believe how rural it was. I'm sorry. I'm just so fixated. Yeah, like, Tex was talking about rural. You talk about do, do, rural, do, Tex. Do you have, like, a, do you have video Im or, uh, uh, like, images? Because um, um, I yeah. know what you mean. I know what you mean. Because uh, when I look at fucking where I live, right, and, bro, there's images from back then. I'm like, this doesn't look the fucking same. The only thing that looks the same is the fucking building that they can fucking remodel it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, on you. you can't really, sh you can't show Google anymore on YouTube. It's like a, uh, I can show a picture of something though that I have, but you can't show Google images anymore. What? Yeah, you can't like, remember we used to like put on, you could put on like the whole, like you could go live on YouTube and like run around Google Maps, like looking at stuff. You can't do that now, I guess. It's weird. I, you know, Google's... I, it, Try to find the China Google or whatever. They they might do. It. 
The China Google? I know that doesn't matter. Yeah. It? Doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> it's it's new. It's called, it's, it's called New Google. Look at this. This was this was the street though. That was my that was <laughs> that was my street. Oh, and there's shit. there's like a house, and, oh, a house, and then there there's was, no house, and then there's a house. Right, like, they're all far away from way far away. So where where, where you're at right now, it's a fucking block. Well, they were like blocking that fucking goddamn uh, people to go through there because they're gonna work on it. Dude, it's crazy. I I I'm just. I, but when Tech says that like the the city freaks them out, I get it because. But what's weird is when I was a kid yeah. and we first moved to the city, I was freaked out by it. But as a as a you know eleven year old to a you know an eleven year old to about you know a nineteen year old. I mean, I spent so much time in the city and, and taking buses and going in that now I miss the city. Now I miss, like, hey, who's playing in Boston this week? Who's playing at the Middle East? Who's playing at whatever name the place? And I would go in, you know, all the fucking artsy fucks were out there going to see, ba you know, and I got into that. And so now I miss that. But then there's a part of me that doesn't miss that. And I would have, like, anxiety, like, I don't want to go in and do all that. Fuck that. But it was a wonderful time for 10 years when I did it, you know, and I loved it. But now it's like, oh, and Leah, my wife wants to be, if she could live in nowhere, that's where she wants to live. Nowhere land? She nowhere wants nowhere. to live wherever Texas is right now is probably where she would love that. Oh, but Leah, yeah. Leah wants to live in a fucking it's farm. Like. Isn't that funny yeah. though, Tex? Isn't that funny? My wife is like so like liberal, right. but she wants to live out oh. like, yeah. All you would all you would hear is the occasional loud pickup, a gunshot, and animal noises. It's amazing. It's it's the best therapy you can ever fucking get from if mm. if if obviously you have to be a certain type of person, but to literally just unplug from all of that shit, it's like it's another planet. It, it it's crazy. It may uh, it, it could be therapeutic, but I could also see I could also get panicked. I bet too. I bet you I would get because like you know what the biggest. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I miss the ocean oh, yeah. right now. I literally miss the ocean. It's weird. You haven't been to, what was the last time we were there? We just went um two two uh last two weeks ago when all the kids had dentist appointments. Our dentist is still in Braintree, like out right near there. See. We just talked about Braintree. And so we drove there, and then I was like, let's go to our favorite sub shop because we're never going to be out here. My mom doesn't live there anymore. You know, she moved out here near us, so we're completely gone from that area. So we went and got the sub, got the food, and then we drove down the street to the beach because the kids wanted to go. They missed the beach because my kids did you, remember going to our down the street to the beach all the time. Did you, did you go the old route and you fucking passed by the house? Yeah, we went by the house to look at it, yeah. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Is the house um, in good um, condition? Yeah, the lady. The lady actually, you know, what's funny is we lived in a pretty like white area for the area, but uh, um, the woman that bought it's a uh, black lady who's uh, um, um, something. She's like uh, a, she's like a very she's like a very She's doing a lot to the house because she's, uh, I think she has a lot of money or she has a good amount of money. She's like a big, she's an, I don't even want to say who it is, but like it's an, it's sort of a prominent person like in. Oh, no, it's, all, it's all good. The, I know. Whatever. That. But it's yeah, like, so like cool. somebody bought the house who's like got money yeah. to fix it. So it was pretty crazy. But no, no, nice people. Got and, money? Um, what are they fucking nice to sell? Well, got no, money? So we're, yeah, we're, we're changing the neighbor. What do they call it? The demographics of the neighborhood. Because when I was a kid. In Ger Germantown, which was like the little area up the corner, Germantown was full of minorities. Like, ha and then where I lived was full of like almost all white type, all white blue collar people. And like I said, there's the Asian part of town where it's all Asian people, and then it's this mix. But now everyone's kind of integrating everywhere, and it's all just a mix of everybody everywhere. So when she was moving oh, in, I was like, oh, that's funny because like it's it's so becoming this mixed area now of everybody. You kind of guys, you you became Texas. We became Texas because, yeah, because in Texas, dude, like we don't have any. Nobody. They, okay, I will go from a. Why taqueria are we becoming and, Texas? Because I will go from a taqueria to my right, okay, and I go from the, to the left, and I'll be at a fucking goddamn German place. Mm -hmm. That's and it's all fucking yes. Okay, 
Well, so, so where do you where do you think that the Hano music comes from? The Hano music comes from Mexico. Fucking no, no, it comes from fucking from Germany. Polka music mm. mixed with Spanish guitar that all came oh. here. I get it. I never thought of that. That's funny. I no, never thought of that. Well, no, that's what it is. So we are all fucking different kinds of of yeah. Uh, it's oh a mi- God, when Joe. you mix cultures yeah. collide, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. I see this was so music. funny though. Like uh, up around my neck of the woods, you you know, yeah, you you have all kinds, right? But everybody kind of sticks to their own, you know, people. You'll have your Mexican part of town. You know, the black yes, area is over yes, there. Yes, the white yes. area is over there. And everybody pretty much stays out of everybody's way. Like, mm-hmm. there's so much room to spread out. Everybody's you know, happy, lives their own life, whatever. But it's 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 kind of funny because it's like what Gargut was saying. You know, over here you have the Mexican grocery store, and like you can see town changing if you driving through that area because the buildings look a little bit different. This, that, you can see the cultural divide within a place. Yeah, because I, there's so many different influences. I can, that. But the thing is that when it, when we see all these cultures combining to each other, it becomes Texas culture. Like when you when you go go down south man dude like like from where you're because you're used to like the country country where it's like you get the fucking mainstream country we get the texas culture down here the fucking thing that fucking make texas fucking texas you got the fucking shit that Ew. was like you got the shit that was you're the, you're the working man texas after it, it happened because of this we're gonna put you in jail gargas is what we're gonna do i'm just i'm i'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna say i'm i'm telling you the truth man like i'm just saying like you better be or i'll kill you no oh, yeah <laughs> so oh my god where's that weed plant that's from, my that's my from? backyard last year that looks like fucking heaven. <laughs> it doesn't it look like, like heaven. Honestly, this is honestly, my this is dude, my backyard from last year. Dude, this looks like a fucking Hallmark card. And why the <laughs> fuck is there? A, why the fuck is there a fucking uh, an, a little house in the back? Yeah, it's my neighbor's house. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a fucking goddamn Hallmark card. You should say. Um, like this fuck, is like Joe. You, now you're dead. Fuck. Yeah. No, this yeah, all, it doesn't look like you're going to heaven. Kind of in the middle of that, that light up in the clouds there. Well, no. All you need is your face, uh, fade it through the mm-hmm. clouds and be like, "This is it. <laughs> this this is it." <laughs> well, you're done. It was just you know, <laughs> you're, you're done. It was my backyard. But that was Anyways. last year. Yo guys, you going to bed? Yeah. Exactly. Yo, guys. when someone says yo, guys, all right, yeah, yeah go get to bed, man. When I, when I when I hear it, when I say, and I fucking been hearing, it. you know, at least at least you're not yeah. snoring like fucking AJ Adams was. Oh yeah, fuck. dude, he was he was snoring like crazy. I don't know why, but the Instagram is like, look at last year. I don't know why it's telling me to look at all these pictures from last year. We're talking about it, but uh, yeah, you know, Tex. We'll get you up here in Boston. We'll get you in my backyard. And we'll just we'll cook a bunch of shit. I, I, I don't. It's gonna take a lot more than that to get Tex up here. Yeah, fuck yeah, it's gonna take me. Yeah, I would I, I would come visit, but I ain't staying too long. It's gonna take. <laughs> yeah. no, no, we we're gonna we're gonna do a fucking match. It's gonna be like who comes to Cronin to visit first, Black. and then Black. he goes up. There, I'm gonna he, need. He goes, He's gonna beat me, and he goes I'm up. Gonna my, I got a swimming nope. pool. I got a white people swimming pool. Tax. Look at this. Well, say if you okay, I'm gonna need pictures and phone numbers of women oh, that yeah. I can hang with. If you want me to come, yeah, like, I could get the, the you know, you know, get the I'm Tinder playing. going. You oh know? my god, right. that's what like I'm gonna need some hard guarantees of I'm getting laid on this way. You know? That's right. You gotta get lots of. But, uh, Please show that fucking goddamn grill again. <laughs> that well, that was the stove. That's a, and that's I want to go to a Red Sox. 
Is that? Oh, oh yeah, we could, we could definitely go to a Red Sox game. That would definitely happen. Oh. Now, where I used to live, you used to be able to see the lights of Fenway, but now where I live, we have to drive thirty five minutes. Like, I always wanted to like when they sang that uh, "Sweet Caroline" song. I always thought that was pretty cool. Like bro, the whole state, bro, bro. Like, I would want to go just yep. for that. Bro. Okay. Okay, so I have. Have you ever seen um, uh, Felipe Esparza? What? No. <laughs> Felipe, Who? so he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, this is a fucking bit. He goes, sweet Caroline. <laughs> and then everybody goes, about Obama. He goes, that's how you find the fucking white people. Oh my, oh my god that's i was gonna say dude i was gonna say tex you know the like the real south boston boston people hate that shit bro god, but like dude. all the fucking really? losers, yeah dude, dude like all the loser red that's sox right. fans yeah. they come from like yeah. new hampshire and like the the rich parts of massachusetts they're like i can't wait to get to the bro. ballpark guys we're going to fenway all the people that pretend they're from bro. boston you know oh and they get there go i can't wait for sweet caroline meanwhile the people from boston are like this fucking faggot fucking song. They fucking <laughs> like, dude. They, they, they. I'm telling you, like, so sweet Caroline. Oh, like, that's God. that's that's like lo- fr- <clears throat> frowned upon by the actual Boston people. But like dude, anybody from outside of Boston it. loves it. Yeah, Is that like weird? we have a minor league team here in my hometown, and they play that song when they. Like it, it's it's like a minor minor league. Team. Everyone There's, ripped it off, what, dude. What, what, Everyone what does city it. Checks, I bet I get the name. Yeah. Everyone does it now. Everyone ripped it off. Here's a bridge down the street for me, by the way, where I can, dude. You can catch fucking fish here and then die and eat them. Dude, that's a fucking sick. What do you? What camera are you using? Are you using a fucking? Looks like a Canon. No, it's my, it's my dude. That's my cell phone. <laughs> what well, the? F- there what? is one of. I want is to go into Boston on like a Saturday night. Get drunk in a bar, get in it like a street something. Just find some fucking yeah. drunk yeah. motherfucker and just go fuck me this fight. Man, Tex, you would have loved. Would be a good I wish I could have known. Like in 2007, it, you would have had a. We could right. Like it would have been awesome. I knew all the shit. Oh, that would have been fucking amazing. Like, I want to go to some bar or club that I, I have no business being in. Mm-hmm. Sit there at the bar, drink till I get froggy, and then wait for the first person to look at the sad one. Like that's what <laughs> I would want. Oh, that can be that no. That's fun. that's Boston is definitely <laughs> Boston is known for fights. So if you can get in a fight, like that is right. not hard to do. Oh, see, and just to piss them off, I I go kill you know you Yankee motherfucker, get your ass over here, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. Right, and then I just go go the fuck off on some Boston. Tell him you're a Trump right. fan too. Be like, I love Trump, you fucking pussy ass. I'm glad, right. and then say I'm glad right. JFK is dead. Say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there you were the second gunman on the grassy knoll. You, you, you guys. Right. <clears throat> so do, do, do you do you <laughs> think? Okay, so <laughs> yeah. do, do you know that like? Love you guys. Okay, so good night, man. Love you, bro. Have a good night. Adios. Right. Good to see you, J Rod. Have a good night, brother. Later, brother. Get wet. Oh yeah, all day, every day. But you gotta fucking see this fucking <laughs> uh Mexicans are racist too, Felipe Sparza. It's not that we're racist, <laughs> what it is, is that we fucking we are fucking we're class No, you're raceless. Classes. No, you're raceless. Classless. You're not a real we're, race. We're we're when we're, we're class is this? And it's like, dude, it's classless. how are we class? I was like, dude, I was like, dude, I why am I racist if I fucking if I fucking say, Hey, don't worry. I'll fucking get some water out of the mangueta mm-hmm. outside. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I I, I fucking drink the the, the wa- hot ass water. Don't give a fuck. Well, am I? A, but but it, it's it's going. It's going. I'm. Oh. I, it's 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 the fucking goddamn um shit that I was growing up on. And this guy fucking Felipe Esparza dude to keep. And uh, I think Freddie Soto. Mm-hmm, yeah. R.I.P. Freddie Soto. You know him. Those guys yeah, fucking. Yeah explain it all the way but this is where i got the fucking where i said the where i said that shit because when you start saying the sweet caroline shit it's like oh mm-hmm. god there you go i gotta fucking say this shit it's it's his joke and there, like i said there's no new jokes but right oh no 
Yeah, you cannot make it, but that is everybody's ripping it, off something. something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you got you got fucking um, Carlos Men- Mencia fucking ripping Angina. off jokes, and this is this is the whole this is the whole thing that's been going down for years. People rip off jokes, and people don't say anything because it's like, oh, you just kind of stole my riff. You stole my riff. Yeah, yeah, but it's like <clears throat> it it, it kind of works though because comedy, whoever whoever comes out of the that that scene fucking their comedy is out there and it's like a hey, bit and you fucking see it on tv a hey, bitch and you see him on fucking in the back scenes and you're like you know what the <laughs> fuck you did pay me my money mm. <laughs> fucking i need my potato salad fucking spicy well, you mean time. like get you know go in the backstage and like break their arms or something like that Oh, no, I mean you can, but I'd say like fuck the breaking the arms. I'd be like, I'd go to their mom and be like, hey, oh shit, you're, you're, you go to their mom. And I was like, your son owes me, Cause, yeah, because we they all fucking know each other. Yeah, but hey, your your son fucking did this shit. I need some potato salad now. <laughs> <laughs> I need a fucking egg sandwich oh, to hit you like with a chancla. If not, I'm gonna fucking sue your ass for 97 egg sandwiches a year. I'm gonna suck your ass. You think Drew Bar is even? You know, Drew Bar sends in the bomb earlier tonight. You think Drew Bar is even al- even awake still? You think he's like passed out Spot. at this point? Dude, I think Drew Bar hey, fucking just this is just a goof on. And he fucking died. This is just a goof on. He might be fucking participating. Ha, ha, I'm gonna trade Joe some money. This fucker's gonna stay here That's true. Yeah, right. He went to morning. bed like, ha, ha, stay up, <laughs> fuck face. Good night. That's funny. <laughs> That's, That's I'll take it. I'll take it. Hell yeah, man. Three hundred something yeah. bucks. Uh, I won't see it till next month, but you know, hey, it's there at least. Right. Oh, I ran no. out of money, man. I, I can't believe it. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I haven't. I mean, I hadn't. Fuck, man. I ran. Oh. Out of, I ran out of goddamn money that last month, like in this month. It's crazy. Uh, welcome to the fucking happens. broke ass, broke well, ass I mean, crew. Yeah, I mean, I used to be like that all the time, but like I, I hadn't. You know, I, I haven't experienced that in a long time. You know, I was like, whoa. I'm right with you on that because yeah. I'm doing. I'm trying to do something, and uh, yeah, you know, it's like. It's 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 I'm, it's, I'm just it's different I, when you like it's I I always have had that problem but I mean you know it's different when you have kids and a family you're like oh you know but it's like holy fuck bro I couldn't believe it I was like wow am I that bad and I did the math and I'm like yeah no wonder we're fucking run you know we're way you know this is crazy so I did the math on my new some of my I I had to I had to leave a sales job because the sales job was so inconsistent that I was like I gotta make. You know, and whatever oh. weekly, you know, weekly, <laughs> whatever you call it. I mean, dude, you know, I gotta. It's like crazy, bro. I gotta make five thousand dollars a month. That's nuts. Like, dude, I, have, I fucking, crazy. I, I fucking, that's 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 too much, dude. Come down here. The I fuck know. You I don't know. You can show what you have. Dude, dude, we, 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 we can you work can, a regular you, job. As much as much as you're mm-hmm. making right now, doing what you're doing, you can make oh. the same amount of money. And oh. the fucking rent will be twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, it's not even rent. It's not even rent. It's a mortgage. I don't. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, in the garden. I'm ready to be like, you know what, Leah? Come on, let's go ahead. Because you know, if I, sold I mean, she this- she doesn't. That isn't that why her fucking her her brother moved down here. Um, I think that was for school, but that's part of it. But it was mostly. I think it's for I school. Mean, he stayed down here. I, yeah, and she's supposed to come back though. But I mean, it's been forever. We've been waiting for him to come back. But uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's not it's not possible. Honestly, Once you stay down I here, you're down here. Would love Austin. Move somewhere outside of Austin. Somewhere no, where no, you Austin. Can be close enough. No, no. no, I'll tell you why. As oh, liberal like, as she oh, like is, Lugerville. Yeah, Lugerville. Maybe as liberal yeah. as Leah is, but she still wants space. You move like thirty minutes outside of Austin. You're basically mm-hmm. in the middle of nothing, but yeah. you're close enough where everything is fucking blue and everything that she would appreciate. That nice. would be perfect for her. You know, you got plenty of land tax. That'd be. Uh, would, you know what though? There's never. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's I I could see like North Carolina or South Carolina or something like that. But then now you're talking about hurricanes right and shit coming. No, uh, down here in Texas, you don't have any of that shit. Uh, the only thing you have is humidity. Hmm. Oh, and you will die. Right, so don't. Cook. Yeah, yeah. You will. It, you need to. A fucking, bunch of Irish fuckers are gonna burn and shit. Yeah, this don't do some of stuff. But the yeah. thing is, it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, Leah likes the Leah likes the fucking okay, so rain. When you, like the when dark. you went to Florida, how fucking how fucking much were you cooking? When I was um, I mean, Florida was was a little. You know, I know it got hot and everything, and I I wasn't there during the summer months. So, but what I the only thing I can say about Florida is that the humidity felt more pure. The humidity in Massachusetts feels worse to me. But but how, the, how, does, the, how does it feel worse? The, okay, so the consi- the consistency of the Florida humidity was a problem because it's like it's like it doesn't go away. It just does wouldn't it feel stop. like a blanket. Yeah, but but the Massachusetts oh. humidity when it gets humid is real bad. It's like really bad. Like people come up here and they're like, "Yeah, you, the humidity up here for whatever reason is worse." But it just doesn't last long, so it's not that big a deal. But when it is humid, it's nasty for some reason. Um I feel like it's y'all are used to the y'all have cold blood. Like y'all are used to that shit. But yeah, so humidity like, fucks me up, dude. Like I don't Yeah, I don't I so the humidity down here to me, dude, it it's literally literally like I have like a wool blanket with fucking a weed plant fucking printed on the back of something. <laughs> The ones that you buy off the highway or whatever, or off the fucking side of the thing. So th- that fucking humidity is the worst. And Tex, you've been there. Oh, wait. Te- Tex, you've been there with that fucking shit. And you know exactly how this fucking humidity can fucking uh, oh, deteriorate yeah. your whole entire body while you're fucking trying to just go out to get the mail. Dude. Dude. It's stupid. I work. Okay. I raise cattle. I work out fucking so. I'm I'm outside working eight to ten hours a day, depending on what's going on. So, in the fucking summertime, when once July hits, July into August, you're basically whoa. Well, Jews lie. Is that what you just said? Jews lie. lie. I thought he's once the same July. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Jews lie about a whole lot of things. Me, that's a whole a, different conversation. Jews king. But, uh, but no, the 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 summertime heat, it's like. Imagine living in a fucking oven for a month <coughs> and a half. That's basically yes. what a Texas yes. summer is. Yeah. Like when when you wake up first thing in the morning, it's already eighty five degrees. And it only gets oh. worse. Oh so. man. Have you ever woken up in a okay, so in Texas, you will wake up in a house and if your AC is off and you have a fan on you, you will wake up out of a house that you are sweating while there's a fan on you. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the, in the worst summertime alone feeling the, ever. The air conditioner in my bedroom because I have windows in it. Yeah. I put that bitch on sixty five and it stays there. Like it's that's just where I go because it that fun. heat it it takes it out of. You. I mean it's bad, but I'm used to it. I'm like, I, I, I can't handle cold weather. I need the heat. I can handle 100 degrees. I can't handle 20. So I don't yeah. fit. I don't know why, but I'm fucking talk. I want to talk about fucking Darth Vader right here. Maybe because I'm wearing him. But God damn, if he can come back in that so Obi Wan series. Room, I, mean, I don't mean to be all dark. <laughs> it's fucking. Maybe that's gonna be my dream. You fucking asshole. Where the fuck are I wish you? I could breathe as good as Darth Vader. Christ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you wish you could be a fucking mobile as Darth Vader. Fuck you. You, you ain't wrong on that, boy. Shit. That's more than most people. And that's just because of Lindsay. Bro, you are Darth. You're, you're fucking Darth. I don't want to say it, but uh, Darth hey, Cox. What? Darth Riri. No, like, <laughs> no, that's my Kel. That's my Kel. My Kel comes in. He's Jesus. like, hmm? I, I, 
love you, Markel. Uh, by the way, Michael, I was watching your stream today. Jesus Christ. Wipe what? your fucking lens, Michael. Oh, I thought you were going to say you could hear his stream through his TV, too. Like, oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm glad he's out there. I was thinking about him, dude, because I haven't seen him pop in much, and I'm like, I just hope he's all right, you know. He used to come on more often, but as long as he's all right. Probably his turn to be brainwashed. Oh, uh, I don't think you got to worry about that with my cow. No, with my cow, DDA. He'll be the fastest one to tell them to go fuck themselves. I'll tell you that. The only thing that's washed about my cow is this fucking goddamn white. No shit. <laughs> He's white. Wa <laughs> oh, dude, he was in the fucking goddamn KKK, probably. Who knows in the fucking jail? That guy's got fucking more fucking. That guy could stab more fucking people than I can. That dude, I'm sure he jumped into whatever shit he had, man. Him. Oh, you don't man. have a lot of fucking options. Dude, <laughs> dude, just imagine, just imagine fucking blood in, blood out, but with Michael instead of fucking <laughs> Mikelo. Dude, I'd be scared, dude, if Michael was like a fucking mob boss or any of that shit, right? And you fucking yeah. piss him off, oh he just God. starts telling you what's about to happen, and it takes him forever, sure. right? But it's the worst <laughs> gruesome shit. Like, so you're double fucking just fucked. Motherfucker, just funny. tell me what you're gonna do already. You know? <laughs> that's, what, that's funny. That's what's your, that's funny you say that because I've been fucking watching the Johnny Depp and fucking Amber Heard shit, and I fucking said this motherfucker needs to get this fucking shit up, and I fucking fast forward it times two. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, he he's that slow in the motherfucker. Yes, what? he's that he's that oh, slow fuck. because he's that slow. <laughs> Watching Johnny Depp talk, it's like he talks. He's like real watching paint dry. <laughs> it goes real slow. It's like he's trying to hit every syllable of every word to make sure that you understand it. That's what he's trying. It's to like, do. God damn, I seen a bitch fucking put out seven fucking kids before I saw him talk a fucking goddamn one sentence. What the fuck is going on with him? It's. It, it's uh, Amber Heard, baby. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're an Amber Heard fan, hey, fuck it. Who cares? We're never going to see Pineapple Express again, are we? So fuck it. Might as well be throw Amber Heard. Oh, Pineapple. I just think of her taking a shit in my bed now. That's all I got. In my head. Oh, oh, no, she was she was in Pineapple Express. She was uh, right. Yeah. Kevin Rogan's girlfriend. Yep. And I don't remember I, that. I, well. I really, what? Well. God. Like, I remember the bitch from Superbad more than I remember. It's maybe just because she kind of looks like my so ex. Funny, that would make sense. If this whole thing goes negative on her and ruins her career, she can still go do oh. German fetish porn. She, she doesn't yeah, mind dude. shitting on a bed, so, you know, yeah, porn, hey, just go yeah. shit on the bed. You know what I mean? Yo, she right shit there. on the she shit on the bed, did she, or did she get somebody? There's no DNA testing on if she it was oh, her I shit. Did they test um, the turn? <laughs> like, a, it's not a big deal, say, but like, did she eat it or something? Like, what's the big? No, there's no I mean, DNA. It could have been a dog or whatever. It's just saying that they're just well, saying I just, shit on the bed. It's and not like she that like took a child and ran his face in it or something. Like, what the fuck did you do wrong? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking defend her, but I'm gonna say that's a little shit, fucking extreme. Come on, she might. You never shit on a bed, Jordan. They're all. I mean, I'm not guaranteeing. I've shit in a bag. You've had to shit on a bed or I've shit bed in something. A, I've shit in a bag. It was great on a bed. Okay. No, 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 no. In a bag, not in a bed. Okay. Were you like sleeping bag over maybe? this bag? Okay, <laughs> were you holding this bag while you shit in it, or like it was a colostomy bag? You... It was. <laughs> a, he was doing right. So, uh, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, text. You. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you this in the only term that you and me will ever know. Uh, that sounds hot. The text well flavor. was shut. Oh. Well ran dry. Uh, you know what I mean? And it was because they needed a filter. <laughs> yeah. 
So if we did anything, yeah, yeah, that happened once to me. Yeah, mm-hmm. literally that. What that happened with? I say it was probably. Okay, okay. So tell, 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 okay, so text tell them tell what happened. If I didn't do this, code bestiality, the code word shit. If, if we didn't do this, basically, basically what he's saying is he had his own septic and the shit was fucking backed up and he couldn't flush the goddamn shit anymore. So he had oh. the shit in the bag and all so the shit. I needed a new filter. Dude, so I, I, yeah, I got I a mean, new filter. I got a new filter. We, we, I didn't yeah. get a new filter. I mean, I honestly, you just got to buy a way. toilet seat. My, get a five-gallon bucket and your, it was a little chair. You're good to go, man. So it wasn't my place. It was my homie's place. And we were trying to fucking figure out why can't we fucking do this shit. We were shitting in bags forever. Well, my God, the first thing, like, you guys like, didn't know he had a septic or did he not know? No, that's that's knew, always going to be your worst stuff. Like he, even oh, his, what happened? What happened was that he needed a filter, and we couldn't get a hold it's of it. All of that, that was all of them. It, it took. It took. I don't even know how long it took. It took a while. It was only the like, uh, okay. That's weird. I'll Usually, it's, story. so <laughs> I'm I'm we're 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 staying there for about I think I'd say like one or two months. I think I'd say it was one month. One month. We stayed for there for two weeks, and then uh, we took like three days off, and then we came back for two weeks, and it was like, oh, thank God, that shit is fucking. We can take a shit, but it was like I just remember that being. It was it was stupid. It was like the first week, and we, if we're taking a shit, we had to take a shit in a the bag. There was the wa- the water was running, but it smelled like it's my shit in a bag. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't <laughs> fucking filtered at all. I was like, no. Now, not have any of y'all ever used a camping toilet before? Yes, I have. Okay. Well, the so, which one? Which one? For, okay, so with the camping toilet, which the, one? Un- for the uneducated, basically, it's like a five-gallon bucket from Home Depot. That's all I did. With a toilet yeah, seat. I built one my, I with did the it toilet seat. That's all I did. So yeah. it's, it's a. We it's were a, on a beer hunt. We were on a deer hunting trip. It was me and four other guys. And we okay. stayed out there for like a week, I think. It was like either a week or nine days. I can't remember. Either way, uh-huh. this was our toilet for the whole time. Well, at the end of the trip, like the last day and a half, uh, the one guy that it was actually his camping toilet that we were using. So we were all going to play a prank on it. And we waited till the last day. And each of us ate as much as we possibly could and shit in this toilet. Yeah, we were loading up all the equipment. So this five gallon bucket had all of our shit. In. We stuck it in his van that he hauled it out here. He could not realize what the fucking smell from that fucking toilet was. He yeah. drove home two hundred miles with shit in a bucket in the back of his fucking van. He was so pissed. Oh my god. god! He didn't even know. He yeah, that. that's, that's funny. He, he didn't know. check, dude. There was he, fucking he there was five guys shit in a goddamn bucket in the back of his fucking van. He didn't stop the fucking so, check. Oh, what I want, what I want to know, mean the five guys. What I want. <laughs> You should have ate at five guys and then all shit five guys into the what bucket. I, what I want to know is what I want to know is where did these guys that shit in the bucket from? Where are they at now? Like what the oh, fuck? They're still, they're still all around here. I mean, they're, you know, kind of hell. I grew up. If you shit in the bucket, it will come. <laughs> But you said that there's, it's like, oh, yeah. So tell that story. You go, oh, yeah, they're all shitty. I was like, what? Yeah. Like I said, it was the last day of the trip and we were going to play a prank on this guy. So we all ate as much as we could. So we were good. You said they were all (laughs) shitting. Well, obviously, one at a time, you dumb, drunk fucker. (laughs) We're in a group shit. I love it though. If they were all shit, it was, it, 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 you know what? It was. A, it would have been the best ever. You know what? If you ever, if you uh, oh, a shorts, a shit orzy, a shortsy. <laughs> it was definitely not that, but 
Yeah, it was well, if it was, he if drove, it was, yeah. he drove all the way home yeah. and shit in his car. And once he realized what we did to him, yeah, God, right. he didn't talk to us for like six months. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. that's fucking, that's fucking, that's fucking <laughs> stupid, bro. He's a fucking bro. He's not a bro, bro, bro. Oh, that's funny. Oh, hell. Anyways, go, going. So you you ever gone to uh, fucking shows back in the day? And you'd be like, "Yo, this girl's gonna suck on my dick, bro." Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, do it. Let's do Dude, it. Bro. I, I've been laid in front of my friend while we were going to fucking do. Mm-hmm. You know what you yeah, gotta fucking do, man. Oh, dude. As long as you know what you're doing, it's okay. You don't yeah. need no bro. Around you, <laughs> like I said, dude, I was bouncing in bars. I've done and seen all kinds of things. It's fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, you don't um, live that life without without getting your eyes open severely. So, you guys ever? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you um, a few things. Best TV dads. Do you got one? Best TV dad. I believe we're talking about this the other day, but I don't think I fucking said who I, my best TV dad was. I I didn't say mine either. I'd go Tim Allen from Home Improvement. Tim Allen. Okay, Tim Allen. Okay, Tim Allen. Okay, dude, I'm not gonna lie, dude. That's a fucking great one. The guy sold cocaine. I mean, think about it. He was funny. Bill Cosby. He was there for the kids, and what he didn't know, he had Wilson to ask. And by the end of the episode, whatever the problem was, was figured out. Okay, so you're going to go by a wholesome dad, but he was. Well, I mean, I, I'm I'm going all around best dad. Like if I had to pick a dad, I would have picked him out. But that's just me. Yeah. Okay, I got you. So yeah, like I'm thinking everything from fucking Homer Simpson to fucking goddamn Archie and fucking everything in between. <laughs> like, were you, is there like a fucking certain you know specific thing here? Or is it just any goddamn? I would say you know, Homer. I would say I would say Homer would have been a go, good for, figure, go for the obscure. Okay, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Uh, I mean, there's a great. No, right. no obs- I'd okay, say Hank so, Hill. Hank Hill. But- if it's okay. not Tim Allen, yeah. it's Hank Hill. I would say yes. Hank Hill. I would say Hank Hill. One of the the most he just plays. Yeah, like what's in- the parameter? Or like what's the oh, fucking man. like what are we judging judging this on? So like in of, in what ways? Funniest I, I would, this dance to have? Everything that you remember okay, so I would say you can do whatever the way that you want it. Nostalgia. Hank whatever. Hill is I'm, a good one. Like Hank Hill is a good one. I mean, he's kind of got everything going on. Al Bundy. Yeah. Al Bundy, mm, yes. Al Bundy would have been good too. Al Bundy would have been good too. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say this. Like, that's a pretty good top three. We've been over this before, where it's like the best, like as a good person, dads are like fucking Carl Winslow and Phil Mr. Banks. Brady. Yes, we have. But like, and I told uh, you, I told you the best one was it was Papa Titus. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was gonna. So you bring that one up. It's so weird. Stacy Keach, great. When well, he was like, he, he's one of the ones that is underrated. People don't even remember. But, but I mean, Al great. Bundy has to be my favorite, though. I mean, that's gonna be Al Bundy. Okay, okay. Al Bundy. Okay. Is Al Bundy. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Just for comedy's sake, it's yeah. Al Bundy. I mean, there's yeah. no argument. There's no other. Like, well, he's yeah, he's the classic. Unmanaged. Everything uh, yeah. you think of him as one of the first ones when you think of that whole. That's the same like formation they all use, and pretty much all the dad shows with the dads like that, where it's right. like Mike Brady. You know, he just goes Mike to work, Brady. makes money for his wife. They shit on him the whole Mike show. Brady. <laughs> Mike Brady, dude, I heard that. I fucking, I'm gonna George die, Jetson bro. Or can, you, you fuck. can you? Mike, oh my god, <laughs> what about Fred Flintstone. Did he die of AIDS or some shit it, like oh. that? It's a little crazy. Real quick, Joe, can you can you see what I'm sharing, or do I have to share it? Uh, this is this is the this is what I'm saying. If you if you want to say that um, about of uh, about Al Bundy, I think uh, the best dad. No, this is the best dad. Listen to this shit. This is <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> James Evans. Good times. This is, this is the best dad. Right was like the, 
cooler version of Al Bundy for a while. This is the, the best shoes ever. ever. It's uh, yeah. it's a uh, Stacy Keach. Come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, well, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> I just <laughs> when you play what? your little fuck fuck game. What? When you play your little fuck fuck game. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Go ahead, mm. Gorgas. That one's still around. What were you gonna say? Oh, oh, well, yeah. The, yeah, rest in peace. Um, oh. what were you gonna say? Oh no, uh, it's really <laughs> low, but I don't know if you can hear it. But uh, listen to <laughs> this part. This this part might fucking okay. get you to shit your pants. Okay. Ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever, oh, <laughs> ever. Oh, I'm sorry, that was you. <laughs> Oh, I love that part. <laughs> okay. Who's awake still? You know, people are really still awake at five in the morning right now. Like, what is going on? Solomon There's is. No fucking I think we're happening? talking to ourselves. I didn't even know you guys were over here, dude. I was fucking. And then by the time I did, I was already in like a deep convo. Oh, but, I, like, I know what it is, Jesse. I, I got out of work really late. Like, I'm, I'm apparently I'm going to be out of work pretty late on Saturday. So I didn't get home until 1125. So mm. I got I got on the air okay. as soon Bro, you, as like it was crazy. You got you got you got out at the same time that I got out on this side of the town or right. this side of the fucking world. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like what we're, the fuck? We're, 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 I was done with today. Uh huh. I was just fuck this. It's Saturday. Can I go the fuck home, please? Oh yeah, I get it. Done with this shit. I mean, but tonight. Hell yeah, you you guys. Hell yeah, <laughs> you guys. You guys are fucking doing some crazy ass shit today. It's like yes, I'm down. Now I hear some. Are you? You got some fucking jams? Hell no, yeah. my guitar was on the floor, and I'm like, I wonder if it's in tune. And I'm like, nope. Is it? Not really. It's in D, but it's still out of tune. You're a you're a D. <laughs> you're a D, is that what you just said? Yeah, you're a D. Look at that. You're a Get D. Back. Okay, is when two men. Yeah, there it works. May God. May God. <laughs> play, play the clip. I'm listening. So you hear this. Some call America the Great Melting Pot. My dad calls it an immigrant-infested homo hut. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is that it? Is that the clip? Is there more? Okay. When two men make God cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I know people. Oh, I know. Geez. I know people like that. <laughs> uh, I don't understand that gay fellas. Why do you want to look up? Have they never had pussy before? That makes no sense. Maybe yeah. they're pussy pussy. Like, they don't want to put up with it to, to get to it. What it takes to achieve it. I've never been. No, that that's bullshit. <laughs> I've I never know, been so know. sick of pussy. I didn't want it anymore. That is bullshit. No, I mean women in general. The bullshit they gotta deal with, you know. Oh well, well that's the difference between pussy and a cunt. Is, you know, oh. the old joke. I don't think <laughs> oh my god! It reminds me of Mar- American Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> it, with that whole well, I can't wait, dude. I mean, listen, sure. we all we all got to get our kids to Florida so they can chop their dicks off in math class. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, they're helping. Oh they're helping your kids <laughs> chop your dicks off. They're like, yo, all right, we're, five Bruh. plus five is is ten, and now we're going to chop the your dicks off if you'd like, or would you like a oh. pussy? Um, school school like- is going to be so much fun. There, there's plumbing, home ec, and transitioning. It's the greatest fucking time ever to be in school in Florida. Uh, I mean, yeah, no. you know, or in you know, I, you know, I'm a teacher. It's all the best. Mommy the says, Elizabeth. "Mommy says I can be whatever I want to be, or she goes to jail." Oh no, Damn, no, that's no. Pretty, sadly, that's not 
that's that's not you, is your mommy no, is your mommy is your mommy Tammy Sitch? No, my mommy's not a murderer. <laughs> She's not a drunken murderer yet. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe she just got out of jail. And then fucking Jesse's joke the other day where she's like, Oh, she's been out of jail more than fucking dudes have been out of our pussy. Dude, there's been a I don't remember at this point, but if if there is about five timestamps on this show tonight from uh, there might be one for me, two two for Tex maybe, and maybe two for Garguts and one for everybody else. I don't know, but I've heard some funny shit tonight, but it's been like every 30 <laughs> minutes, like something really funny happened. And I, unless somebody clips it, like, or puts the timestamps later, I hope they do because they were funny thing fucking is, things. The thing is that the funny thing is that when that shit happens, we're not fucking doing a show. We're just hanging out. And that we're shit. Just fucking, yeah, yeah, we're just. I know. We're, that's we're what I, I, I yeah, missed it. I know yeah. it's funny, and I just, I don't know where. I don't. <laughs> someone's gonna have to be listening to this live and then be like, "Oh, let me oh. timestamp that." Oh, let me timestamp that. So I, I like that they fucking like the shit that's going on. That's what's up. Yeah, there was even some, even if it wasn't me, fuck it. it it's fucking I mean, great. That like we're it. all fucking tired. I I I'm so I, I'm like so. It's weird because I drank a decent amount, but I never got to the point where I felt like I could start drinking heavily because none of the drinks I was having were getting me buzzed because I'm so tired that it's not working, which is fine because I'm going to go to Sonic 2 tomorrow without a hangover. You know, that's okay. Oh, shit. But Hell yeah. I'm, you know, I don't have... I'm don't probably going to be on the air tomorrow. I'll be on Sunday night tomorrow, too. Probably at 7. Damn, what are you going to do? Uh, playing video games? Video I don't games? know. I, you know, I'm starting to wonder if I should do video games on Saturdays and then do yeah. this on Sundays since I'll be maybe working late. I mean, whatever fucking fits your schedule. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's <laughs> uh, it's always about the schedule, you know, unfortunately. That, that and, uh, you know, change it up, do something different here and there. You know, I, I, I told you the other day, I, I was like, you want to do something on... Um, Behind the paywall, yeah, we gotta do like, something on the Patreon. Yeah, but you, you told me you'll hit me back up with something that you're working out with. So I was like, one of the problems oh, yeah. is I don't want to, I don't want to do like that. overflow the same. Exactly, exactly. I yeah. know what you mean. I know what you fucking mean. Dude. Like we need like I'm fucking. I'm tired of that shit, and I'm I'm I, I know I know what you mean. Yeah, Fuck, like I'm tired of this shit, and I, I want something different too. Dude. Jesus. All right. Well, you leave your girl then, like, you know. Uh, oh, dude. Tell her, listen, fuck actually, you. Actually, I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm just going to beat her. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. That's going to be a bit. It's going to be a YouTube channel made on you tomorrow. Hell yeah. <laughs> Gargut's threatened to <laughs> I love my fucking <laughs> I love my fucking gun. Gargut's threatens to beat up women. Joe threatens to kill Vikings. I'm killing you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say pussy up, but Dude, it never happened. His, his fucking <laughs> voice. It's oh, it's like he just realized that I threatened him like that. He went, "What?" Like it was what? Nice. We made. By the way, we made up after. We we made up after this fight. We fought, but we made up after it. We were like, oh, okay, all right, you know. It's you fucking you just don't sit and come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fucking <laughs> what? Say that again. <laughs> when you play your little fuck fuck game. <laughs> he, you go. You go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get him with your personality. What did you say? I'm gonna get you with my personalized items. Or what did you say? I don't even Property. know what happened. I don't Property. know. He's like, what? What? Who <laughs> <laughs> oh says fuck? Fuck. I want to talk to this guy now. Like, oh, I no, want, you, like, don't, one, you don't. You don't. He's an OG. <laughs> you don't. Because not cum. right now. Back then, you might have. He likes cum. <laughs> He likes cum. <laughs> Joe having fucking dogs to them. I, I don't see that. What? Like I said, he's done a lot of fucking. Is he a queer? Stuff, but I don't see that. He might be. 
I don't know even know what the fucked up shit is. But I mean, I he lives with a guy called Silverfish or something. I mean, they, you know, definitely say oh, some crazy up. shit. Like as you know, talking shit like we did, you know, tonight maybe. But I mean, dude, like the last thing I want to do is hurt anybody. You know what I mean? Even if you want, you know, even if you were swearing at me all night for a week on the show, I, I know it's just a thing. You know, it's just just words. It's just talking shit. That's well, not that, worth that fucking somebody. shit that happened to me caused a lot of fucking damage. Oh, but, but Minnesota, it's all happened to a lot of life. us. But do you realize I said yeah, that to you? For what? For what? But you, you got to understand, like, I, I said that because I wanted you to know. It's like I called it out and he blames me for it. Like, it's weird. But I get it. But like, it's, That was calling quickly. I got to go back. I got to get out of here. But you're, we're wasting time working with Minnesota right now. <laughs> I swear he was working, dude. He's not real. He, I can't even believe he's that angry. Like, I, I just can't fathom. Yeah, fucker. Fuck you, dude. You got bigger problems with your friend Tony over there. Fuck off and deal with him instead of me. I love a good you fight. Sit here, you sit here and fucking talk about how you guys were passing my personal information around in a fucking Skype call and shit. And fucking that shit's cool. Fuck You're you, dude. Sure. So oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, yeah. right? Yeah. Because why am I? I'm an idiot. Because the only way. Can you imagine if I was. Imagine if I was in Skype, so people passing people's personal information around. Like, what? I I'm going to say this. This is why I fucking get rid of people like that. I'm just like, I know. Dude, I don't. He's I fucking. Just, no, listen. It's I his just, time. He's, he wants attention this time of the week or whatever. I get it. I get it. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm just like, yes, I'll fucking play into it for a little bit, but I'm just like, bro, I know where the fuck you stand. Oh, I know. It's God just too funny it. to listen to him get angry, and then I get angry, and that's what a great mix. You know what I mean? I don't... I, of course he's crazy. You know? The guy thinks that I doxed him. You know, he or he thought. He, I don't think he thinks... He doesn't... We made up when this was over. I don't think he thinks he... I told him, I. you know, this is what happened. He's like, oh, okay. But he thought I did, and he was oh, really yeah, mad Because you got the time to do that, Joe. Right? Yeah, that's what you I get, do. You got you the time to do that, Joe, right? Let okay. me tell you something. That's what I think about. Like, how can yeah, I make things get, worse? You can get shit. The, it's like you can't even fucking, you can't even fucking trim your pubes. I know. I can't even you get a hold have, of you guys. You don't have time for that. I can't even get a hold of you guys or anybody. Like <laughs> Exactly. Like I I, I so mean, busy. I fucking be trying to get a hold of your ass, and it was like, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there you go. You go. And then you fucking get all my ass, and I'm Dude. like, I wake up to like three messages, four messages, and it's like, they're my pube hairs. I'm so <laughs> like, like, dude, the, I love it. the days go <laughs> by. Like, I wake oh. up, I wake up, and I don't, you know how I treat, how how you, how you, some people might think I treat them with communicating? That's how bad I am. Imagine how bad I am with the uh, IRS. That's why. That's why I'm in this situation. <laughs> like, dude, I'm just. I'm like that with everything. Hey, bro, like, I am you so know what? Bad. You don't. You, you you can be like Wesley Snipes and never fucking or uh fucking you know never pay that shit. So you mm. we good. Yeah, I can go. They I got can... Wesley Snipes because he was a fucking major actor that no. fucking uh, got blackmailed. Well, they uh, got, well, they got him because he owed his... like a half a million dollars. I think. But uh, you don't have to fucking pay the IRS. Well, I'll remind remind me that when they come to the house, like in a couple of years. Uh, no, 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 I mean you can you can you can, you can just you can, all you gotta do is fucking grab all your money and get a strong lawyer. Get fucking who's the next uh, Rory Crockett or whatever. Yeah, Cochran, how much does how much does that cost? <laughs> yeah, yeah, how much? Is, yeah, too much. No, it's fine. Uh, as much as much as what you owe. No, I but, do, uh, you just gotta pay them. You just gotta pay them something. That's all you gotta do. Like I'm paying them a thousand a month. You know. Yeah, you'll be good for you a while. But a I'm saying, a like, month. damn, dude, like they they don't they don't. There's no law in the fucking in anything that you have to fucking pay them anything. I'm pretty sure there is. Just, I think there is a law. No, 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 no. There's people that are fucking. There's a girl that fucking came out. And said that she's she was an IRS agent, and she said, "I went to the book, and it says you don't have to pay us, no matter what." And, they keep, and she said that they keep changing the code. Yeah. So it's like, okay, you change the code. You don't you have. Yeah, it, you don't. You harder. don't it's have to. to. You don't have it's to. It's but they, to find. but they'll take your cow. They'll take your house though. I, I, you don't have to. Yeah, we, go ahead. Don't they, pay them. Yeah, but they'll. Yep, yep, you're right. You're <laughs> go right. ahead and don't. You're right. They'll take they, your they'll car take, and your they'll house. Take your house because because we don't. We're not fucking the land of the free. We're the land of the bank. 
Yeah. They're, we're the land of the fucking the Gestapo. The fuck is what we are. Yeah, that's true. yeah, and we don't fucking have a goddamn say in what the fuck we're doing. We uh, have a uh, fucking goddamn say in it, saying, hey, we're going to fucking pay you absurd amount of money and work our ass off and fucking almost die working our ass off. And then we're going to fucking give you fucking taxes because we're making too much money. Mm. The fuck is wrong with you? It's hard. I was like, it's just, it's crazy. It's, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not one. I'm see, I'm not even one of these people that's like, we shouldn't have to pay and fuck this. I believe I owe this money. I am. Everybody else paid their fair share. I owe this money. It's not, I don't contest it and think that I'm some special person that doesn't owe it. That's the thing is I really don't. I don't think that. I think you paid yours the way you paid oh. yours. You know what I mean? I paid mine the right way for years. I've always, you know, gotcha. I, according to the you know what the rules are you know i owe this mo- i owe this money i don't think i don't owe it so it's you know i it's just hard to it's, you know it's a tough situation you, but i put myself in that situation it's nobody else's fault but mine and i owe the money and that's i don't disagree with it if you owe this money are you going to be like tax back for it or it's just like well, no well, you it's, owe these taxes and there you go there you go. We're gonna find out after my my returns get there. I just had my accountant person do the whole fucking thing. Oh uh, my god! Now he's gonna fucking take a fucking certain amount of money. No, well he's there my well, he's my family, so he might not. But I owe him something. Oh, so I if I it. if I ever get, I owe him something at some point, you know. But uh, you know, we'll see what happens with the world and with everything, and you know. What the world is a fucking goddamn fucking meter? You want that to happen? Well, I don't want it to happen, uh, but Ben Affleck, goddamn. I don't know, bro. I need, I need the all. It's WrestleMania eight, bro, and Papa Shango and Sid are kicking my ass, and I really could use the Ultimate Warrior to run down to the ring any point. You know what I mean, or whatever. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what that means or what that you know. I what, can't believe you just use that reference. <laughs> <team up. laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, if that happens, though, fuck that shit. It'll be fucking uh, uh, Joe Biden. You know what I, mean? I, I think I'm, I'm, you know, and if you listen to me over the years, I mean, I think I'm beyond the comprehension of, you know, like, I've, what is Egon at the end of Ghostbusters? He's like, I'm beyond the fucking capacity. He was just standing there like this. He's like in shock or whatever. Like, I'm in shock, like, at wet, like. I don't know, by a lot of things, but I'm in shock. I was, just say that. And I was like, what the fuck is going on with Egon, dude? He, they couldn't fucking animate him. Look at Tupac. We've seen Tupac. Well, look at the fucking um, Michael Jackson. What? They, they t- look great. They I thought he, you didn't think he looked good in the movie? Oh, I, saw, I saw the bootleg. That's why. Oh, well, well, fuck yourself for not paying for it, you piece well, of shit. Quit, quit, quit going down to Mexican Mart buying goddamn movies. Yeah, <laughs> this, you, this, it's, this it's, motherfucker it's not, is, not, you're going down to the Bina rally in a little fucking cardboard Home Depot box, and you're picking bro, out of a fucking burnt <laughs> DVD <laughs> rack. I'm not, no, no, check it out. It's not that anymore. We don't do that shit It's called, it's called, <laughs> it's called, it's called Mexflix. If you're not a uh, part of it. It's free. Dude, you know what's funny? Oh, okay. Garguts goes down the street. There's a guy with a big cardboard box and all these burnt CDs. He's holding a sign that says Blockbuster. <laughs> like B L U C K. I will block I will Duck block buster. any buster right now. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna tell my kids that's Blockbuster. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the other day the other day we're we're talking about a game uh-huh. and uh uh it's 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 a wordplay. Mm-hmm. And I said that uh, somebody mentioned um, Cameron Diaz, and I said, "Oh yeah, I'd like to cam on Diaz." <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You're so you get yeah, it didn't go so, over. It didn't so you it so you are white, out. okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because <laughs> then because the next one was like, "Why not the writer?" And I was like, "Why not a writer?" <laughs> what the fuck, and, dude? So. By the way, there's five minutes left in the show. I can't believe that we've reached five. We've actually reached the point where the show could end. Five minutes left. This is crazy. We've been going all night. Dude, we have, dude. We we have been going fuck, dude. For almost six hours. Dude, six hours at this point. Hold on. Hold on. 
Remember that fucking donation that said that fucking you were you were wrong with your fucking um Yeah, I added to it. Yeah, we were at four hours. I put five hours on. Oh. Well then Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get some nipples hard in the chat or something. I can't believe I, I had the what math. Do do? I had the math so Go wrong ahead. though. That was so funny. Look at Gargots. If we, if we, yeah, if somebody, if we end up going any longer, Gargots may like take his pecker out on the show. Like in multiplicity, he might touch my peppy, Steve. He touched my peppy, Steve. Don't, don't tell me. Oh my God. Tell me twice. No. Do not tell me twice. I can't get it apart. I can't get it. I can't get it. No, it's not working. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I've never seen a taco dick. It's weird. <laughs> I've seen, you know, I gotta be honest. I've seen porn with white guys, Jimmy black Chandler. guys. You know, you know, what, you know, what, you know. What, I could, I could take your, I could take my taco dick and stick it into your fucking. Old, stick it in uh, your yeah. Oh, and by the way, if I, I, I just remembered if the show ends, stroke it off, Gargots, you're gonna be really mysterious if the show ends. By the way, dick. you want yes, to answer a lot of dick? I told you I will. Diaz, Diaz is I did dick. All, I did it. I did it. I'm on the show. I'm on the show. I'm here. No, well, I'm right here. Better be happy about I'm gonna, it. You know? I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you, you fucker. <laughs> and you do what I am with an Omega. Yeah, uh, you know, RM. You motherfucker. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this I'm, for all I'm, the times that you out. fucking don't support me. Really masturbating. Really, really, really fucking mm. mature bitch. I'm really horny now. Whatever the fuck. That guy said, mm -hmm. who's not really here anymore, but he's fat and has video games. Um, <laughs> what? Oh. What did I say? You know, if I, if, you know what? Dad, this is a fucking hilarious. Thing. <laughs> I'm really horny now. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? I forget. It was like monetize this. I don't know something. He goes, he goes. They're really fucking. Oh now. yeah, they're really they're fucking now. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Oh, dude, it's uh, it was um, UFC. Yeah. yeah oh that's what, yeah, that's right. We're on a UFC show. Yeah. And it's like, oh, and we're, we're like, oh, they're they're hitting each other. They're hitting each other. And he goes, you're really fucking. Now. And then remember, you try to do it. It gets uh, you put it on like some like techno music and go, no, no. Yeah. No. Put it on. You're really fucking now. It's another You're guy. really fucking, 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 <laughs> fucking now. <laughs> I wanted some Eddie Van Hagelin shit. Eddie That's Van Hagelin. Hagelin. Eddie Van Hagelin. Ben, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Van fucking. Oh my God. We're at two minutes. Two minute warning. Two minutes, everybody. everybody. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh my God! Are we ready to go to bed? Okay. I'm I'm going to see Sonic the Hedgehog too. Five dollars equals three minutes, but that's you okay. Going to Sonic I'm gonna watch. Channel. I'm gonna watch it right now. I'm going to Sonic, bro, because well, actually, technically the donation came or is there, but I don't get that money for like thirty days, so maybe I won't be going to Sonic. <laughs> right. One one thirty seven, thirty six, thirty five, thirty four, thirty three, thirty. Oh, 33. No, I'll be going. Yeah, right. going the back door. I got a bucks. I'm, a, I'm a Illuminati. I'm a Illuminati. Yeah, you get a couple. Yeah, just here. talk. Just talk over you text. Here. Just talk over text, Gargus. You fuckhead. Yeah. Yes, I will. You're a piece of shit, and you know it. You know you're a piece of shit. You should go back. You. Should, you should go to Canada. Move to Canada, you piece of shit. <laughs> What the fuck? You know what? I'm gonna move to Canada. I'm gonna move your to your fucking. Uh, I'm gonna when move, you move your in your little basement. Fuck, fuck game. My basement. I'm a fucking I'm a idiot. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I like. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one. That's uh I, oh that's the one where I was yawning right where I yawned and then I went oh that's, just, uh, that's, that's the one that, that should be the official sound of retardation that's what that sound should be right there. <laughs> I want Jesse's couch. Oh dun, 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 dun. 
Fucking you come killing you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a fucking oh idiot. God. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. It's bedtime thank finally. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Jesus, Jesus, thank you. He thought he was gonna be here all night, or I was gonna be. We're all fucking. We're all gonna die. Well, Man, work in the I'm morning. so drunk. I, I'm I'm so drunk I can barely stand up at this point. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Dude. I got to work. Yeah, I had to work at ten thirty. I don't give a shit. Oh shit! Yeah, you're a fucking feisty fuck one. That. I'm finally shit. off. I, 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 I'm fuck. I don't even can't even speak. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Garguts has taken out Really Mysterious to be the sole survivor tonight and become the JCS Digital Champion on Beat the Clock. You guys kicked ass. We almost went yep. six hours tonight off of a 20-minute show. Three points helped you, Garguts. Fuck. Yeah, Drew Bar was a huge thing, though. Like, that Drew was Bar, Drew thing. Bar. Shout out to Drew Bar. He's probably not even, he's not even here. Shout out to Drew, Drew Bar, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fuck... I really, I want to find you, and I want to take a three points, Garga. Porcupine, and jam it up your ass. <laughs> Go ahead. You sound like a fucking goddamn seal getting fucked in the <laughs> ass, dude. <laughs> 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 and here's Gargas. Here's Gargas. Ready? Did you uh, ever? <laughs> <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's so good. <laughs> people choking on each other, gagging on each other, shitting, farting, and fucking. Tonight was, tonight was fucking. Mm. I loved it. I loved it. I, 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 I'd fucking, I'd rub your, I'd rub my nipples on your nipples. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you to everybody who is here in the chat. Adios. Tex, Sweet big Tex. Rosa Parks, yeah. The monetize this champion, Tex Rosa Parks. I'm a jerk off to her. Nope. Mr. Pico <laughs> Boulevard, Garguts, Jesse, and uh, J Rod was here tonight earlier, too. Shout out to him. Don't forget that I'm the fucking damn champ. We got the the, digital champ. The digital champ right here. See, hero, you're just a, you're a number two champ. That's all you are. Yeah, I'm you a number two champ. I am on my way up. You you shit shit I'm yeah. coming. I'm coming. Ooh. Well, you know, ah, basically, you can't send this belt back, you know, this digital one. <laughs> oh, that one down. No, I'm going for the new one. Mm. This is a whole new thing. This is a whole new thing. All right. This is my a whole new thing. A whole new thing. You're better off sending me the old belt. You're getting a whole new thing. Are you transitioning Garguts? Are you going to become Mrs. Garguts? Oh. When you play your little fucking game. Good night, everybody. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. When you play your little fuck fuck game. 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 Must be a shame. Put all the blame up on somebody else. When you play your little fuck fuck game. When you play your little fuck fuck game. It's such a shame. You always a pain. Always wanna play a fucking fuck fuck game. It's such a shame. You fucking with me. I'ma fuck you up really good. Quickly play your fuck When you fuck play your little fuck fuck game. When you play your fuck fuck games. It's such a shame. When you play yeah, your yeah. fuck fuck game. When you play your little fuck fuck game. Every time you're playing your fuck fuck game. When you play your little fuck fuck game. It's always such a pain when you fuck fuck game. When you play your little fuck fuck game. Try to dox me, you're always doxing. You wanna dox me, you're gonna play your game. You're gonna play yeah. your fuck game. When you play your little game. fuck fuck game. Play your fuck fuck game. When you play your little fuck fuck game. I always knew what you were doing. I always knew who you're fucking screwing. 
You're always trying to be up to something lame Try to play your fuck fuck game When you play your little fuck fuck game Why are you always playing your fuck fuck game When you play your little fuck fuck game Go ahead and play your fucking fuck fuck game When you play your little fuck fuck game It's such a When you play your little fuck fuck game When you play your fuck fuck Your fuck fuck game When you play your little fuck fuck game Go ahead in the rain and play your fuck fuck game When you play your little fuck fuck game In the rain you play your fuck fuck game When you play your little fuck fuck game You're fucking a goddess Come kill you right now cause you're a fucking idiot Oh I'm a fuck- what? When you play your little fuck fuck game It's always such a shame When you play a fuck fuck game It's always such a shame When you play your fuck fuck game yeah, yeah. When you play your little fuck fuck game I don't know what you're saying You're playing your fuck fuck game In the rain You play your fuck fuck game when you play your little fuck fuck game. You fucking adults. Come kill you right now because you're a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm a fuck. What? <laughs> you when you play your little fuck fuck games.